Okay, uh, we're gonna be starting off the ages of the ages tournament. Thank you, Mordog, for the raid. If you guys don't know what this is, this is called a sub regional tournament. A sub regional qualifier is a qualifier for the tactician's trials, as you guys see here. What is the tactician's trials? It is the replacement for day one of a cup that you might have known formerly as RCL Cup, KDA Cup, or in EMEA, it's the Golden Spatula Cup. In other tournaments, it's like ATS or the Pro Legends in Brazil, so on and so forth. They've rebranded, so no longer it's going to be Trait Cup. There's no like Astral Cup. There's no Jade Cup. There's no Dragon Cup. There's no Corrupted Cup, so, so on and so forth. It's just a Tactician's Trial, which is day one and day two. And then Tactician's Cup is day three and day four. Now, what happens is there's multiple ways to qualify for a cup. You can qualify through Ladder. You can qualify through this tournament that we're, that we're currently going to watch. So for people who are like, I don't have time to grind ladder all the time, this is good news for you because you now have the opportunity to qualify for a cup without having to grind endless ladder and then be in the top X cutoff, right? If you don't have time to grind all the way here to get to a cup, that's good. You can play one of these tournaments. So that's the, that's the advantage of this system. So we currently are two days in. We have top 64. We start off with 400 players. Look at this score sheet. <laughs> 400 players play in this tournament. And now we're down to uh, 64. We're down to 64. Oh, you also get some prize money, but top eight get to the tactician's trials, like we said, which is weekend one. Top four qualify to tacticians cup so you, it's as if you get top 25 on ladder right so like before remember we used to do a snapshot for the top 30 something or top 28 on ladder now they took four of those spots and said hey whoever qualifies via this gets it through the tournament and that's huge because some players just don't like playing uh, playing ladder to qualify who here wishes that they could just play tournaments to qualify for tft events instead of just grinding ladder endlessly there's, there's not all of you are there, but like uh, some of you would actually want that. Some of you would actually want that. So. Me, Lovita. And guess what? Where's Lovita? Top eight right now. Lovita. Can we can we all wish Lovita good luck today? Right now, Lovita's outplacing Wage and Irison. If, this, if we were to cut right here, right now, Lovita would be top eight alongside Dank Memes 0-1. Upset Max, Pocky Gom, Neonify, Pun, Bosses, Coach, Jay Zelensky. Above Wajin, above Rain, above T Lives, above both of these are regionals caliber players, world's level players, right? Two players that made it to worlds here, as well as some other people. Uh, Connor is here. So on and so forth. How many of these are there? There's one sub regional event per cup. One sub regional event per cup. So you just have to go to the very easy link. America's TFT Esports Teamfight Tactics League of Legends .com. Scroll down, click this roadmap. So it, it's a working title. It's a working title. And you see this thing called sub regional events. Listen, man, I agree. This link, this link is ridiculous. What? You know, <laughs> I, I why why is it this long? I, I have no idea. Why is it this long? I have no idea. Anyways, uh, sub-regional events, the next one is April 30th. So a few weeks from now. If you're like, hey, I want to play the next one, sub-regional events. Uh, sub-regional events, May 28th. That's my birthday. So two more. I will prove Frodian subs are built different. That's what I'm talking about. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Levita, well, thank you for two months. Can we make this link longer? Yeah, I want. I, we should do uh, America's TFT Esports TV Hot Dragons at League of Legends .com forward slash more dog oh i got a 404 well so sub regional events into tactician trials into tactician cup into golden special this is formerly known as regionals because now it's north america and south america aka latam and brazil and then we have uh we have the tactician's crown or the tactician's crown Sorry, I'm turning on a little bit of uh, set 11 music theme. So I'll be joined by Ramblin' shortly, and we're going to start this tournament in about nine minutes or so. About nine minutes. Let me put out a little countdown timer so that people know what we're counting down to. 
uh sub regional qual finals starts at 1 p.m pacific uh today where is the countdown boom when is Rodan's birthday uh may end of may where are the next signups oh that part i can't help you with that i, I <laughs> unfortunately i don't know where that is uh the big problem that they had was no a lot of people didn't even know that this thing was uh, uh, this was a thing so yeah uh the, you know how i found about it tft hub because tft hub uh posted about it they, they tft hub posted it post about everything if you're like where are my tft news i just go to tft hub and it just shows everything so yeah you can watch the player POV and slash or Frodan at twitch.tv slash Frodan. Okay, I promise I didn't tell them to do that. That's nice of them. Oh, the first EME Fires player qualified. Clamo won the Cactus Land this weekend to become the first player to qualify for the EME's Rising Legends Finals. Yeah, did you guys know that uh, EMEA had their own land and the winner of it got a, qual got a qualification spot to regionals? That was pretty cool. Salvi got second. So, yeah. Good stuff. I mean, how else am I supposed to keep up to date? There's so much stuff going on in TFT these days. TFT Hub is uh, really huge for that. What a rambling. Anyways, go ahead and pull up the multi stream. Get ready for uh, some folks to, to stream. Is Wage and Iverson streaming? I know JD Zelensky will be. He's top seed. He comes in as, I think, one of the favorites based off of his record so far today jd uh pocky gum rain plosion she lights ram kev oh appies is here too spicy appies uh, that's a that's a good start that's a good start let's pull up d7 let's pull up d7 and see where we're at What up, Ramblin'? Hello, hello. All right. Uh, looks like only a couple people are online right now, but I'm going to need you to be my eyes and ears in terms of uh, who is online and playing. Okay. You use Microsoft Edge? Yeah, Chrome Chrome just like... One time I opened up my task manager and Chrome was using something stupid like 85% of my CPU's resources. So I was just like, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use something else. And then uh, someone said that Edge is actually quite good now. So I said, okay, let me try it. And I just, I just haven't found a reason to not use it. It's actually quite good. Plus, they have Copilot, which helps answer my question from time to time. So like, for example, I could ask... Uh, who is Shadow Mortdog? Hold on, this is this is something good about uh, Copilot. Who is Shadow Mortdog? Oh wait, ask me anything. Who is Shadow Mortdog, and why does he sabotage my TFT carousels? <clears throat> Shadow Mortdog, also known as Mor. Oh, they're the same person is a prominent figure in the teamfight tactics community. Let me shed some light on this mysterious character. Role and influence. Mortdog is the lead designer for TFT, which means he plays a crucial role in shaping the game's mechanics, balance, and overall direction. Aha! I knew it! As the de facto community manager, he actively engages with players, listens to feedback, and communicates changes and updates. His regular streams on platforms like Twitch and YouTube allow him to interact directly with the community. Man, lead designer and community manager. Did you guys know this? Amazing. Two, game expertise. To prove his points and connect with players, Mortdog has climbed the ranks. He reached masters in TFT, demonstrating his understanding of the game's mechanics. He's not just a designer. He's also a high tier player who walks the talk. <laughs> 
three content creation more dog creates content where he answers questions about balancing future changes and tft related topics his sponsorship of competitive and casual tournaments further solidifies his commitment to the game and its community for community interaction many players appreciate his dedication sense of humor and patience Ooh, very much so his direct communication style sometimes even snarky keeps things interesting he's like the maximilian pegasus of tft <laughs> though without the millennium eye <laughs> in summary more dog wears many hats designer player streamer and community advocate so next time you encounter a quirky carousel remember that mort dog might be pulling the strings behind the scenes circus Bobby's tent a, four leaf now. clover <laughs> dude there's no way that ai wrote this someone was behind this i don't, I don't know how but there's no way an ai wrote this <laughs> uh. lobbies are up Lobby all right and on up. that note lobbies are out so yeah that's why i use microsoft edge so i can uh, once in a while giggle at, at questions like this <laughs> it was me i wrote this i believe it okay let's look at lobbies so we have 64 players eight lobbies lobby one jd Zelensky, maki senban i'm riveting horum wilf and largest one Two, Knack Rack, Basso Skills, Icopa Keen, Yogurt, Empire, Lima, Emoticon Father, Super Flames, and Red Bubbles. Three, Jason Lin, Neonify, Bjergs, I'm a Genius, Mario Kart Player, Kento Keens, and Kane Drew. Four, Tea Lights, Pun, GG Tilted, Pizza, Femified, Wage and Iris, and Camberley, and Shoma. That's pretty decent. Five, Ramkev, Lovita, Appies, Arrow, Tan, Rain, Connor, and RJ Blom. This is a really good lobby, I think. Lobby five. We even got the Frodian sub uh, hero story. Oh, yeah, I just realized I'm not sharing my screen with you, Raymond. Sorry. Oh, good. Then we got six Kurt Angle, Upset Max, Ballistic Bunny, Stacy Girls, Sponsy Movie, Brosive, and Clenvy. Seven Downpour, Pocky Gum, August, Maple, Arrow, Wong, Humbug, Turtle Duckling, and Chewbacca. And then eight is Philip, Dank Memes, Yoni, Aaron Kuma, Nick Knack, Rudir, Stellar Minhee. And Cinerix. I think I vote for Lobby 5 with Ramkev, Appies, Rain, Connor, and then the bronze hero, RJ Blarmo. If you guys haven't heard, RJ Blarmo is currently bronze and making the run of the ages. This guy is bronze 4. He's played 5 ranked games of TFT. He went 8, 7, 6, 5, 8, and he's now in day 3 of the cup. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> okay if you guys don't know you're like what is this serious like this is this is embarrassing uh he's actually hit challenger multiple times he just uh he just hasn't played ranked games <laughs> this said but he's he's actually a he's actually a gm slash challenger player it's just funny it's just funny that uh <laughs> his profile looks so yeah How do you qualify? Oh, uh, so to qual to sign up for these tournaments, apparently it's first come first serve. Check tournaments, right? For signups. It's first come first serve. Yeah. So RJ Blarmo didn't play his ladder games, but made sure to sign up on time. Okay, so we have Ramkev Appies, Rain. Is Connor streaming by any chance or anyone else? Oh, no. Alec. Is this in the top left? Connor is not streaming. Okay. How you been, Ramblin? Get some good night's sleep? Actually, yeah. Nice. More than more than usual. <laughs> uh good, good. I I've been kind of in and out. My my wife is uh just having pretty standard uh pregnancy health concerns but for the most part everything should be okay we just need to we, we, we went to the hospital yesterday it was actually when i was in the middle of doing like games live and stuff. she's like no nah, i'll be okay i'll let you know if i need anything so it's been kind of it's been kind of stressful lately it's been messing with my sleep because i'm just stressing out all the time 
is there a support group for accidentally selling your three-star carry i mean i guess twitch chat could be one of the ways you can do that group therapy Where does this disco song? This is just set 11. I, there's, a, there's a set 11 song playlist on YouTube that I just listened to. I feel like that happens every single time. What song is this? It's TFT. It's just TFT, man. <laughs> this is uh, Encounters music. There's Heavenly Celestials chord. There's Dreams of Earth. There's the Inkborn Fables theme. Yeah, I'm just playing set 11 music. Okay, do we have more people streaming? Riveting usually streams. I'll probably cut Weijin for that. Um, let's see who else. Is anyone is anyone else streaming? Chat, is any, do you guys know if anyone else is streaming? Any lab members? Senbon? What's Senbon's uh, Twitch link? Oh wait, they're in game. Well, I mean, not not Appy's and Ramcav, but movie TFT. Okay, cool. That's enough for now. We'll just stop here. Okay, we got Ramcav and Appy's about to start. Good luck. Round one of six is about to start. All right, uh, who are who name one of your favorites to do well today, Ramblin, and name a dark horse? Favorite? Uh, I mean, JD is the obvious answer, so I'll pick Appies because I want Appies to do well. <laughs> okay, dark horse. Uh, I feel like it's hard because like so few people are streaming the vibes, you know, their POVs, but. I'll pick Nackrack. Okay, Nackrack. Why? Because just he's streaming. He's streaming and he's like he's somebody I know and like I I mean I I don't know if he's played in many turns before but um I just want to I'd be happy to be there as well. Okay, sounds good. Rain is streaming now. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Oh, Rain is streaming and she's in the lobby, which is huge. Let me refresh. Awesome. Perfect. Rain's internet has kind of been going in and out, so. At Frodian, hey mate, great stream. Do you know what happened to the streamer Bebe? Oh yeah, he's uh he's an entrepreneur now. He's an entrepreneur now. He uh unfortunately doesn't give free advice anymore. He used to be kind of like a, a Twitter consultant. But nowadays he uh man now you gotta pay for it again. yeah now now his free huh. your free trial has has uh ended and now we have to subscribe magic for the five months welcome back okay so uh rain on gold opener do you always make gold here or are you trying to like hold pairs ever and things like that uh they would have to be really specific stuff to want to hold it this early mm. like uh, like stuff like volley bear i'm holding for sure fortune i'm holding for sure but okay most of the time you're just selling stuff to make sure you get the early 10 because you'll fall behind if you don't i played a game this morning right right before i started i think you maybe you might have seen the very end of it actually it might have been the game before that but i had darius 2 and malphite 2 and that felt like terrible to sell and i didn't make gold on 1-3 or 1-4 and i wonder if that was like a really bad decision but like those units were so you know they're just it's just like how do you sell some of the best stars that you could possibly get to link into some of the powerful mid game i'd probably be willing to keep like if i could keep the darius and still make 10 i'd probably sell them off right but it depends on what other units had to go with them because like it does lead into like the kiana uh york opener if you have those got it got it oh we got a fine vintage start with five items five items fine vintage like, you, you gotta take it Give an encounter coming up as well. Could be more items. Okay. So find vintage for rain. Probably just slams two items. Interesting. Being very careful with like maybe choosing certain components that she may want to use slash uh, hold on to later on. Also deciding which unit to, to, to make them on to sell. Right. 
what she she wants to hold. Iron assets for Ramkev, making gold while leveling and playing around the trick shots. Wow, doesn't Slimerella. Interesting. Why wouldn't you slime Morello? Uh, I, I mean, he must want to play something very specific. Like maybe he wants to play Janna's Janna Zyra. Okay. That's all I, I could think of. Maybe he knows he's going to win anyways. I mean, it's 100% fight tip. So that's really, really interesting. That would have swung the fight. Double behemoth. Mm. Okay. I want to briefly check in on Appy's spot as well. Nashers. Nashers. Right, we're going, we're going straight for the Zyra. <laughs> so Appy's yesterday played Redroll Zyra multiple times and was able to top four once. And I think he bought forward once. So, so far it's been like averaging okay. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, I watched so do it with it yesterday. So it must be good. Yeah. What, what did he play? What did he play? What's the, what's how did Soju go for? Uh, I mean, he had Zyra three, Diana, Diana three was the key for sure. Diana is so strong when you get her three star. And then he, yeah, he had Zoe three as well as a secondary character. Got he beat yeah. the Arcanist uh, board. It, it, was, it was, it was really strong. I think Soraka three, Diana three is very good, but you do struggle with like, how do you hit that consistently? Cause a lot of people want those units, especially now yeah, that Dragon was You usually have to pick and choose like which mm -hmm. one you can go for based yeah. on the lobby. Maybe this is a two cost reroll setup. Look at the uh, Exalted. Appy's hovered it over multiple times and it's like an all two cost Exalted. So maybe he's going to try to play around like Zyra that way. Feels like something that he would do. Ooh, I actually don't mind taking items like this. At, like like Crown Guarded and Lucky Streak at this point because it's still early enough where you can get value and I feel like our front line's kind of bad but he took Healing Orbs for straight up combat. It's like higher, higher cap, but definitely a lot weaker right now. I think Ram Cave has two, two healthy. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh my God. Two healthy, two cost exalted. Okay. So he, he must be going for the, but well, he didn't. Oh yeah. He did buy the Zyra. Okay. Yeah. He, he, he's going for the, I don't know if he's going to try to play Zyra, Zyra or Janna, but he's going for that line for sure. But aren't they, I mean, I mean, they're like contesting each other, so. We'll see how that goes. Well, like, if you're contested, you can still just prioritize trying to carry different units while holding, like, two-star variations of the comp. And also, there's 22 copies, so theoretically, you could both hit everything you both need. <clears throat> Ramcav typed Janna in chat. Reroll Zy No, reroll Zyra. Zyra, Z Y R A, Z Y R A, yep. not Zaya. Players finally figured out how to make Zaya good. Just three star. Reroll Zaya. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen three star Zaya. I don't think I've seen three star Zaya. So how do you even know it's good? Yeah. It's just all, it's just all <laughs> theory crafting. Field blue Teemo, crafting. blue Teemo. What do you think? Or sorry, blue Kale. What do you think? uh yeah it's usually, usually blue for for this line i feel like in the past you were willing to definitely take shred as well but now that shred is only 20 percent it's like 20 same. yeah you really want to make you make a shred item oh you didn't even just prefer the shred item yeah i mean like it depends on the comp like but you, by the end of the game you want to have a shred item yes okay. so it's like it's a lower cap to take shred on kill most of the time that yeah, makes sense to me so I think if you ever plan on keeping her in your comp, you usually go for one of the other two. Interesting. So he's going for... Okay, so he's just playing like a two healthy featuring Janna as opposed to just spamming all the two costs. Because you, there, there's a way that you could justify playing five exalted and then playing two cost two health or two cost two healthy. Which is wild, right? Like, what if you just played Nar, Janna, Zyra, Kiana, Senna, and then just like tie in something else? Um, the thing is, I don't, I can't, I can't come up with something on top of my head. But I feel like this would be a five exalted game. I don't know if if you have an idea, uh, rambling on something that you think you could play for. 
Uh, I think it's just a matter of whether you think the five exalted board is stronger than the, the other units. I think I haven't played that enough to, to say confidently. You're going up against Appies. Those look pretty strong. Rain on a full loss streak almost? No, she's 81 HP. She probably won a fight. And our front line is too tanky, so that is going to be a win for Ram Kev. Let's check in on Rain's POV. See how she's doing the fine vintage loose streak. On her first fight, lost her last next four. And now has three full items of support. Two ZZ rots. Oh lord. Uh and this 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 doesn't count, right, for the PV round. So this uh, Hexite mm -hmm. Gunplay still needs one more round to transform. Correct. And stuff like that's a really big deal. Is Shred Kale or Attack Speed better on Bard? I mean, Attack Speed is probably a lot better now. That Shred got worse. It was better in stats last patch, so yeah. it has to be better now. Has to be better now. I wonder what variation of Fine Vintage that Rain wants to play. I think more people have been trying to play around like Story Weavers and trying to play more around Duelists, like less around Heavenly. So um, even last patch, people towards the end were playing Ghostly. We saw her go for oh, the shit. Story Weaver last time. I feel like the ZZ Rots aren't as good in this version though. Right, six. six. I think six is okay here. Yeah, six is okay. Um, I don't know if we want to play it for. <laughs> She's looking at all the guides for fortune. The oh, oh, duck guide. And now she's pulling up the statistics. Oh, she she's like not entirely sure. So it looks like she's going to aim for 50 on stage three. Oh, man. Timo. Okay, we'll check in. Uh, wait, what's your support item? Get a gun blade. What? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> found it. <laughs> it was traveling. It was traveling. It just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, you could take Aegis, yeah. Aegis is really good here. Randuin is also considered worth considering. Oh, she has unified. Oh, God. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay, fortune loss, fortune loss. All good. Tactical, tactical. She might end up killing, um, it actually might be like good anyways, right? It looks like she might win. Guaranteed. She definitely would win guaranteed. But here she might lose. Uh, I don't know if she's ever getting through this allowy. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Well, I was just thinking Trick Shot could eventually like burn through. Okay, I'm pretty sure if there was Aegis, we 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 probably would have won, right? Oh, probably. Yes, calculated, definitely. Calculated. Definitely. Wow, dude, if she got that Aegis off, she would have grieved her own streak. Impressive. Impressive. Timo offers what? Components? Oh, the prediction. Oh. The prediction. Okay. Let's check in on Ramkev, who is streaking, by the way. Arrow leveled to seven. Can we check in on Appy's real quick as well? I just want to see what he ended up doing. Because he, he had the potential contest. Oh, Appy's is it chilling. looks like he's still playing it, so. Yeah. I guess he's playing Zyra instead of Janus. So, like, it just depends on how many they buy of each other. So, Units. Wait, Ramblin's rolling a or uh, not Ramblin. Ramkev is rolling a yeah. lot. He's trying to get ahead of Appies. Yeah. I get ahead of Appies, and also I, he probably predicted that he wins, so he rolled like a good amount of gold. Check it. I'm gonna make sure you win. Kaisa. Level seven, Kaisa Galia. Also voted that he wins. It's a really big swing to, to lose this protection. Yeah, because then it's 10 gold plus keeping your streak. It's a ton of gold. Oh, oh that's terrible for Amkit. That's really, really bad. Really, really bad. 
yikes because that's so you get 10 gold then you get three gold for streaking and then if you're able to keep going on that's another three gold three gold three gold and then what you don't get is you don't get 10 gold you don't get three gold i also you also get plus one gold for winning man the more i'm wrapping my head around this it feels like you just lost like 20 to 25 gold because that also would have made up his um his econ breakpoints yeah it's even worse before 14 gold originally oh but my they, god they, they, they at least nerfed it but that 10, is 10 huge is still that is huge Oh, we got a Gamba on the line. Does Ramcav top two? If you guys want free channel points, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to vote no in the next like 15 seconds. <laughs> if you guys want free prediction points. Oh, wait. <laughs> now the odds are so bad. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Some people just put in yes just to get the odds in. Wait, he's going for Lux 3. Oh, because Lux is, um... Exalted. Lux is exalted, yeah. What do you think about Lux 3 now that we've had, like, a couple days? People are starting to put her stock higher and higher. I I think Lux is really good. And she's she's actually, like, when you look at the... Um... AP options, she's, like, one of the few options that can actually defend herself against Yone. Because Yone dashes right in front of her and then she stuns him. That is true. She, she literally just, like, halts him in the middle. And then, and then when Yone gets stunned by Lux, does he stop mid dash and then auto somebody else? I don't think so. No. He finishes his dash, right? Yeah. Okay. But like the da the time the timer on Yone ult is so short that it basically is like ult, like the Lux ult is most of it. Right. Right. So like he can't finish her off because he's lost half the time of his ult. And she has the uh, DR from Porcelain, so she's like decently <clears throat> tanky. Yeah. You griefed my odds. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I don't know. Let's see if, uh, see if Ram can finish, finish strong here. Then we'll head over to Rain, who should be cashing out another set of items. Going up against Appies. Appies doesn't have more than two, three Zyros. I do really wonder what he's going to try to play. It looks like Appies has really been favoring like two costs. AP reroll a lot. Teemo rerolls, I reroll. Wow. So tanky. Rainplosion down to 32 HP. Kaisa pair. Fortune. One more loss. Is that 35? That's four fortune. Can get five pretty easily. If she got. Didn't seem like she didn't roll for it though. Yep. Isn't rain spot so good? Uh, yes. If the cash out doesn't like troll her, but it should be pretty good. Here's here's something that's really awkward: is what if she gets a bunch of items and she has to wait for them to turn to uh, find vintage? There's a little bit like delay between her getting fully online from the fortune conversion, but theoretically, yes, her spot is really good. I don't think you try to convert any. You just fully aura. itemize. I mean, at least get all your items on Kaisa and Galia first, and then you can go back for more later if you really want to. Oh, oh, I saw some free little legend egg codes. Those are, those are scribbles on the screen. Oh, oh, little legend egg codes. Can you guys decipher that? Oh, you guys need to zoom in enhance free little legend egg codes. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness, is she should still be two lives. Yeah, Hopefully. yeah, after this loss. Assuming she does lose, I, I think she probably loses this. No real damage outside of just overwhelming stats. Wait, the opponent's kind of weak, though. Yeah, they have a lot of one stars. Close. A lot of bouncing. Okay. Oh! Siver, Siver's cleaning everything up. Oh wow. my god. And the perfect 50. Perfect. Perfect 51 cash out as well. Amazing. Well played. And she gets the time for the cash out, right? Like you get extra yeah, seconds. Around. Extra seconds on the augment. Cash out. Now you roll. Or oh, sell, yeah, you sell. Selling the Teemo. We sold Teemo. Interesting. 
Bunch of four costs. Fawn, you got the fawn cash out. The sorry, the tactician's crown cash out. Any two is good. We have a backup team for four trick shot. Fifteen seconds. Wow, guys, drop, two. Drop the Zoe. Yep. Zoe. Aegis positioning. Okay. I mean, there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. All things considering, that was pretty good. I'd give that like a solid 8 out of 10. 7, seven 8 out of 10. If we were to position a little bit better, 9 out of 10. And I think if we were to roll just a little bit more. Even though, actually, arguably, you don't even need to roll that much more. She should be strong no. enough to win the stage. She, she's a really strong unified jewel. Two ZZ rots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Aegis has some items on Kaisa too now. Yeah. Should be John. Man, that was great. That was great. <clears throat> Appies loses again. Appies in a really tough spot. Six Cyrus. Bounce budget. Oh, that's not good. When you have to take bounce budget, get deferred power, and it's not even guaranteed power. Yikes. Still greeting though. I'm shocked Rain went past Galios. Yeah, what do you think about that? Like skipping Galios? I mean, I don't think Galio is important because I mean I don't know if she did it on purpose. It's just it's not important because she doesn't have items for it. So Yeah. It, it, Galio without items is not a good unit. <laughs> exactly. I mean he does have some support like support items and unified can help a little bit, but yeah, he's not terribly impressive. Also, these days, because of like the different types of carries people are playing, Galio is surprisingly not as reliable as you would hope he'd be. Like three item Galio can get really nuked hard by like a Kaisa these days. And that was in contrast to uh, the the way we were playing the meta at the start of the patch. He also just doesn't help at all with the, the units that have so much backline access. Like he's not helping you against Yone. He's not helping you against Lux, stuff like that. Right, right, right. Uh, Rain Connor's disconnected. Uh -oh. 10 HP. Connor's 10 HP. Abby's 27. Lovita 27. These three players look like they're bot four right now. Plus one person in the top four if they can't take out Rain. And Rain does not look like she is dying. Rain took a spat. Ooh. Let's, see, let's see what she's doing. I think she only has a sword. Story Weaver spat. Maybe she wants to go seven Story Weaver. Yeah, I think that's, that's that's what she's aiming for with the max cap, going back into the the fine vintage. Right, right, right. It is a, it is a Lissandra. This is true. I mean, I don't know how much this is gonna print. But oh, it is that's Liss. fair. That's fair. Fine vintage, just Lissandra straight up. <clears throat> Ooh, Silas too. Silas too is really good. Just another reliable unit to deal damage because you have a lot of tankiness, or rather, you have a lot of meat. You know. Yeah, pack a punch. Gyra three for Appius. Okay. Ramkev's chilling. Eighty nine HP. That's... Yeah, Zyra versus uh, or Appius versus Rain. Also, who voted no on on Ramkev's top two? <laughs> he goes back to like dominating right after he loses one. Man, I feel bad for whoever did that. <laughs> <laughs> did I scam? I, I didn't scam anything, man. I was just I was just asking if people wanted to to predict. <laughs> oh man. Listen, you guys, you 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 should know by now about wh where you should put your hard earned currency. You can't blame the influencers for doing that. <clears throat> There's actually some really big discourse right now in like the Hearthstone community because a lot of Hearthstone players are getting sponsored by like uh, Web3 crypto card games and like the community's having like a like a big like I wouldn't say civil war but like everyone's just kind of like jumping each other down each other's throats about it. Oh wait, we just hit Soraka three. Surely this is good enough to stabilize. Soraka three, Zyra three. 
Synergy bar looks great. If we had Stan United, the oh, front line's just not there. Our front line sucks. Ouch. We also, like, Lux just kind of owned us. Eighth place, uncontested. Ouch. Name a more iconic duo than Appies and getting Lux. Yeah, he, he keeps he keeps positioning in a way where Lux keeps wrecking him. Four exalted. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's trying to get to uh, five exalted. When are you going to add Zyra Real to the TFT Academy? I don't know. That immediately goes to C tier and it immediately gets the falling tag. I, I can't. I can't add all those types of comps to the to the tier list. Archangels. He has the cloak on the Diana already, so he's, that's what he's thinking about. Oh, he wants Spark. Yeah, he has Shiv. It's just the cloak is on the Diana, so like hopefully he's oh, gonna oh, get right, the right, 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 right. If he goes for Diana three, I can pop got it, it off. Got it. <clears throat> I remember Kerm saying something about Appy's playing as if the game is balanced. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, the thing is, Appy's doesn't play as if the... Like, okay, he does play as if the game is balanced. But specifically, he plays as if, like, he gets rewarded all the uh, pretty heavily for playing uncontested. And that's sometimes true. The problem is that he wasn't actually truly uncontested this game. Okay, Yone 3. Oh. Oh, uh, Janos. Oh my, nope, never mind. The follow up cast. Okay. Gods can bleed. Ramkev lost, but Ramkev's going to nine to try to play five exalted. And two healthy. Connor is dead. Rainplosion is streaking. Okay, for people who have gamma points on the line, Rainplosion looks like she's top two, and it looks like the Yone 3 player can top two as well. So there's hope for people who want channel points for Ramkev to go third. Looks like we just ended up with an extra spot not doing anything. I mean, well, at least it's not like a... Oh, Tech Jason's Grim. Uh, oh, that's, no. That's wait, her, wait, wait. That's right. cash out. She just has yeah. a spot. Okay, we have an extra spot. We got yeah. a DB for Kaisa and Morello for Aurelia, so pretty good. Yeah, but the way she's playing Six Story Weaver, it does look like her primary game plan was to go for KL3. Maybe we have an encounter next turn. Maybe a component. True. You get the encounter that gives you, uh, like, choose a compo three of a component or something like that. Mm. Do you play Exalted Primate for the damage or the experience? Usually the damage, although if it's like early game, early enough in the game, uh, experience can be valuable. Also, you can use it for as a vehicle to help you get to level nine as well. Kind of situational, kind of situational. Like sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes, yes, EXP, sometimes, yes, combat. That's about it. Uh, yeah, rain looks really strong right now. And here comes the encounter. Oh, Leave. ah, no vests. Nothing to really no do vests. that. And you don't even want to sell things like your Kaisa 2 anyways. Rain made that Yone look easy. Here's the thing about Yone. He still has to cut through things one by one. He still only has is two swords so if you have too many things in the way like all these different units just spreading out like the the void spawns and the zoe stuff like that he, he's gonna ult but he's gonna kill like one or two things every single time gives you time to maybe burst them down oh everything must go going for orn three man Ooh. i'm getting more dogged again we're down to zero though Decision, thank you for the three months. Yeah, uh, I don't know if anyone's playing Orn. Ramcat's definitely not playing Orn. Rain's not playing Orn. Yone's not playing Orn. So that's at least three. Oh, we lost. <gasps> oh. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. That's crazy. I did not expect that. Jeff, thank you for the three. What? Going for... Recon. Oh, is it a Rakan too? Yeah, it is. That's a Rakan 2 with a death cap. That is pretty good. Is this how Fine Vintage is mainly played? Uh, there's there's variations of Fine Vintage. Van, fine Vintage is now a flexible augment. Before, the heavenly versions of it were so good because of how often you can print and how reliable you can get the strategy online. 
nowadays you play you play it either with story weaver you can play it with a really strong set of reroll like you can play it in yone you can play it in duelist we're trying to figure out how to get seven story in nice yep, uh, li listen silas right because the aoe buffs from uh altruist is too good you can't really like turn that down for uh lissandra would you okay would you ever consider like selling kaisa and then putting lissandra instead and then like putting deathblade on irelia and try to have that only, work only if they were two stars the, the, the kaisa is way too much of her damage mm. right now to sell we just hit Rakan too, though. Hey, Rakan is not reliable damage, unfortunately. Maybe your Rakan. My Rakan's a beast. Okay, maybe we need the damage for this fight, though. This was kind of close. 3,500. That's not bad. And we're lagging again. Yeah, Rain's, uh, Rain's internet. Crapping out. Let's go ahead and look at Ramkev's POV. Ramkev lost four in a row. No Diana three. He chose to go straight to nine. I guess maybe there's too many Dianas gone. Maybe he just won't be able to fit into five exalted. Uh oh. What happened? What happened? I thought I thought Ramkev was uh, gonna cruise to a top two. It's close. It's very close. Anything could happen. Lux working on the back line, not dealing nearly enough damage. Oh, that Dragon Lord stun. Support is not very good without Diana 3. Yeah, just no front line, right? I'm surprised that he didn't roll for it. Well, he wanted to go to 9 to play 5 Exalted. So that's like his logic. <gasps> 19. Okay, that's at least two lives, though. R2. R2. <laughs> Okay, Diana out of an orb, and then you hit Diana 3. Also, he even if he hits Diana 3, he also has two and a half items, Diana, which is also Yeah, hope, hopefully he gets one here, and like he, he needs an item and to hit. How much bonus damage is 5 Exalted on level 9? Like 24 <sighs> or something like that? No, it's it's one it's 2.5% times your level, right? So it's... Actually, yeah, I was pretty close, like 24, 25%. That's not insignificant. You guys were saying like five exalted is bait. I don't know if it's bait. Adapt it for Lux. You need a mana item, I think. I think you take it active and then you roll for Diana and then you put it on Lux Ooh, if you don't hit. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Oh, 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 oh. I like if that. If you hit Diana, you put it on Diana. Good. Option select. Option select. Roll, 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 roll. He's thinking about Huey. Cutting the ribbon. You got to do it on Lux now. Did not position for the Yone, but maybe this doesn't matter. Also, I feel like that. Wukong versus Rakan. Do you have any thoughts on that? Mm. They're, close, they're pretty right? close. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. That Yone Lux. just got punished. That's what I'm saying. That's wow. Lux. And also how big was that adapted to get one extra cast at that last yeah, second? Like Hey, Diana. More, one more, one more. Oh, Reyna's uh, really a two. Looks like she did sell the Kaisa now. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. You transition out of it eventually. Now, I really a two finishes everything off. Did she show you, I really? She did she... not. She did not. Oh, she might be uh, printing it. Converting it? Let me see. Yeah. Okay, her stream is just kaputs. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, she's she's converting uh, Shojin into Fine Vintage. <clears throat> Man, kind of amazing that this board looks so uh, so strong. And wait, hold on a second. Is this Lux gonna be able to do it? Lux? No. Kind of close. Oh, <gasps> Ramkev's at 4 HP. Ram Arrow lost. Oh, I don't know if Ramkev's top two, you guys. I don't know if he's top two. I thought winning that fight was really big for that. Everything must go. He rolled to zero. He rolled to zero. He went, decided to go to 10. Uh, 
uh level 10 is that a roll at nine or eight yeah for, interesting for the three star. yeah so nobody, nobody has orn right 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 10 would be to roll for five costs and you can't really do that without any money <laughs> to roll yeah because that's 80 gold or let's just say like 60 gold to be generous that you're not going into uh rolling Oh no! Okay, Azir's caught. Azir's caught. Oh my god, that lineup! Oh. That lineup! Dude, the Kaisa stepped in front of the Azir! Oh my god. It's a top two. Wait, did he kill him? He did, he did. Oh my god! What was that? That was insane. <laughs> that was so close. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> yeah, oh man. I feel like Arrow got uh got kind of robbed there because the, the, the Kaisa step up. Man. Okay, it's a good top two. Rain wins the lobby. Kiana too. Just has to improve his board the best he can. debated by the streamer hey it could be worse you guys it could be worse you guys get to earn back all of your channel points the very next time because there's probably going to be another prediction <clears throat> you can start doubling up as soon as 10 minutes from now when we get into game two every game is a chance to double up think about it that way okay there's no this is not even close anymore oh my god the, the lux missed Somehow in this like tiny little crevice between uh, Irelia and Kale, somehow Lux placed it perfectly like a field goal. We need some of that for uh, the Seahawks. A perfect field goal. Okay, let's look at uh, some of the other lobbies. Movie just finished in sixth place. Oh, wow. Three people died and ended in sixth place. <clears throat> okay, so we have four outros barred. Top, top two streaking right now. Yeah. Uh, doesn't look like we have any other people's POV, so we're just gonna stay here because looks like movie is watching uh, the rest of the game via the death screen. What up, Sven? Seven Faded, Aphelios 3 versus Kaisa Zaya. Legendaries. Yeah, Kaisa Legendaries versus Archivist Brard. I feel like I haven't seen any Bard do well yet. So this might be the first time I've seen this patch where Bard like cleanly top dude. It wasn't even clean. It was like 10 HP. Oh. Might not even be top two. Banshees, Aphelios three, Thresh three. Two off Syndra. It's just stage seven. Uh, you're right. Seven, two. Faded emblem, inspiring ever to have big grab bag. I mean, this looks like Faded should be top two. Like, if this is not a top two, then Faded is not A tier. Faded is probably B tier if, if this isn't a top two. T okay, it's a ghost fight. TK3 versus Bard 3. Zephyr. Oh, he dodged the Zephyr. Nice. Ballistic Bunny. Sets in the back line. Thresh is just not taking any damage. I'm pretty sure this is a, a ghost fight victory. <clears throat> So the other, the loser of the other fight gets, is dead no matter what. Bard went third. We have Kaisa and Kaisa legendaries versus. Oh, wait, never mind. Sponsi is Bard. Bard won. Oh, wow. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Maybe just Kaisa didn't have the, Kaisa Zaya too didn't have the burst to kill Tom Kench. I wish you watched that fight. They had a list. That's surprising. 
Interesting. Hey, that lift sound is here. Zephyr, yeah, it could be Zephyr. Oh, I can see that. I can see that. Like the Zephyr caught one of the key units. Oh, Helios. Sacks the Banshees. Cinder got Zephyr. Ah, it's focus so much on the Aphelio Zephyr, not paying attention to the Syndra. Also, the side is not dunking the TK this time. He is not, but he's now in the back. Not really. He's attacking a, a Rakan. Wait, now he's in the back. Oh God, he's going to dunk this, uh, this bar. Slowly building his mana. Uh, with the mana oh reef. God, that's not good. That's not good. TK. Oh, okay. Okay. Bard is scaled. Yeah, but so are we. The faded player. Bard. Bard. Oh, Close. God. That set was a hero. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Okay. Is that the end of the first round? At the end of the first round. So we'll take a look at the standings. Looks like they're all in. That is it. JD with another first, by the way. Holy. Boss of Scales, Wage Niners, and Rain. Wow, look at this top eight. Bonus points for the best performing point, uh, best performing players yesterday. And now we're going to go into game number two. Do we have lobbies too? Okay, let's go ahead and look at lobbies during this ad break real quick. I'm going to close my door. Be right back. All right, so what do we got? GG Tilted, JD Zelensky 22, August, Dank Memes, Beard, Turtle, RJ Blarmo, Neonify. Horum, Bossel Skills, Tifo, Pun, Pizza, Pocky Gum, Lima, and Riveting. Wajin, Chewbacca, Femi Fiend, Ramkev, Movie, Senban, Yoni, and Philip. That's pretty decent. Mario Kart Player 5, Rain Plosion, Keen's Genius, Bubbles, Aaron Kuma, Humbug, Downpour, Unvi, Kane, Drew, Connor, Super Flames, Large Stone, Yogurt, Wilf, Arrow, and then Knickknack, Sirnix, Stellar Minhi, Shoma, Drew Deer, Jason Lynn, Rose of Cam, Nackrack, Wong, Icopy Keen, Maki, Maple, Stacey Go, T. Lies, Kurt, Appies, Ballistic Bunny, Upset, Bonzi, Lovita, Tan, Kane, Tony, Mother, I, I think these are pretty balanced across the board. Is there any lobby that you want to watch personally? No, I mean, I'm down to just watch JD if we don't have any better option. If Wajin was streaming, I think it'd be kind of cool to see Wajin and Ramkev lobby, I guess. Okay, uh, JD's lobby. We don't have multiple POVs of it. Do we have one that we do? I think we have... Uh, I'm, I don't think so, because Abby's is here. Oh, uh, is t -Light streaming? I think he, I think he is. Then t and Knackrack are both live. That's, I mean, that's somebody. Knackrack? Yeah, it's spelled exactly like that. Uh, it's uh, no C on the first one. The second one has a C. Sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Osu player. Okay, so we can play. We can do T Lides and Knackrack, I guess. Cool. Pause movie. Maybe watch a little bit of JD as well. All right, are ghost fights still bugs? Oh, probably. I mean, they're, they're definitely still some bugs, but way better than last set. Last set was was the worst we've had. Was it? Yeah, because there, there were entire trades that just didn't work. Like Pentakill didn't work, Disco didn't work, KDA didn't work, Punk didn't work. Uh, there there were a lot of them. Jeez. The only major one I know right now that doesn't work is, is Story River. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay. I'm sure there's others, but like that's the biggest one that comes to mind.
Zyrocon, yeah, the, the Zyrocon one star thing. It's the same as the Kali from last set. Okay, uh, yeah, no, I, th that makes a lot of sense. Sorry, I was just answering some messages about uh, TFT Academy. I wonder if it makes it being better or worse to fix ghosts to make them just as strong as normal boards. Uh... I would definitely prefer they be exactly as strong because otherwise it just comes into matching matchmaking lottery. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably just make it a more consistent experience. But at the same time, some people love high rolling the ghost. It's like a, it's like a dopamine rush. Rodan, check this out. All the new tech. What? A TFC Academy? What is this? Presenting the newest tier list for each new patch, particularly secured by a TFC expert, Disso, period, and Rodan. Amazing. <clears throat> Bro, what are half these players doing while waiting? I mean, they're just like kind of waiting because I, I don't know why they haven't had the next game, but... Oh, we can watch the main broadcast. There is a main broadcast feed. Starting soon. Twitch.tv slash Aegis Esports TFT. There's a main broadcast if you guys want to watch. Hey, they have Counterfeit and Protroid. This guy, uh, Counterfeit, was a cast, uh, caster for the EMA broadcast. And then Protroid is like a community caster. Looks like they're getting into game right now. Starting up in a second here. <clears throat> I feel bad for the EMEA broadcast team because they're losing their broadcast next sets. So they still have this set to cast events. But if you guys haven't heard, they're shutting down the main broadcast for TFT uh, events. They're going to just re rely on... Um, they're just going to rely on co-streams. Which I guess is like good for riot because they get to save a bunch of money uh since main broadcast probably isn't a big move needle mover and a lot of people are like well i prefer to watch player povs and co-streams anyways so yeah we get re you're right we still get regionals but we don't get through a lot of cups and the problem is that by not having enough work for casters you can't really seriously have people who want to dedicate themselves to tft so essentially it's like TFT casters just kind of lost their job. They're, you, can, you can cast three events a year in your local region. Maybe, assuming you get the call. And then you also maybe get a chance to do world championship, which is even fewer people. So it's just very, very rare. Sad, yes, but at least they gave him ample time to find a new job. Oh, yeah. In North America, they didn't give him time at all. They just said, set 11, you're done. Oh, man. That was brutal. They also, they also, uh, said, but what we're going to do instead is have this co streamer program and you can apply to be part of it. If you guys are, if, if any of you happen to be streamers, you can apply to be part of it. Let me see. I think they announced it on TFT hub, uh, co stream. Oh, probably no news about it. But basically, uh, you could be one of the uh, approved people to co-stream the event. And you get an Observer account that you can watch uh, tournaments that happen during the events. So they're like, yeah, not only are you not going to cast, you can come back and work for free. <laughs> nah, that's not what they said. But it was a really, it was a really, really difficult conversation. But yeah, it was, uh, it was brutal. Zoe changes reality, so only odd levels exist this game. Okay. Okay, do you have any cool strategies here? Uh, the cool strategy is going fast time because it's actually cheaper than it normally is. <laughs> but okay. otherwise, it's usually three cost reroll is like the standard. It's like three cost reroll or fast time. Three cost reroll. Any chance 
one cost reel can be viable. I, I have tried it multiple times. Uh, it, it, on an econ start, it's probably good because you you can you can wait a couple extra turns and roll on level three. But like, if you don't hit your three stars, you actually end up like behind tempo. Yeah. Fast thirteen. I mean, that would be kind of interesting if like there was a hidden level eleven. But like. I don't even know how to how that would even be hidden. Like I guess maybe an EXP bar that just keeps going. Level eleven, and then your odds for five costs are like just sixty percent or something like that. Maybe maybe in a new set you can just go ele level eleven and get six costs or something like that. Six costs being part of TFT. Wham. All right, so this game we're gonna, we're gonna be following this player who goes by the name of T Lides, uh, and then we have Knack Rack, also as another POV. Other players in this lobby, we got Maki from the lab, and then we also have I Copy Keen and uh, Stacy Girls. Ooh, long shot. They does not choose to take that. Cluttered. Is it interesting? Clutter feels more awkward because you can't push between the nat the even level intervals, so it feels like your power spikes are a little bit more delayed. But it is cheaper to get to higher levels, so maybe maybe that trade off is worth it. Yes, that's right. Some be some people also call him Thai Ladies because that's what Pre <laughs> Precedent didn't know how to pronounce his name. And so he just kept saying his name wrong. And one time he just called it Thai ladies, which I thought was funny. Okay. Wow. River two and Kha'Zix two. Wait, no cluttered value though. Oh, you could actually buy Kha'Zix and Yorick and you would have a uh, cluttered value that way too. I think if you don't plan on playing Kha'Zix, you just want to keep individual one costs. <laughs> so you have more flexibility with what you hold yeah at Froden, do you guys mind me joining Wait, rambling do you mind if raptor joins uh, i mind okay rambling minds <laughs> you didn't make the kazakh suit in, nor held the yorick interesting Maybe he's thinking about gold implications if he holds like a two star unit. I guess you could just sell the next one anyways. <clears throat> Can I sit and call with the mic off? I mean, some people actually do like doing that. Oh wait, he's actually in the call. Who let this guy in here? <laughs> he's actually just sitting in the call and not saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> and then he unmuted to laugh. And then, then he's going to re-mute. Such. <laughs> okay, cluttered mind. Not slamming a single item. Is there uh There's just no purpose for him to slam the Sunfire because he doesn't feel like he's going to win, hold his components. Although, I, I guess some people do slam Sunfire. When are, when are you guys slamming Sunfire? I mean, I'm not slamming on a one-star frontliner, for sure. Yeah. Uh, and then you're playing around glove later. Does he have exalted? He has to two three costs. Ooh, cluttered oh, mind. All, all three costs. All three oh. costs. All three costs. All three costs on the Zoe encounter. Reroll, sorry. <laughs> oh. kind of lower. He's, he's probably gonna lose econ. He can't. Yeah, he can't hold it. I mean, I think you. I think you make your. But, yeah oh he can't you, he you, still you can't. can't yeah you can't you need to make them like you don't make them like you just don't make them there's a way he could have if he oh there's a way he could have if he played one kha'zix and then you could yeah. hold the kha'zix on the bench and then it combines at the start of the next round so you can make yeah. it on that one okay let's take a look at knackrack's pov see how his game is 
Hanging out. Ooh, Ink Shadow. Animal. Ink Shadow Senna too. Oh. That's pretty. Wait, it's probably pretty nasty. Good. Ink Shadow is really good. It's also Toxin. Pretty good. Oh That's yeah, fun. Toxin start. So that way oh, you wait, don't. Toxin wait. Sunfire. Sunfire. <laughs> I mean, that's, cool. I've seen people play that, and it's okay, but yeah, it's, it's not ideal. <clears throat> I mean, it's probably the best item you can slam for a streak. Maybe if you want to streak the stage. Maki DC'd. Uh-oh. Porcelain plus Altruist. I like playing around plus one Porcelain these days. I think Porcelain could be really good. Good. Raptor is Asian. <laughs> I mean, technically, I mean, technically. Oh, you live in Asia? I mean, isn't Israel like in Asia technically? You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> you're you're I the think one living there. <laughs> you tell me, I Israel. Think so. isn't, isn't, yeah. <clears throat> I think so, yeah. <laughs> Also, yeah, the there's like a pretty decent chance that you guys are descendants of Genghis Khan, so you're all kind of Asian too, if you think about it. Yep. GG's. There's a there's a really strong chance that you guys are all, all Asian. Yeah. Okay. Eli's uh, losing. This is not not a good start for T-Lights, but I feel like Cluttered Mind, you actually do end up losing. Do you streaking a good amount of times? Because you're just trying to like hold a bunch of pairs. You don't want to combine too much. Ooh, Yone. Are we Yone gaming? Probably not. I mean, our items are okay for it if you get a single bow, though. Yeah. A fortune, fortune player. He can't really grief because he has to hold all these units. <laughs> I mean, he can try, but he's probably not out Sakano. You know? <clears throat> mm -hmm. And you really want to sleep here? Yeah, so he sacks. That's a little bit weaker, but yeah. he didn't okay, go. He didn't, he didn't go for the full sack. Oh, wait, good matchmaking though. Good matchmaking. Okay, so it's a five loss. Oh, this Silas is gonna carry him so hard. From stage three and stage so. Yeah, Silas can do very well if you give him items, and people aren't that strong. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Do you think they need to buff Silas? I feel like he's actually okay. I just think the meta is not favorable for uh, him. Uh, yeah, I, I think he's good. Like, I think he is good front line. Like, he's not a main carry and he will never be a main carry. But, like, he struggles. He can do damage to Yone and, like, uh, Titans to the side. Like, he can damage them. I think they need to just take some power away from Yone elsewhere and buff Umbral. Because Umbral is literally never played right now. <laughs> yeah, probably. Man, I played a, a game today where I was in a four-way contested for Yone. <clears throat> it was it was Kane encounter, and I started off with Darius to. Uh, oh, this yeah. is the gold opener game I was telling you about, Ram. But I opened uh, Darius to Malphite two, and I didn't make gold one three one four, and I was, it was a Kane encounter, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna play tempo. Mm -hmm. I natural Darius three, but I decided just to play like Umbral tempo, and I was doing really good. But then, uh, but then the problems I was playing Umbral, so I started losing every fight, and I got a fifth <laughs> in the Kane encounter. It was, it, was oh, it was so sad. I thought I was like, I was like so chilling, and then, and then the Umbral units just stopped doing anything. Uh. Yeah, I saw I saw a comment earlier today that I didn't even really think about is that Yone would be a lot less frustrating unit if he was played more consistently with Umbral because he'd be a lot more predictable about positioning, or they'd have to sack the Umbral value to like you know come to the other side. Or they play six umbral and then it's bad. I mean, if they're playing six umbral, they like that. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's on them. <laughs> I mean, six umbrals usually not bad because you're hitting set, but yeah, yeah. When, when you get set, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, the thing is, do we really want umbral to be that good though? Because it's an execute trait, and I think execute traits have generally been very frustrating to go yeah, up against and, and the shield that doesn't wear off so you don't kill your <clears> little <throat> yeah yeah we don't really want it to be that good i guess i mean i'm still down to remove your name in the game but yeah <laughs> slamming oh 
Oh wow. Okay, wow, full greed. The value is it, it's weird because like yeah he's gonna get to nine faster, but then what? <laughs> yeah, the le like the, are the legendaries that good that you can like do this and link this part? I, I don't know. Wow, wow. Huh. Did you see that force in streaming TFT? I did. Is he, uh, is, is he also made worlds last set? I don't know why it's such a big surprise. Like, of course, after <laughs> worlds, you go to worlds, you try to convert it into a streaming career. Wait, oh my God. Yeah. Level seven, I really on three, two. Beast. <clears throat> I hope I think he has potential to make it as a as a streamer. Hmm. What do you do with this dummy? Post it in untwist. With this dummy? Yeah. Oh, I think I just play around porcelain and I try to reroll Lux and then eventually tech and Ash later as like a secondary damage source. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, when I play Ash uh, Lux, I, I usually play like a Soraka on like early level, so it's pretty good with Antoist, I guess. Yeah, you can play you can play the uh, the Lux Diana board. It's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lux Diana. <clears throat> then, uh, I guess you play Soraka Nico as well. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit uh oh. Whoa, reduce the cost of rerolling by one. On a on a mm. Zoe level one? That's so crazy. What? Yeah. yeah. Three cost reroll? I mean he can make it the Valiant in two turns, right? He can, yes. Well how much I don't know how much money he's gonna have, but like he could think about rolling a mine. There's another encounter. What if he gets the Kha'Zix one? Yeah. Kha'Zix encounter as well. And if it's the Kha'Zix one, you probably like level and roll on uh, three five and three six. Yeah. I have no idea how he's gonna top for this game because he's, he's everyone's gonna be nine, and then he's gonna have no advantage, <laughs> right? He's just gonna yeah, have yeah. down two augments. And like, uh, that's what I'm asking. Like, are the legendaries that like if he hits a zero to wait, like is he even gonna do well? Right. He like if you, I, there's there's so many um situations where like you hit it you hit multiple two star five costs and you just die anyways like. How many yeah. times have you hit, you know, like, um, like Lissandra 2 and, uh, like a, like a Wukong 2, but you still don't do anything? So you just die? Yeah. Like, like I can see him hitting, uh, um, 2 and Azir 2 on 4 1 and still dying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it feels significantly weaker now. Before, yeah. more dark in the patches was like, be careful about Hui. He still might actually be good. Like, yeah, it's a big yeah. nerf, but like, he still might be good. He's not that good. The meta is just I really mean, bad for him. Good, yeah. Uh, he's only good versus, like, Kai'Sa. Because, like, the way they position. Storyweaver usually... as well sometimes. Yeah, Storyweaver. Because yeah. they clump. Yeah. But he cannot do anything versus, like, Yone or Volleyball. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. There's not enough single target to deal with, like, these three cost super tanks. Yeah. Like, a two star Yone can clear way too. Yes. He was much better when people were playing like Bard and uh uh yeah. other things like that where they just all stayed in place in one just like small corner. The the story with Aaron Bard, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna sack two more. Everything must go for this guy. Shojin red buff Interesting Shojin red buff. I don't even know what that plays into right now I guess he's just <laughs> rolling for any four cost so it doesn't really matter Yeah Is it Rakan? Rakan, yeah We got encounter <clears throat> Kindred offers you a temporary item. She asks for warm box. Uh... Oh. I mean, she has his three item carry, which I think yeah. is good right now. Warm box. Interesting. 
I guess it's like a warning is like he's not doing the damage anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Zyra one isn't going to kill anything. What is Nakrak sleeping with? It was Ink Shadow, right? Yeah. Yeah, Nakrak yeah. was playing Ink Shadow. Five Ink. He's rolling on mm -hmm. seven. <clears throat> oh, a Volibear tank. Interesting. Kind of indecisive with how he wants to play. It looks like he rolled the Preserve Streak. Mm hmm. But now he might just, just die. Like he just, he might just like fade into fifth. He's so poor. Right. He doesn't have the economy to go to nine to play for Bola Bear, and he's not gonna hit yeah, Bola Bear. Yeah, he can't even go eight. He, he can't even go in eight in this portal. Yeah. Yeah. He might if he hits Kaisa two though on seven. I think he he's probably gonna be okay. All right, let's look at T lights. What are you guys talking about? It's probably oh, yeah, because the, the, the north uh, is a continental convergent margin and typically those aren't used to separate plates like the Himalayas and the Indian microplate. Typically boundaries are divergent margin areas. But the oceanic crust is next to the continent. Are you, is this a copy pasta? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> or do you guys just really love geography? Geography. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, there's a bug with uh, everything must go. If you uh, like upgrade a Zaya 2 or a Rakan 2, and you put them on the board, and then you sell them, you get money. Like, it doesn't sell for zero. Wait, what? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So you can just sell Zaya oh, Rakan for money. You, apparently, you don't need to upgrade even. Like, you can put a Rakan 1 on the board, and then sell it for money for 5 bucks. Oh. Yeah. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Well, that just makes that augment even less likely that it's going to, uh, stay <laughs> in the game. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's a really cool augment. Don't get me wrong. It's just a lot of balance problems and it's really buggy. So. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just toxic. Right? What a terrible roll down. It's over. Hold on. You want you want to fight? You want to fight? Should we get a prediction on T Lies' placements for some bonus points yeah. or predictions? And double up. Crash Man, test dummies. <clears throat> oh, is it gonna top four? Yeah. Oh, that bar is pretty uh, low. I was down to vote for eighth or not. <laughs> <laughs> okay is he top four the prediction i don't know man what do you guys think where are uh, you voting rambling uh, almost, I almost, almost, almost impossible yeah, almost impossible so he's voting no <clears throat> you know what i'm gonna go ahead and just say yes i can't vote i can't vote <laughs> I'm go ahead and say yes three points if you say if you say yes Or right, we're fighting RE carry, so maybe his odds are going up. <laughs> Wait, everyone is just grading for nine. RE probably. two. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He is first to nine. Is he locking mm -hmm. the shop? Yes, yeah. I think so. Surely. Oh, he, he's, not, he's not. He's not right now. He's not. Azir two, Lilia two, oh, Dragon Lord Emblem. Locking, locking. Yeah, look at this board. He has a Lily <clears throat> on this board. <laughs> Does artist great lovers count towards any day? No, they do not. At least they should not. If they are, then that's not intended. Yeah, I did, I did court my dream winning this game. <laughs> yeah, he... Is he level 9? Yeah, yes, he's level 9 with everything must go. What he's the uh, tool. Zero to... How? How does he have so much gold? Yeah. Oh, because reroll costs one gold. Uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. Everything must I go mean, into Yorick. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I see. 
Why this was so strong? Yeah, that is really, really strong. Because everything must go basically Man, makes your shop free. Game. So if you get free rerolls, hey, everything's have free. Have you heard about Twitch Prime? Yeah. <laughs> it gives you free subs to support your favorite streamer. Oliver. Use them as soon as possible to wink money from <laughs> Bezos' pockets. How rules. Thank you. That's right. That's right. If you have Twitch Prime, you could My use it God. and uh, you could take money from the rich and give it to, to the poor, aka TFT streamers. <laughs> I mean, I'm not I'm not really poor. I just basically spend all my money I make from stream back into the stream. And now apparently TFT Academy. So. <clears throat> Imagine this with the prismatic. Which prismatic augment? You mean like prismatic ticket? Bryce said he played a game of what's it called? Everything must go with prismatic tickets, and then he like hit like five four cost three swords or something like that. <laughs> it's like disgusting. Yeah, makes sense. Oh, was here too? Oh, Man, I'm getting good. more talking okay. than Oh. Yes, it'll play. Oh. Is it ever just sat? <laughs> Wait, one? No, you can't. You're you, 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 know, you don't need Hawaii for anything. <laughs> You're feeling it. Thanks. Wait, Hawaii Two is a weaker. Yeah, Hawaii Two is, but. Is TFT Academy host on AWS? Oh, I, I, I actually don't know. You should ask our devs. You should ask our devs. Gun Cardinal just gifted 10 community subs. W Blaze. Oh my god. Thank you, Gun. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Mm. Very okay. kind of you. Congratulations to everyone who got yeah. one. Tila is winning this one? It's very close. It's so close. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, what damage, happened? But, uh, he got Wukonged. He got Wukonged. Yeah. Oh, no. God. Oh, no. What's the stakes for this day? Top eight gets a spot in day one, the trial. Top four get a spot in the cup. Day three. So if you top four in this tournament, three, yeah. you don't have to play snapshots or anything like that, or a ladder. Also, there is prize pool on the line. I think first is 1,500. First is 1,500. Yeah. That's almost bad. So, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, God, thank you so much for supporting the stream, buddy. Oh, five uh, no, fortune there's, there's, in stage there's, four. There's prizes all the way down to top 32. Third 32, 32nd is $20. Oh, man. $20? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's like three McChickens. Yeah. Why is it so expensive? I mean, I know why, but like, I'm asking rhetorically, like, why does it have to be so expensive, man? And it defeats the whole purpose here for paying like $15 for a McDonald's meal. $20 is $20. I mean, not really. <laughs> These days, $20 is more like $13, <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> why is he still painting on one life? He doesn't have a better unit, really. You mean you want to play the the Lee Sin then for the for the Dragon Lord? Mm. I mean, Hui's not bad of a unit to play. It's just, I, yeah. Yeah, four Dragon Lord is definitely better though. I, I can definitely see it. Getting the AOE yeah, stun is really huge, actually, in this meta. Yeah, it's all. Nakrek is starting to fade away. He's already at forty HP. Oh, Lissandra 2? Would you play Lissandra 2? Yeah, probably. Lissandra 2 with TG. Mm -hmm. He sold the Dragon Lord. Okay. So we're going to replace... We're, we're going the opposite direction. We're going to replace Janna. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if I agree with that, but I mean, he's under he's under immense pressure, so he just has to commit one way or the other. Yeah. Here's Nakak. Kaisa too. Oh, no, uh, all the Udyrs are gone. There's already two Udyr 2s. Yeah, uh, yeah and you, you were saying, you were predicting that Nakak is just going to bleed out to a fifth from a 100 HP position. It looks exactly yeah. like that is possible. Yeah. He's uh, Galio 1 for his Lissandra 2 on the bench. 
He got stuck rolling at seven, which is really bad for his spot. Oh my god, look at the HP totals. Seven, ten, nine, ten, ten. Irelia? I think all the legendaries are gone. <laughs> Orange Knight One just oh. gifted one community oh, sub. No. Okay, business. Orange, thank you so much, man. Congratulations to Arzu. Thanks for being so kind, everybody. All right, can I borrow $13? I'll pay you back. Yeah, I'll pay you 13 and you give me 20 Sounds good. Well, this I, I don't like his portals, man. Dude, I don't even... I, dude, forget top four, dude. I think we're going eighth. <laughs> this is very eighthable right now. This this Udyr positioning yeah, yeah, yeah. is very eighthable because if he runs through... I, uh, uh, actually, he, he plays a win. Oh, never mind, never mind. Wait a second. No. Uh, oh god. Wait, I was right. The Udir were dead. Dutch. No. Oh god. And you see the tail? Oh man, you see the tail, you just know you're dead. <laughs> Kiss Smoke. of death. No one else died. Oh, one person died. One person died. I mean, we're eighth. Oof. That's that that feels terrible. T Lights has disconnected. I mean that was uh that was exactly why I think this Azir unit is kind of a fraud. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, you just play Azir now instead of Hawaii. It's like, yeah, sure. Like both both are not really ideal. Yeah, both are yeah, both both are both. Yeah, yeah. Like I I'll play Kaisa too of of a boat. <laughs> I mean, his rolls at nine were not great either, though, to be fair. I'm pretty sure that if you predicted his top four placement before rolling, it was way higher. But, like, yeah, after he whiffed from the roll down, it's looking pretty bad. Yeah. And, like, uh, Nakra is fighting for the four. What are we zooming in for? The set, probably. I, I was missing that. Ain't yeah. two. His bot is not bad. His bot is pretty good. Is there an even level encounter? Like two, four, six, eight? No. No. I think there was, wasn't there in PPE and they removed it, I think. Mm, I don't, I don't remember. remember. Yeah. Spade emblem, dryad emblem. Dude, no Udyrs, but an Udyr player did die, so we should be able to find one. Yeah, there's at least eight gone, so... <laughs> okay, I so there's there, one more left. There might be one more, I'm not sure. <laughs> How are you playing seven? What are you doping here? Doping Raven? I mean, Lissandra's the flex unit, but I don't know if I want to drop Lissandra too. Yeah. Yeah, I probably drop Riven. Oh, wait, it's Riven and Orn. Riven. Riven and Orn? Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Oh, he's, he's zooming because he can't find an order. <laughs> I suppose so. This ribbon. <laughs> this ribbon. Oh wait, I saw this guide earlier. Wait, what guide? Oh, the the carry. The ribbon guide. guide. Yeah, there's a there's apparently uh, a guide being circulated on Twitter of people playing ribbon reroll, and now it's wait, gotten to the point where like. It might be a joke, but what I don't want to happen <laughs> is like basically a TFT community stops posting or stops like engaging with content on Twitter because guys are bad. So like people who post bad guides, if they're doing it to yeah. like troll and it's not April Fools. Oh my, you oh. see that combo? The ribbon stun oh. into the little pot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down to shame those people. <clears throat> <laughs> what is guys going for way three? Oh, never mind. It's okay. Wait, wait, three or wait, three? he has gained three. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. he it's has gained three. Oh, or, or is that two? That might be, oh, that's four. It's four. Oh, God. Oh, that's gained yeah. three. Six, seven, Lee, gained three. That is gained three. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Who's. <laughs> Yone reroll is really good, but gained three reroll is really good. Everything must go. <laughs> oh, man. This he's lobby is so cursed. He's, have any three. he's either one or two off. I didn't see how many. He's one off after the print. Oh, my God. Yeah, seven ink shadow is not that good. It, this is probably a bot four if he cues into. 
Maybe we can win this, depending on if that gets on the Kaisa. Oh no, the Silas. The Silas. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. Oh, the, the whole no, bomb disappeared. Just looking bad. Oh, Weird you. Yeah, the whole bomb just disappeared. Game three. Daisy girls. Oh my god, dude! Nine, this lobby eight, HP. Seven, two, one. This <laughs> lobby HP, man. And Kurt is just sitting there laughing. <clears throat> He's one off Annie. Yeah. Oh, he had, oh no, he had, okay, they didn't have any on board. He just has six. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, we might see Kane 3 Heavenly versus like Annie 3 Nautilus 3 or something like that. Do you think, do you think Kane 3 still wins? Most of the time, uh, yeah. Yeah, but if it's Nautilus 3, maybe. Then yeah, not, Nautilus is like the four, the, the three star counter if you don't have CC right, immunity. Right, CC it. Yeah. He has Edge of Night, no, I think. That's true. He if he has Edge of Night, you can reset. <clears throat> yeah, you have to kill it before it casts again. Yeah. The edge. It's like playing playing a Mana Reeve could be the difference. He is playing Lee, so if he Mana Reeves it. Mm -hmm. And stuns, Mana Reeve yeah, and stuns. Kane three. Uh oh. My God. Kane three. Kane three. Dead. He, he can no. get top four though. He can get top four if uh, HP lines up correctly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh dear. Please, Saya, please. He <laughs> <laughs> can't need it. <laughs> okay, like it's a one unit lost or maybe like a two unit lost. Like not not that bad. Yeah. Saya is killing the dummy. Don't worry. Saya, what are you doing? <laughs> Set. Oh, <laughs> dummy is out. down. Dummy is down. It's a four. It's honestly four. a real. That's actually good. That's actually good. He just exits. Yeah. Okay. We oh, have no more. We have no more insights in the lobby. Left, yeah, they, they both left. They both left. All right. Sorry, guys. Let's go ahead and hop on board with Riveting. Riveting is watching Basso skills, Pakigam, Pun, and Horim. Pakigam's playing Seven Mythic. Nope. Sorry, he's playing Faded, going up against Seven Mythic Kogmo. Caitlyn three, Duelist, Kogma, and uh, uh Faded. <clears throat> if right now I was watching more Dark Stream earlier, there are a lot of people talking about balancing Titans. Can you explain why so many people were asking about that? Yeah, because they because Titans is really big enabler for some of the reroll comps like Yone and and Volibear and Riven. <laughs> and Riven. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently Kane reroll as well. That's a that's a big thing. Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Truce? Disconnected? Bro, uh, the servers, this client. Oh seven. Are the servers down? No, servers are not down. Servers are not down. So that's his PC. It's just, it's just, it was just riveting side. Mm. <clears throat> so Abby's top four. Are there cuts today, or is it just all the way through? Uh, we'll check on the score sheet in a little bit. It looks, it looks like there is. It sh there should be. I'd be surprised after, if they don't cut. Yeah, after after three eight games. Ghostly. Eight ghostly, two healthy, eight ghostly. My God. I mean, the Faded Flames is also so strong, but Ghostly usually deals well with uh, Trash 3. They just kill it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, front line's gone, though. Just, yeah, our front line's gone, but we do have so much damage. A Ghostly That's damage. Keen. Wow. I Emoticon father. I think he's actually a dad. Hmm. Okay, so Faye's gonna win a lobby. I'm sorry, Ghosty's gonna win a lobby, and then uh Faded can't really do much about it here. Yep. <clears throat> so we had Faded, we have uh I think Rain wait, we saw Rain and uh JD play, right? 
What did they play? Yes. JD. He's moved away. Rain <clears throat> played. Um, just Kaisa. Kaisa. Rain one one. Oh, Rain one one. JD one one. Motocon <laughs> father got destroyed. Riveting is back. Hockey gum fate seven faded fate is doing all right today so far yeah uh, if, if you get to seven faded it's like really good right? yeah seven faded set two yeah have you seen diana titans bt uh yes i have i think diana does better with strip tank items but i think uh bt titans is good on three star but it kind of sucks before then makes sense what about gargantua just... resolve like on, on Diana? Yeah. I, I've never seen it, but, but it's just like Diana 2 doesn't do enough damage to merit it. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Okay, he just stopped watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> He's just like sick of it. Oh, how's Ramcav's game? He's up three stocks to one. Okay. I think that's it for the games Uh, for or, for round two, rather. Did JD? Oh, JD is 1-1. One, one. JD's 1 1 again. Rain is 1 1. Okay, so here's the thing about these kinds of uh, lobbies that JD keeps getting paired, and because he keeps being number one seed in the most bonus points, he also gets the weakest lobbies. So it's really oh, interesting how this is like JD, but like he also is putting on like a 1 1 1 1 1 1 performance. So, yeah. This guy's a beast. You can just, you can say that he's like getting uh, good lobbies, but you can also just say that he's just. He's the best player in the world. One, 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 one. Hey, his lobbies are not that weak, from what I've seen. Not at, at all. Look at it. He's got Dank Meme Zero One. He's got RJ Blarmo. <laughs> Yana Fine. Total ducking. Yeah. Are you watching this game? Sure. I will say that every game we watched of JD, he's never won, though. We watched him two games and he went 3 3. So. The, the, the Froden Curse. It might classic. be the Froden Curse. It might be the Froden Curse. Okay, so let's. I think lobby three should be starting up soon. I guess I'm gonna take a bathroom break in the meantime. Raptor, you can run things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's just like when you drive into it, Vincent, and I get that last. <laughs> Don't send this chat, please. Thanks. I mean, if, if you're watching JD, we, we need to do a one 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 prediction. How many games has he won already? Like three between the three days. I think he won the entire. Like, I, I think he he's averaging like one point two, like a one point three. It's it's crazy. He won three games the first day, three games the second day, and already two today. Mm hmm. Yeah, today he's winning six, probably. Yeah, at least. Maybe seven.
it up. <laughs> All right, so lobby three. All right, we have we have the lobbies out. Any good lobbies? I have not looked, but I will check right now. And we can we can just stay with JD and uh, Appy. Yeah, hey, I'm down. I'm down. Sh Shoma Appy is JD. It's the sure. Lobby. Sounds good. Yeah. Who can you tell me a little bit about Shoma? Yeah, he's a challenger player in uh, NA, you know. But he would. Uh, sure. He's, uh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I haven't watched him, but uh, every time I see him in streams, he's doing pretty good. Ah, and NA is such a yeah. strong region. Getting challenger is quite the accomplishment, right? <laughs> and yeah, every time this is in this stuff, Lovey, this stuff is calling him uh, Shoma Balls. Shoma what? Shoma Balls. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. Jay Zunski and Spicy Appies. <clears throat> and we can do a 1 1 1 prediction on Jay Z. Let's do it. Ask them what they think ah. of the Sug on these people. What do you guys think of the Sug on these people? Let's suck on these. <laughs> suck on these Shomas. Okay, we got a prediction. Okay, let's do a score update. <clears throat> JD, Zelensky, Rain, Basso Skills, and Senbon, top four. These are the people who would get theoretically a spot in the Tactician's uh, Trials, or Tactician's Cup, rather. And the trials players are Kane Drew, Wong, Turtle Duckling, and Pocky Gum. Which I don't, they don't even really need it. These, these players are playing for top four. A lot of these players around this range are probably going for like top eight, but yeah, these players are going for top mm -hmm. four. <clears throat> because they're making it anyway to allow them. Yeah, it's top 200, so like, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're probably fine. <laughs> yeah. If you're making it to day, this day, you're most likely making it to top 200. There's actually yeah. seven games today. Yeah, because they're doing they're doing um four cuts. Four, five, six, and seven. Or all have cuts. Okay, so three games cut one play cut sixteen players. One game cut sixteen, one game cut another sixteen, one game cut another eight. <clears throat> okay. Wajin went first and then eighth. Oh. Looking through down, looking it down. <clears throat> oh, oh, these are not updated scores. Wait, what? Oh, we just finished round three. Is that what happened? Oh. Or no? No, we played two games. We each was two games, yeah. Right? Then why are they filling? That, that, that was weird. Like a third column just appeared out of nowhere. I thought I missed it. <clears throat> Are we starting the next game soon? What's the delay? I guess we're just waiting for people to get the invites in. All right, how's the EU scene, by the way, Raptor? Uh, the competitive season's kind of started, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we haven't had a major competition. We had the, the LAN in uh, Leipzig in Germany. And uh, like you, you covered it earlier. But uh, yeah, like, I, I'm probably not going to compete. Because I have my degree, but uh, I'll be watching closely. Oh yeah, how was the how was the Leipzig land, the Cactus land? Was it fun? Did you watch it? Uh, I, I heard it was it was fun. I watched some of the games. That that it was so cool. It looks so cool. I was the one this weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I went and I watched I watched the stream because I saw a tweet and it, it, apparently the finals today was literally one game. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was one game. Or is that a different? I don't. It might have been a different tourney, but there, there was a. It was a one-game final today. <laughs> I don't know which one it was, but <laughs> they they played they played like four games yesterday, and then they played one final game today. Yeah, th there was no uh, no mainstream. Okay, then it was a different tourney that I watched. Mm -hmm. What the but it was, heck is I think this? It was, I think it was a German tourney. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Five story respects frontline quake. What the heck? 
I got going on here? <clears throat> TFT four versus four land event. Yes. Why not? I think there'd be something really cool. One one event that I'm thinking about trying to see if I can make happen would be uh, <clears throat> doing EU versus NA 4v4, just straight up. The best EU players versus the best NA players. Okay, but why, why won't you mix it? Land, huh? Why won't you mix it? Like two from NA and two from EU in the same group? That would be pretty cool. Probably eight versus eight, and then the, the and, and just just like basically make it to see who like there's gonna be individuals portion and a team portion, so and you you mm. were in points for NA versus EMEA. Well, yeah, and then uh, I I said the trophy sign the trophy should be a greater than sign, so that way the losing team <laughs> the winning team is holding the trophy and it's greater than the other side and the losing team has to stand there. <laughs> Uh oh, this is this, yeah, this is the one I watched. Clem, Clem one. <clears throat> Did he? What was the What was the link of that? What was the link of that place? Was uh, it or something of, like that. Yeah, I, I didn't know. I didn't even realize that was that was the name of the attorney. But I, I watched this game. Oh, so I watched, but yeah, they, they played one game. <laughs> um, what? And then it, it, like there's other stuff happening at the event. There was one TFT game at the beginning. Oh, this doesn't look like TFT. There, there was there was one part where, like it was literally one game of TFT and then they moved on. Hmm. This yeah, this is definitely not TFT. Uh, <laughs> this is League of Legends. I see. They basically play like one game of each of the finals. Oh, TFT is here. TFT yeah, is here. That, that, that's that's what I watched. <laughs> oh. Oh. So the broadcast show only one game. Okay, okay, makes sense. <clears throat> okay, got it. So then this was the final game. Looks like it's Duelist versus Kaisa. Oh, he was a uh, for this is Fortune Cash Out. And then he was going for Udio 3. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. I just want to see the winning moment. I want to see the winning moment. Okay, they go to the casters. And they show the player. What, I just want to see the stage. Like the stage is like really cool. The land had ten games. Yeah, I believe it. Like if you look at it, it looks like there's so many games that they featured in like eight hours. If anything, I'm kind of surprised they squeezed in a TFT game. TFT is kind of long. All right, we're loading into game. We're loading into game. Oh. So we're watching uh, T-Lights or JD? Oh no, that's T-Lights, sorry. Uh, we're watching JD. Oh, but they haven't started yet. Okay. They haven't started yet. They had Brawlhalla. Is Brawlhalla a bad game? I thought people liked Brawlhalla. It just wasn't popular, but like, not a bad game. My friend, what is his name? That casted it. Uber, Uber, Uber. I, 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 was, I want to call him Mitch. Uh, Uber casted Brawlhall. He said it was pretty fun. I'm looking forward to the Riot fighting game, though. 2XKO. I'm going to play that a lot. Oh, Z-Boy Wonders casting and Invective. Z-Boy Wonder and Invective. Man, times are hard for TFT casters. You're a great streamer. D3 Soju. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Soju. For real. Appreciate it. We should uh, duo sometime. Maybe we can both make it to Masters. <clears throat> Amazing. What is Brawlhalla? It's like a it's a platform fighting game, Not like Smash Bros. Upcoming lobby, we got JD Zelinski and Appies and Shoma and Rudier and RJ Blarmo. RJ Blarmo. Uh, yeah, totally. Bronze King. Diamond three. Why am I a giant? Hello? Hey, what? Oh, wait, I have JD unmuted. It's been around for a while. I remember it having a partnership with Duelist. Oh, is it from the same makers? Or like... 
It's similar like art ish, right? Duelist was the wasn't that the pixel card game? Am I misremembering? Have you seen the Korean TFT ad that they played during LCK? Oh, I haven't seen it. You should show it to me. TFT is pretty big in Korea, but a lot of people play casually. They don't play it seriously. August is not Riot. August tight. Just to confirm. It's not what? Riot August. It's just no, it is. It is. Riot. The guy that made Jinx and Jin and Vi and Echo. Oh, so he's playing again? Oh, yeah. Watch. Yeah. The, the Riot August is a TFT player as well. He's not allowed to monetize though, so he's going to donate it back. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take a look at this. Remind me later after this game. I love to see the, the Korean LCK stuff. JG Zelensky 111. On ladder, he went 522665, and in this tournament, he went 111. We got one guy Scuttle Puddle. <laughs> Scuttle Puddle. <laughs> JD Zinger versus and uh, Appies are the POVs that we have. And this one's called Scuttle Puddle. This is a different August. Nah, same one. Same August. That's what they always say, right? You you sell it, same Malphite. Nah, it's the same August. <clears throat> August will come back. <laughs> <laughs> How is JD the best player ever? We're about to find out. We're about to find out. I think it's a mix of a uh, good meta read and he's ahead of the curve. I think the last time JD was this dominant was when he was playing Zed before everybody else in set yeah. 10. So mm -hmm. he's uh, he's an early adopter to some of the meta trends. So if JD's ahead of the meta, he's doing well. When JD, when everyone else is like kind of has the same meta read, I think JD doesn't shine nearly as much. But we'll see. So he's the new Solus. He's what? The new Solus. The new Solus. <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing. Nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> Damn. Wow. It sucks to be Solus. If new Solus means nothing, then what does it mean to be old Solus? <laughs> all right we're gonna sell make 10 here do we want to get the to oh really got exalted oh exalted what's exalted <laughs> no idea uh, it's Dar garen is one of them <clears throat> wait he, he, wait yeah he's, he's in hover is garen is garen was exalted i'm pretty <laughs> sure <laughs> yeah he can just look he's looking for the exalted <laughs> No <laughs> man, lucky pause. Oh, lucky pause, lucky pause. Oh no, he actually didn't even realize he has exalted on his board. And there's another person that had exalted. Mm, clear mind. Bitch. Bitch. Falling asleep here, man. Is not one <laughs> uh, Jack Spare? I feel like with clear mind, you still want to play around pairs. I guess yeah. kindred pair. Yeah, that kind I think of like Jax is replaceable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think piggy bank always give you the lowest cost. I think so. Most. I mean, it literally says in the augment subtext, it says if there are no one or two costs, it'll give you a three cost, implying it'll give you the lowest cost ones. Yeah, makes sense. <clears throat> It's entirely so possible he's, 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 that he knew that, that uh, even if he picked the piggy bank, though, he might have whiffed because it might have given just Garen plus one and he didn't have three exalted. Yeah. So. But another way to think about it is uh, piggy bank is clear mind, but you get to hold a bench. So, you know, I don't know. Oh, and your team gets 10% bonus damage. It, it's so insane. I, I, it gives five world if you lose. It's so much. It's five gold if you lose. Yes, because it's the base two plus three. Right. Well, clear mine is five gold as well, but uh, two plus the three exp, so not really five gold. You get three. Mm -hmm. You get two natural every turn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 
Did you see the real force in getting Recon 3? Yeah, I'm watching his stream right now. <laughs> Good job, Forsen. Okay, let's take a look at uh, Appy's POV as well. Ari bestows your team a combat blessing for the rest of the game. Oh, hey, Pete. Oh, we got a swear we request. <clears throat> what do you take here usually? Like on this uh, alley encounter? HP most of the time. Yeah, I take HP because yeah. it's most yeah, generic. Sure. It feels like if you want to take something like AP, you know you're going to commit to mostly an AP cop. He does have spark, so I think that's fine. Mm -hmm. But, um... Is Appy is going for seven story weaver, uh, like, like Zoe reroll? I can see that with the story weaver plus one. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. <clears throat> His gold augment is currently a vest. <laughs> and he's three straight, so not bad. His board is insane. His board is really high quality. Mm -hmm. Just two stars yeah. across the board, except for Bard. It's kind of interesting to watch the damage. NA meta read. You guys pick econ augments way more, do we? Yes, 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 yes. Definitely. Oh. Well, China picks a lot of econ augments as well. So you think EO is, is them? Well, I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we're wrong. But like, what? It, it, I guess what's the what's the EU players uh, meta read then? Like, for are you guys speaking comment augments a lot? Are you guys like taking trait augments? Yeah, like, like, like not like clearly, but like it, it, it's more than NA. Like you see less econ augments than NA. I think uh, econ augments are pretty good, but XP augments are I'm not a fan of. I just, I just don't value going high levels that much right now. Yeah, makes sense. But using the, the money to reroll, I think, is really good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> EU is MMA arena. <laughs> <laughs> is it now? <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I think Orn so Wait. early is insane. DB is far. Deathblade. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's Irelia, right? Or, or Kaiser. Oh, yeah, I suppose, but I feel like you'd rather focus on making AP items first before committing stuff to this, because, like, you're not going to hit Irelia mm -hmm. for at least two stages, maybe three, yeah, most yeah. likely three. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the same because it's his best way to keep streaking, because he's playing Bard. Mm -hmm. It's just unusual, I suppose. I Man, stage two on is so good. <laughs> Brandon, what do you think is the best Kale build if you get the Story Weaver augment? Oh, uh, don't, she don't is, oh, oh learning the spell. Learning the spell. Like, learning the spell is very important. Learning the spell is like the actual god combo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, god combo to have uh, Yesterday, yesterday there's a player in the tournament who took learning the spell and called to adventure, and we looked it up, and in Masters Plus, it's only been played twice, literally twice. And they <laughs> add, and one person went six and the other person went eighth. Oh my god, we went to six. And so it averaged a seven. <laughs> and this person went eighth. So yeah, it, it, it averages like a seven point something. Anyways, that's the worst possible combo. Don't take learning a spell plus uh, call to adventure. Oh, I mean, especially if we don't have Story Weaver yeah. on stage two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he didn't hit he didn't hit Story Weaver until uh, until stage three. Uh, what do you guys think about this level six here? I'm assuming it wasn't for this guy. I didn't see how strong the other person was. Oh, yeah, mm. he's very aggressive. This is so super aggressive. Oh, he's, he, he's, he's thinking, wait, Oh, wow, wait, he found wait, this, this is a really good fortune spot. I mean, it, it is, it is. You should at least cool. check. You should yeah, at least yeah. check. You, you, have, you have Annie as well, so you might be able to get five really like pretty easily. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised. I think this is like something that ultimately is a big weakness in Appy's plays that he just doesn't really play for these things, even if he, they're kind of served to him. Like there's there's no risk to at least checking. He doesn't even bother looking at what's going on with the fortune. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
I did this, this. This surprised me. Like fortune, fortune is so good here in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it ends up buying the any as well. Like I understand you, 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 you can at least justify say like, okay, well, I don't really want to play fortune, but uh, you should at least like understand how to play it because it's just such a potent weapon. Mm -hmm. So you want to be the stone plate? Yeah. Stone He's plate. just trying to figure out how to allocate his items here. Yeah. What's it on Riven? Interesting. Usually the story weaver unit you cut is Garen. This implies that he wants to play around a Lowey. Because he's gonna keep the Garen for the the warden connection for Lowey. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is it Troop of Blue Kale if you're trying enemy. to make her the main carry? You could you could also play green blue blue uh kale. Both the green blue blue kale does a little bit better in the data when we checked. Probably because it gives you a smoother curve since so you don't have to build things like Shiv and Spark early and then you can just like... Like, Blue Kale tends to go through the front anyway. She's not trying to hit backline anymore. So you try to just like AoE the front so you can use her sh yeah. shred. Uh, but I think either Blue 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 or Green Blue Blue is good. Also, you have a lot of physical damage from your units, like the story of your units. So it's nice to have uh, the yeah. shot. Late game specialist, and it's pretty good. It's Scandal Puddle, like, like it's not even bad. Like, yeah, that's true. Scandal Puddle, you could do, get away with it, but I, I think he's just not really like playing level nine, he's just purely focusing on level seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's yeah, a so, Titan's end fortune player. So, but if you if you if you're focused on level seven, like, would you like do you really want to DB them? Like, what is your DP doing on level 7, right? You, you could theoretically play, like, Kaisa 7 Story Weaver on 7. I don't know. <laughs> That's about it. I, I can't really think of any other uh, connection to the Story Weaver line. It, it is it, There is also another possibility that he's just playing strong board and saying, I'm going to play 3-5 Story Weaver and, like, play around strong units and then, like, push levels. I don't think that's uh, what he's going to do because that's very unlike his play style. So, yeah, I, 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 that's the only other thing I think I can justify here. It's the CM uh, Story Weaver Yone favorite. <laughs> Story Weaver Yone? Yeah. <laughs> no, man, that's... Okay, that actually would be something Abby's would do, but that's, not, that's just not what he's doing. Also, do, uh, I think we, we, we lose this fight. We saw it in the CM... Uh... The end ones. Meeps. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Well, now we want fortune back. Now we want fortune, yeah. Oh, one turn <laughs> a little bit slow. All right, let's check in on JD. See what uh, JD Zinger is doing. Early sets at seven. I That's see. Oh yeah, with both. Set? My god. Early this set, set double Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> and like remember that the, these scales like every round that is on the board yeah this early set is insane because it's racking up the ad based off his squats mm -hmm. i think this is the second time we've seen jd level to seven early and then hit a five cost right afterwards that's pretty good like he he was playing uh ad and then hits irelia at three two or three three and then this is him hitting set two or set on three 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 so. yeah. no set, no I mean, set two yet yeah. he's still working on that no set two probably in the next couple <laughs> shops duplicate champion duplicator right here yeah. into uh set two that's something that happens <clears throat> doesn't even look at what the encounter is <laughs> just busy clicking and scouting yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> support item Actually, there's a lot of good support items on this carousel. This is a pretty good one. Yeah. It could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. When you're stuck with like three obsidian cleavers and you're like, oh God. <laughs> Can't do anything here. Like Randu and Zeke's is pretty decent choices at the end. Yeah. <clears throat> Zeke's except for the, the less, less one. No one takes it. Kaisa. Doesn't have trick shot right now, but he, I mean, he could put Martin as well. Yeah. Drop Kane and a Zoe. But just... I like it. Gets to make gold this way if he wants to. DB. Do you random and set? 
Yeah, yeah for bulk probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bulk value and it's easier to position this way. Okay. Yeah. Really thinking hard about this death blade. What would the, I would have slammed this death blade and not thought about it, but at least he put a no, lot of time uh, into it. It, it hard commits him. him to nine. Like he's already like committed, but like he's just saying like if I don't go nine, I can't do anything this game with this uh, DB. So the value of holding it was that he had option to roll instead at like seven and eight. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what you would roll at seven four here. I'm pretty sure this is always going to nine. 88 yeah. HP looking good though. Another encounter. Kha'Zix. Upgrade oh. your next two cost champion or gain gold. A little late for two costs. I wonder what Abby's yeah. is going to pick. Abby tends to really like uh, upgrades. Abby's to gold. To gold. Abby's to gold. <laughs> Seventy-seven, pretty tight in lobby HP. Seventh place at Appy's is not that far behind. One fight. I think there's two tiny titans in the mix. Oh, oh. oh. So lobby HP is a little inflated. Last place guy is fortune. Oh, the fortune guy got tiny titans. Maybe that's another reason why he didn't take fortune because he knew that there was another fortune player. I don't know if that's what he was thinking, but it's a possibility. Oh, Jeez. I guess he, I guess he can roll on eight for four trick shot bolt. But yeah, Jeez. two. You just don't want to accidentally get pairs and grief yourself. Out of your clear mind. Mm -hmm. So I guess like you have to be willing to roll a certain amount. Yeah, that's true. You also could do like, I'm just not gonna play clear mind for like two three rounds to try to stabilize, and then, and then once you feel like you're stabilized, you can start selling everything to get back and aggressively go to nine. Okay, this is looking a little dicey here for Appy's again. Uh, four losses. I feel like he tried to play a tempo curve and like he played he fortune. He, he, he skipped fortune and then he lost four rounds on stage three. I know, but that, that seems like perfect timing for it because his board was not one that scales very well. Yeah, no. Like this is the weakest part of the of this comp is the usually this the mid game mm -hmm. if you don't get the two stars. And you have such like such good odds so like hitting five fortune as well this stage. Agreed. And it sucks. Yeah. yeah he, he just needed Timo and Zoe. Mm -hmm. We'll see what he does on eight. Is that a spat? Oh, oh double oh, Galio. Oh, oh my god, double okay. Galio for Story Weavers? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <clears throat> Seven Story Weaver. Does he need to roll really deep here? Not no, really. Yeah. What is this? No, I need to just roll once. What is this? <laughs> Thinking about who he wants to story weave. Level to eight. Oh, he just on Lowy and then other items on uh The cash out is not looking impressive. Oh. 35. Okay. 35 is. is Looks like level. it's not cashing out there. Yeah. Right, right. So, the the, the <laughs> leaves aren't glowing. <clears throat> is he going to be able to go to nine? We'll see. He wants a combat augment here. Mm -hmm. The combat augment is huge. JD lost. Let's go. Let's, let's focus on Appy's here. Then look at JD's. None of this. His keeper's good. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty good. It, it, yeah, yeah, right. Then you have the Kale as a and so unit as well. Right, right. I think it's better than no. I think it's better than no. Your enemy. Yeah, no, your enemy. It kind of just, it just really depends on like what the lobby's like. Unless you're yeah. playing like a really big wide tree, but he's not. He's playing story weavers. Oh, little buddies. Eh. Better yeah, when you yeah, have yeah, the Irelia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I agree with what John says. I didn't like the crown guard. It's not even a particularly great item on Galio. Yeah, yeah. I like keeping the, the rod. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. 
You can just mortal, uh, you can just wait up Shunda Gaga, you know, it's fine. Yeah, Crown Guard, probably, I, I, I remember seeing that, I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that. Why not just redemption on the gallery? I guess he's, they're feeling like you get the value of it with anyways through the Alawi. Oh yeah, but that's something, I'm saying. Bow is fine, but just make Bow go, yeah. Bow is better, yeah. But then Rod is open oh, for R Morello, ideally, or even Rage Plate is like also okay. I can see that. Oh, oh my, my god. god, that Kale is nuts. <laughs> this, yeah, this Kale. JD went JD to nine. nine. Holding a Relia pair. Oh no, just yeah, Relia pair. So we're gonna be stuck at nine for a little bit. He went at nine, but he looks like he didn't uh, really do much he, with his board. Yeah, he's kind of broke. I mean, the only way is so good to start like putting the five costs. That is true. Even printing a single five cost is huge. Yeah. Okay, three items. Chosen. Board looks pretty good. For 74 I, HP. Yeah. Chill. Too, I think. The, I think the Zirelia throw in the lobby. That one? Yeah. That one right there? <laughs> it's hard to cash out. Double fun. Yeah. Six Wozil Zirelia. Uh, theoretically, Crown Guard should be good on Galio since no... It, it only scales his damage. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Galio really needs to have the tankiness, and Crown Guard only give, doesn't really help him enough. He, he scales with resist and not with AP. Like... Oh, it scales his shield a little bit too, it looks like, but not his tankiness. His, shield, his ally shield. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess shield is one way you can interpret it. Tankiness, but... Yeah, he, he, he's a lot better because he's taunting, so he's drawing a lot of aggression. So damage reduction resi resistances are really, really good on him. There is like an element of he's a bruiser, so Crown Guard synergizes with like having more base HP to work off of. But I, I think it's, I think it's not a fantastic item. It's an okay item on him. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not yeah. very bad. Yeah. It is more about item economy than the item being bad. Yeah, yeah. Cloak. Shen 3. This lobby is not particularly strong. Yeah. It doesn't look like a lot of people have crazy, like, you know, Volibear 3, Yone 3. In fact, I feel like we haven't seen much Yone 3 a lot today. Mm hmm. It's fascinating. I think people, I think the meta is shifting towards a lot of people trying to just like say, oh, Kaisa is like really good now, so I should be playing a lot of Kaisa. Yeah. Like we've seen a lot of like people trying to go nine today, then reroll. Yeah. I think a lot of people are also like sick of rerolling, so to speak. I think a lot of people who've played mm -hmm. a lot, the, the hyper engaged players in TFC right now just like don't want to reroll <laughs> very much. I think they just want to yeah. play something else. We have Randoin's best friends on the other side. <laughs> Oh god. And uh, I, I'd also assume like some people looked at uh, JD because he's the, like the leader. And so, oh, he's not rerolling, he's only playing first nine. So let's let's try to copy. Let's try to copy that, right? Ah, uh, I see. I thought, I thought you meant like the social leader, but you meant like the points leader. He's the, he's right now doing really well. Also the social though. leader. Everyone uh, follows yeah, JD. that's true. He's a role model. <laughs> sure. <My idol. clears throat> Any pair? Send a three. Okay, so the, the ghosted pair is gonna get online. Yeah. And his HP is so high, my own. Like, yeah, he, he, he's doing really well. Uh, let's check in on Appies, see how he's doing under the stage. Appies and JD both fighting back now. Got a way. DB on a sever. Wow. Yeah, I guess if he finds. I really yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just sell it. Just sell it. Stage crest. One off Zoe 3. Yeah, Zoe 3. Red buff, blue buff, Shojin. That is a <laughs> ton of mana. <laughs> Not a ton of damage, though. Not a lot of ton of damage, yeah. Not even red, uh, blue kale. Oh, no, we do have Sage, though. Oh, oh my. my. Oh, my. We have Sage to help buff the AP. Yeah. He wants, he's thinking about going here and rolling a little bit. Okay, so he levels, no roll.
and I'll, I'll do five quests so I'm already out. Yeah, I mean, five costs being out is like okay because he kind of really wants specific ones. There was like five Irelia's worth though. Yeah, that's, that's true. A lot of Irelia's out of the pool. Yeah. Oh, Renan's glove. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna go red buff. Oh, red buff, I see. red buff quick cover. Yeah, That's fine. Hey, it's good with keepers. Okay. Galio two. Stars. What hits? What hits? Revit. Okay. Uh, yeah. I really, oh. I really, I really. That's massive. That's massive. Super big. They can move her back. Mm -hmm. Okay. And ideally, you'd, you'd want to duplicate an Irelia, I'm not a Huai. Right, yeah, right. Just rolling specifically for Irelia feels pretty bad now. Yeah. But I, are you feeling like you, you want to push 10 here? I mean, I feel like you have to. It's just that we already saw how many Irelias are gone. So, like, if you roll and you miss Irelia, then you're just getting nothing out of it. Like, I think, I think you should just go mm. 10. Okay, I, I mean, I, I can, I mean, I can he's do that. Stable, right? he's he wins. Stable. Yeah, that really, yeah. I mean, even finding one early is really big. Yeah. If that's the case, you should probably just print Hui and then get three more rounds on, um... Oh, yeah. he's rolling. Oh, he, he wants the earlier. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Hui, so we can print yeah, something else. I, mean, you may, I might just save the charges for earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I, I feel oh, like you know, one thing I was going to say is that I wonder how many three. people are playing Galio because he kept rolling past Galio. <laughs> he got another Galio. For Lissandra. Yeah, I'm surprised he's doing this. Oh, wow. He could beat uh, a, a Wokong, too. I'm really surprised by this. We played Lissandra over... I guess, is there some Exalted he's going to try to play? It's 2 out of 3 Exalted. Maybe it's the Lissandra Huey one? I yeah, I don't know. He, he sold, he sold Brakan, Mukong, and a Laoi pair to play Lissandra. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think he was just basically saying, like, next turn is the Irelia 2. So if I roll and I hit Irelia pair, I have Irelia 2. So that's why he rolled aggressively. But I think oh, he I didn't need like... to do this. I think he didn't need to do this, and I think he didn't really pay attention to how many Irelia's already gone. Yeah. yeah. And now he's dropping the Rakan. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's another thing, too. You don't, you don't have to print this turn, either. You could have waited. Also, another yeah. Galio, by the way. Just... Okay. okay. Good, good. Just board spike this turn. Mm -hmm. On the way, no? Oh, yeah, because uh, you get more star level bonus. Yeah, I guess you have room to go if you like. Don't boys on the way. Do you like Redemption on the way, by the way? Uh, it just depends on matchups. Ooh, Redemption on way. That is spicy, I like that. Extra tier as well. So you get the Redemption proc on your backline and everything is keepered valued and then, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> The thing is, I feel like the the redemption on the Galio is kind of nice, especially in these kinds of matches where he's going against like the Senna. Yeah. Oh, the Kale damage is. That nice. was crazy. Yeah. Remember that a while ago when he picked AP as his option for the buff? It's really starting to pay bit dividends now. Yeah. Oh, his team buff. Yeah. Yeah, his team buff to get a bunch yeah. of AP. Those two Irelians too already. Uh, yeah, guess... that means that I think there's only one I really left. J J J JD printed his two star. Okay. <laughs> Three for emblem. These items are pretty bad. This bot Three is fonts. Crazy. What the heck? Wait, this bot is crazy. Oh yeah, he got he got another spec. He had one on bench. <laughs> crazy. Ground guard way. Ground guard recon. Yeah. Three font, three tacticians crowns on the fortune cash out. Jeez. Oh, okay. Okay, that's big. Oh, Another what Galio. Are we, what are we rolling? For something to do, I guess. Like. Yeah, I mean, he has a list though. Like, you just just stack on the list. Yeah. I'm sad. I think we could have hit Galio for this game. <laughs> okay, I mean, Empire Lima had two Galios. Never mind. We could have printed one as well. 
I mean, he is playing for a second, so I guess there's like going trying to go ten is probably not even worth it anymore. Probably not. Is this duelist? This is Yone. Uh, Yone like having trouble have getting through. Ways finally casting. The keepers. Yeah, the, the keepers but is so nice on this world. Yeah, I Aegis keepers. and keeper synergy is ridiculous. Yeah, I, I think the keepers is ca carrying him really hard. Yeah. This stage. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, he lost again. Oh no, sorry, that's uh, Empire Lima. Oh, the fortune, the fortune player lost. Oh, the, the fortune, fortune player fortune just player. lost. There's one life. DV death cap. It's kind of DV's whatever. Death cap's okay. Yeah, death cap, yeah. Con. Oh, they. Best. Wow. Oh. Then that gives you optionality. You can move it back into uh, Zaya as well now. Yeah, he, he could put the Zoe next to Huey. How does this board off. lose? That's crazy. Three yeah, tacticians scouts lost JD's in board. In the back, well. Like next to Kale for the attacks, right? Oh, because he, he wanted to get the Aegis as well, I guess. Oh, uh, you want to say Aegis on it? Oh, yeah, true, true. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This he, one's really he moved the Zoe up, so yeah, this is good. Okay, yeah, this is JD's board. <laughs> Double death cap. Yeah. This is a massive damage, but it does nothing, I guess. But he gets all the shields off. Okay. Yeah, second card. Wait, cast. Casted. Like it's oh, not, man. Alright. One streak. Looking good. Shoma went fifth. No crab. <laughs> this is not crab rave, it's catalyzed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The crab is is a scary this uh <laughs> Oh crab oh yeah, and crab yeah, no, this yeah, is yeah. puddle though. Scuttle puddle is much much better. They buffed it, right? Like it, it's so scary. I mean I think it's funny. I, I don't mind losing to more things like crab rave. I think it's alright. <laughs> <clears throat> We're gonna level here. Four dragon. Wukong, Wukong two. two. My god. My question is if he hits Azir to does he sell the the Hui probably, Watch. right? Oh interesting, Bramble. You'd rather reinforce frontline, I see. Oh TG is so good when the DB runs yeah. off. <laughs> Oh yeah, he needs extra Diana as well. Yeah, yeah. You can teach it the yeah. Wukong. Yeah, I was thinking Wukong items originally, but mm -hmm. uh, it looks like he goes for the Bramble because he knows he's going with Yone. I see. Yone can't deal with the Udir then. I think it's smart. So, so if you hit uh, a zero, you sell the Huai, right? Theoretically. Oh my God! Appy's beat the Fort. Dude, the or Fortune player just went third. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> it's Appy's versus JD. All right, now we're rolling for the Aurelia. Yeah, 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 too. He did all of this on Aurelia 1. Yeah. I, I, I didn't watch oh. Havoc because I kind of thought he was going to lose that fight, and I thought we were going to watch, like, uh, JD versus him again. Okay, we definitely missed Gato 3. Like, what is going on here, man? <laughs> Where is Aurelia? This is, this is just a huge, uh, huge keeper sniff. He should move his Leeson off of this. He's gonna print another Leeson. Tilt roll one more time. Why not? I feel <laughs> you on that. Oh god, we're this Huey clump. Oh wow, rolling during the pa the, the I don't combat. I think he needs to be this desperate. Yeah. Like you can just not print. You're 60 HP. He also could have just went. Yeah, exactly. I think he went to 10. He had like 50 gold as well. I think you go 10 and you just don't print until you find the Aurelia. Boom. Oh, nice. Okay. But like, you, but to your okay. point, he had so much time in the 1v1 scenarios. <clears throat> I mean, I don't see a case in which Appy's win this game, honestly. Yeah, I think, uh, I think unfortunately he tried to be aggressive or something like that, but I think he, he definitely like tried to rush this really way faster than he needed to. Yeah. Yeah. 
he had many he had opportunities to slow things down and try to play things a little bit less quickly Four's still good but I don't know if I don't know if he uh wins the game we'll see Four's doing a lot better now with that really it's doing it's doing so so much better and it's yeah. earlier one still is it do you win this fight yeah it's close yeah oh, wow yeah and now we uh -huh. got the earlier two as well probably a two okay story Another, weaver again oh, dude he had 10 story 10 weaver story he had 10 story <laughs> weaver is <laughs> jody griffin it no i don't i think i feel like it doesn't do enough for him he yeah just... yeah Leeson. Oh, I mean, two star, two star was is very big too, for sure. Oh yeah, you get to replace the guard. That's what he got. Sure, works. Okay, let's look at JD's perspective. As we said before, every time we've watched JD, he doesn't win. He gets like second or third. Maybe that ends up being the case here. I wonder how much these gloves also play a factor in things. These Wukong items are pretty good. Yeah. Those Wukong items are very good. Okay, trying to work through back to the front line. Galio's taking like a beast. Skills. Galio's down. Orn doing nothing. What is Orn doing? He's, He's just, just doing he nothing. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Is that, I think it looks like Abby's going to win. Yeah, he, he his board with uh, keepers and Aegis is not doing not taking damage at all. Yeah, never mind. This this Aegis this Aegis keepers combo is not very balanced. This is so powerful. What the heck? Like he, he eats up two Huey ults and doesn't take damage. He doesn't remove the shield even. Yeah. Never mind. I thought Abby's was not gonna cap high enough, and he knew the entire time. As long as he hit Irelia too, he was gonna win. Just how much I know. <clears throat> okay let's see if uh let's see if we can get through this keeper's ball wait Uder just got one shot the kale the kale wow oh man and and jd loses again this guy doesn't go first as soon as we, wa we, we watch him he's always in a good spot and then he just <laughs> doesn't go first all right that was crazy Okay, next time I gotta know, man. The keeper seven story weaver kale is good. Like, does any other gold augment hit there? Like, wins them like that? Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm I think not this is the sure. one, the one gold augment that wins him the game. Uh oh, T Light's watching. Game. I'm like, wow, how is this so fast? It looks like T Light <laughs> loses here. He's playing duelists. Gets beaten by Aphelios. He had two Radiant Titans on the Bolivar. Rain went first again. Holy, oh, with Lux. With Lux. Looks like it's a porcelain game. I wish we could see, like, it, this is normals, right? Can we see match history? Yeah, you can, you can. Yeah. Lab so 004 Rain. Rain has went 1-1-1. One, one, one. Let's update. Frodan curse. Sorry, JD. That's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> That's on me. You can blame me. Oh, uh, boiling point. Boiling point. Eight, eight Arcanist. Six, six porcelain. Holy. Wow. What the heck? You got two porcelain emblems. This is crazy. That is not normally. Our, our synergy part is just eight. Two wow. prismatics. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. We got movie. Is movie in game or no? No. Good stuff to Happy's, by the way. I'm happy for him. Knackrack. And riveting. Looks like everyone's out of game. Riveting's out of game. Knackrack watching Soju. And I think so all have... okay, all games are done for round three. So we're gonna have our cuts then. We have our cuts. We have our cuts. So the cut will be from 64 down to 48. So it looks like no matter what, Nakrak is eliminated. 
Bjerg's eliminated Chewbacca, August, and Large Stone. Bad. T lights. T lights. Oh, T lights eliminated. Wilf eliminated. Joe bookmark. Mario Kart Player Five eliminated. I copy Keen eliminated. It looks like uh, only one player with 10 points is going to survive. How it was a tiebreaker. What's a tiebreaker? Do they show color key no clue. first or? Um, it's probably the, oh, it's probably the first plus top fours. Or first yeah. plus top four. Oh, I don't know. There, 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 there's a bunch of stuff on the right. So it's stuff, something, something to do with that. Oh, that, oh, that oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, order? the seed. Okay. So I think it's top one, top fours, number of A's. First plus ace, top three. Okay, top threes is a tiebreaker. So they went to the fourth tiebreaker, top threes. Eighth is second tiebreaker. Oh, eighth is it? Oh. oh, is that the oh, order? I, I, or hate, I hate that. Number of ace is a tiebreaker. So I ballistic bunny had the worst tiebreaker. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's that's sad. <clears throat> this JD guy is cheating. What do you mean? <laughs> All right, we're going up. We're coming up on round number four here, but we're going to be losing oh, the problems. bottom 16, and then we're going to be cutting another 16 after this game. What's up? We already have lobbies. Uh, I think they auto seed, so it's like, yeah, these are theoretically the lobbies, assuming they're correct. They probably like vet it and double check. <laughs> But assuming this is the lobbies, we got JD, Philip, and Lobby 1. Lobby 2, we got Rain. We got lab members. Wajin and Appy. Ooh, we should watch this one. Wajin, Appy's, Rain. Yeah, and yeah. And a bunch they, of lab members. Lobby That's really good. Um, lobby, lobby 2 is nuts. Cringe JD High Roller. Isn't this person like a JD sub or something like that? Probably. <laughs> is there, is there any... Is, I have a question. Is there anybody that watched Jay Zelinski that likes this guy? Like, I feel like you guys all watch him. And you guys like you give, give him nonstop grief. You guys, is, is there anybody that watched JD because they like him? <laughs> I feel like you guys are just so mean to him all the time. Lobby four, pizza, Basel skills, downpour, stellar, Minhi, Tifo, Shoma, movie, Stacy girls, five. Dank memes, Wong, RJ Blarmo, Connor's me, Brosif, Emoticon Father, Campley, Yoni, and six. Riveting, Turtle Duckling, Rudier, Sponsy, Jason Lin Pun, Ribbles, and Horum. I love it what is this inside my I so like I JD. Lobby two. Lobby two? Yeah, lobby two. Yeah. Let's see. So we're gonna lose Knackrack as a stream. We're gonna oh, go. Seven. Oh seven. Oh seven. Uh, we got, and we're gonna lose T Lides. T Lides is no longer participating as well. Uh, is anybody else streaming? Maybe Wajin? Did he turn on a stream by any chance or no? No, he didn't. Sag. What about. Doesn't Super Flames usually stream? Sometimes he does. JD, I don't like you, but good luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can respect that. I can respect that. T lights. Lobby 2 is fire. Right? Yeah, Lobby 2 is crazy. Lobby 2 is song. Can we watch a rain game? Yeah, we'll, we'll watch a rain game. This is Rain's POV right now. What's Rain? What's, what's Rain talking about? I don't hear anything. Maybe she's in a Discord call, just uh, yapping. Uh, Arrow and Cambly are both streaming. <laughs> Cambly. Yeah. Cambly TFT. Uh, just Cambly. Just Cambly. Sweet. 
And you said Aaron? Arrow. Arrow. A E R zero T F T. Oh, 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 Arrow. Yeah. Good. Full lab lobby. Lobby two? Super Flames, Rain, Humbug, Aaron Kuma, and who? Why the hate with JD? I, I don't I don't get it either, man. Someone needs to explain it to me. Why I think JD's kind of cool. Max. Max doesn't wear a number. Hey, why not? Is it because he's in clan thieves gloves? The fraud. Got it. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at the leaderboards, by the way. How are leaderboards looking? Setsuko at number one, 1500 LP. Damn. I feel like 1500 is kind of low, though. Like, I feel like other servers have p players who are higher. What's the global? I, I oh, wait, never mind. Oh, punch. not really. Yeah, not yeah, really. It's just a second punch. It's the second punch. Okay. Zuni Zuni. Love that guy. <laughs> Cody from Brazil popping off as well. Can biz. Okay. Dish oh, soap. Why be why just just chilling? He hasn't played in forever and he's just still super high. Five days ago. <laughs> Five days ago, just clearing the <laughs> NA server. Aqua 928 LP. What Let's is see. Aqua playing? Senna probably. Senna? Last time I checked. Oh yeah, man. Oh no, he's playing yeah, Yone. He's, he's just he's just rerolling anything. Yone. Yeah, Reroll flex. Reroll yeah. flex. I mean, Aqua is the, the reroll god. The reroll god. Yeah. He's, he's really famous in a bunch of uh, study groups. <laughs> Rhea, XB Mots, Sad Kings fan, T Lides, Spencer. Flex reroll sounds like my style. It's funny, the, the reason why people kind of like, okay, the, th the thing is, flex reroll is not necessarily the correct way to describe it. You're not really playing flexibly. You're just, you're just, you're playing, you're playing different kinds of reroll. So it's like, flex reroll is uh, a misnomer, if you will. The lobby started, by the way. Lobby started. Rain Plosion? Yeah. Okay. I think we're a little bit behind. Reroll flex is what Appy's plays. That's reroll flex. Yeah, cool. Actual flex. That's actual reroll flex. What most people think reroll flex is, oh, is oh, I have three Cogmas. I'll play Cogma this game, and then they, <laughs> and they have zero tiers, and then they're like, oh, I have one Yone off of Orb Yone game. That's what they think is flex. <laughs> That's not flex. Uh. You're playing why? There's a lot of things you can describe that. It's, it's not. It's, I don't want people to confuse it. It's like a bad thing. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just saying like that's just not what flex is. Flex is like the willingness to kind of be very fluid in your game plan and adapt to how the game is going. And usually the way people play reroll is the opposite. No matter what, they're like, I have a single Vola bear. I'm going to play duelist. That's not flexing. That's not flexing. Uh, oh, Junkie, so let's do Lachos reviews uh, uh, if we have a long break, but that's about it. So the prediction is, will a lab, lab member win this lobby? Yeah. Are we including upset? We are not including upset, Mark. Yeah, they have to have lab in their name. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Game number four. Game number four. We got Rain, Appies. Uh, do we have anyone else's POV? Not really, but we're going to watch what Wage Nerves is doing. Wage and Defense. <clears throat> Didn't even call us cop. He is locked in. <laughs> He is locked in. Will a lab member win this lobby? Ooh, those are pretty good odds. It's a, you are favored if you say yes, just by the pure, uh, 
the pure number of people that exist that, that are playing this lobby that are ma lab members there's five lab members five lab members in this so your odds are five out of eight are the labs an esports team uh no they're not they're like a guild of friends guild of friends on discord that all like uh you know begrudgingly hang out with each other <laughs> yeah can, can you say the, the lab members in this uh, lobby yeah, they have Super Flames, apparently. He doesn't have a lab number in front of it. They have Aaron Kuma. They have Humbug and Rain. You may know... Uh, and, and Upset Max. You may remember, like, Rain players just made it to World Championships. Uh, Humbug was in the final lobby at Vegas. If you remember, Humbug was playing with Ashmu and other players, like, keeping the lobby alive. Upset Max is like a former personal health trainer, I think. And then like has worked on like Cloud9 before. And now he's like taking a like TFT competing in TFT is like his second passion, I think, behind his work as a personal trainer or or therapist. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. I don't know much about Aaron Kuma. Uh the the first time I saw Aaron Kuma participate or the first time I saw Aaron Kuma was when Aaron Kuma was griefing on ladder. <laughs> uh, has sort of a reputation of griefing streamers. Uh, but that, that, I don't I don't know um, if that's still the case anymore. And then uh, Super Flames, I don't know much about him either. I, I, I have seen him compete before. I have seen him compete before. Yeah. He, I, I know that when he streams, he streams with uh, overlay with a bunch of fire on. <laughs> his, his, his username is Super Flames, so like every every edge of every corner of his overlay is like flames. But yeah. Look at this opener from up here. So good, no? Too much candy into a ghostly opener. I like it. Ghostly sniper. Yeah. Someone has fortune already. Was that oh, Weijin? I think that was Weijin. <laughs> Weijin with oh, a fortune opener. We might not have a, a lab winner. Sorry to announce. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> what does too much candy do? It gives you six free rerolls immediately. And then the next six rerolls cost one gold. And then every six rerolls cost one more after that. So you get six free rerolls. You get six rerolls at one. You get six rerolls at two. Six rerolls at three. So on and so forth. Sorry, what was this encounter? Oh, this, is yeah. this is a team or reroll your one. I see. Duelist yeah. Senna, Shenna, Shenna. Three people are committing to Senna. Yeah. <laughs> or Aaron Kuma's just doing the, the Aaron Kuma thing. <laughs> just griefing. <laughs> It sounds bad for a reroll comp. It will get kind of expensive if you don't hit. It, it's really good for like specific type of rerolls. It's really good for like one cost reroll because at the very beginning of the game, you could hit so many copies of what you want because you're rolling at like low levels. Mm -hmm. Um, But another way you can think about it is if you just roll 18 times, you're getting uh, six free rerolls and six discounted rerolls. And then, you know, you're rolling 18 times, which is a lot uh, per stage. Over yeah. stage two, stage three, stage four. So, if you didn't hit, you can just blame more dog, and it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, some people used to use this to fast nine. It was a cool thing. That was that was the feature of my video, YouTube video, where um, back when Story Weaver was really good, people would like reroll early to get Story Weaver two star, and then like push levels. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check in on uh, Rain Plosion. She went 1 1 1. Let's see what she's doing here this game. Arm assist. Arm assist. Arm assist first pick into a know. melee reroll. You know, volleyball for me. Did she, somebody call Duelist? Was that her or somebody else? Mm. I don't remember. No, the last play, the bottom player is Gargantuan. Might have been them. Might have been yeah, them, yeah. Fortune, fortune, fortune oh, Gargantuan. Fortune. We're also yeah. like holding some units that make it seem like we're not. Like we're holding servers. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Did Emily Wang make it? No, she did not. She got eliminated yesterday. 
she made it pretty far but i think she got eliminated like the second to last round of yesterday like round five is everything must go as busted as it sounds yes yes it is from a good spot yeah like very <laughs> Yeah, I also have seen people go eighth. Like today, in my ladder games before we started the tournament coverage today, uh, someone went eighth with it because their spot, I guess, wasn't that good. If you, if you don't have money when you when you take it, like it's kind of rough. Yeah, or you're not in a spot to get money, right? You can take it in a high econ yeah. portal, gold subscription, or something like that. Also, isn't it like better on three two than on two one? Okay. A lot of people think it's better on 3-2 than it is a 2-1. I think I think the data it says it's close, as in like it doesn't really matter. Let me see. Yeah, I mean that surprises me. Everything. Oh, it's slightly better at 2-1. That, that, that surprises me, yeah. We took uh glove chemo. chemo. I don't know if it was like back here in fortune or we just really wanted the glove. Uh, it could be double. It could be two reasons. Like Timo with glove is trick shot plus it's an IE. Hmm. So looks like she's trying to five loss. Yeah, she's trying to play fortune. Oh wow. How do you like like uh like Kaisa from this spot? Like how do you like, from from I the like, no fortune? I personally think yeah. if you miss, you go eighth. But um, yeah. Yeah. Eric, you either need to win Slick or need Fortune. Yeah. That is kind of Rain's playstyle, though. Rain is like, she's like willing to take really big risks to play for really big win out. Mm. Oh, the Fortune player won. Or wait, 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 and grieved him. Wait, and grieved him? I think Wajin was also Fortune, though. I'm not sure. It's just yeah. kind of, he's pretty healthy. It was hard because I think we scouted it and it was a match with Wajin. I don't know if it was him. Yeah. Super, fa Super Flames took uh, Venerable Piggy Bank, by the way. Yeah. Oh, we're we're getting our cheap rerolls now. He's rerolling at one. Wow. Trying son to, of trying two. to get his five streak. Is wow. he going to dupe yeah, his? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if he needs to, he can scout and see. He probably doesn't, though. He's so strong. Probably not. I think his duplicate is worth a lot on a too much candy setup. Yeah, because okay. you could just incidentally hit like a random three star. Yeah, he, he, it's really just him versus. He yeah. should beat this guy. Yeah, I, I know what you're he saying. Is, he's a little scary. <laughs> you're saying like you might need it versus someone. This is the. I mean, this is the only person. Yeah, that the other yeah. two are the other two are fortune. I think he wins. I'd be surprised like if he loses. He, he's fine. He's got yeah. toxin. Why wouldn't you slam redemption here? Yeah, why wouldn't you? Oh, slam okay. He's not fine. Maybe he's not. Oh, he's fine. No, he's fine. He's fine. But I, I, I'm <laughs> surprised why you wouldn't slam redemption. I feel like this is like such, redemption stone play is such a good combo in general. Yeah. It's like BT yeah. Titans almost. Yeah, the tier is pretty bad, but the belt can be like even shroud. Yeah, fair enough. No shred. Yeah. But it's, like, it's both forms of shred. I see. I see. Tier is shiv at best. But I like the redemption. Probably five streaks. We'll see if he yeah. uses more of his one cost rolls or not. Did you learn anything from looking at JD's VODs? Yeah, I learned a pretty decent amount about mid game. I think JD really understands strong mid game boards that lets him go to nine. I think that's almost the entire finesse of fast nine in general. So that was really good. Yeah. Oh, Gondo. Morgana Ash. Wow. Wow. Red 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 wait. That's, yeah, we just, wait, wait. Is Do we want red buff actually? Yes, Toxin. No, I think you agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have Last Whisper then. Last Here. Whisper GS or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, Lily Morgana. Okay, we didn't use our one cost rolls, but he feels like it's he'd rather keep his uh, gold. Yeah, makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. Oh wow, aggressive. Oh, this is very yeah, very aggressive. Uh, is it uh, aren't half his yeah. matches fortune? He, he did not scout before doing that. Yeah, yeah, he did not need to do this. I think at least in two of his matchups. Two of them are free, and I don't know I that they're a mess. Like maybe he wants to deal more damage to the fortune player. Like it's it's not like no value. Yeah. Who oh, is Annie. JD if not J Dong? John Doe. 
So Ray needs uh, one uh, one uh, Zoe, and she has five fortune. Doesn't have dress. Doesn't, doesn't have dress. Oh, yeah. It, it's about, about three costs. Yeah, yeah, the three costs. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Dude, how, how often would you roll for them on three five? I would roll if I had one of them. Oh, like, I, I, like if I had interesting. Four out of five, I would roll for the other. Mm -hmm. So you could justify taking this ink shadow crest. Oh, too healthy. Two okay. Two healthy. Extra rolls. Okay. Wait. Oh. oh, I thought too healthy was really good. Wait, fuck it. Ethereal. Wait, it's, it's, it's real. What? He's two off Shen three. Yeah. He has. He, 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 he hits Shen oh. three. With two, bows. with two bows. With two bows. Oh yeah, he's, my he's so god. Okay, I would not have rolled too healthy, but like Yeah, this is this is very good. Okay, Jesus. you guys now Jesus. this is reroll flex. He uses free rolls. Yeah, yeah, this is reroll flex. This yeah. is reroll flex. Just so you guys know. Now we need to collect the behemoths. Did he pass any behemoths? No, I don't know. Uh, okay. We didn't see, but I don't think so. Oh. Double Gargantuan Kabuko. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Okay, the, the only thing that I don't like about it is that it is pretty optimistic to expect to get two rods, but it is a encounter carousel. So it could be like a double component one. I think um, the second one is a little flexible. Like it doesn't have to be double rage blade. Okay. It could be it could be red buff for GS and like it's fine. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I have only played exactly one game of this and it's on PB. I have not played it any other. When I saw it, when I saw it on this patch, oh. it looks insane. Oh wow, wow. Oh, he hits an orn. Oh. One more roll. Okay, well not I not not for that, but it's all good. He's rolling again. <laughs> I on. I, uh, I want a, yeah, I want Behemoth on the board. Like, yeah, I mean, it's not very low. Uh, and maybe, I don't yeah, know, maybe, maybe over allowing. Straight to Twitter. What this Shen reroll? It's pretty. It's a pretty known comp. Yeah, uh, every time I saw this patch, it looked so strong. Ah, uh, that's interesting. After In my I games, I've only seen it go like bot four, but uh, I, I don't, I don't discount that. I think it is strong. I do think that if you get the setup for it, it can be really good. Mm -hmm. Or costs. Or costs. No Orn. Actually, this is a good carousel in the sense that because sometimes people won't pick units for the... They'll pick for the units and they won't pick for the item. So you might get the item you want. Although it looks it's like okay. Rage Blade no. is going to be gone. Yeah. Hopefully sword? get Sword. Yeah. And you can take it up. Oh, yeah. Okay. The bow is gone. Okay. Uh, DS is fine. Thresh. Yes. Still striking. Two cost rerolls now. Is Rashad's champion? Yeah. I think so. Please uh, too. It's it's not. It's is isn't it better now because of the mana lock thing or no? But his mana is so high now. Oh, is it? I actually don't know off the top of my head. Is it like 90 or something like that? Um, Shen's mana is 75. Oh, that's not that high. It might, it might actually be okay-ish, but the thing is, I don't think he cares about like the stats on Nashers that much. I mean, the AP is worthless. Yeah. yeah. So it might be one of those things where like, it's probably like okay, but it, it'd be like positive Delta by like, like one tenth or something like that. I could see that being the case. <laughs> We're gonna have three fortune players this lobby. I think the duelist guy already cashed out. Interesting. We sent to Wajin's still playing it, Rain's still playing it. We have an encounter. What is Delta? It's the rate of change of having it versus not. It's kind of like plus minus in sports. The combat blessing? Health is really good. Yeah, health, health is very good. 
Uh, so if you're like valuating like the amount of points being scored when LeBron James is on the court versus off the court, that's like a delta. It's like the same thing. Like what what would be the difference between having this item versus not? Oh, Wajin has two porcelain spots, by the way. Wajin is two porcelain spot, five fortune. Rain already pivoted yeah. out of fortune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wajin's spot is nuts. Wow. Let's look at, let's look at Rain's spot. Rain is right, playing Kaisa now. Like, in, like if, if Wajin gets uh, one Lissandra, he probably wins this game. Yeah, por six porcelain is disgusting. Yeah. Here's the first fortune cash out. Is Lee Sin 2, but Volley 1. He has two. Oh, right. Heroic Ravag. Oh, it's Heroic Ravag. He does have two dupes. Yeah. Uh, they, they, they roll to, to 20. Like, the spot is not that good. No, Only no volley one volley. I mean, this is a volley for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, man. We just can't kill Volomir <laughs> 1, man. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Plus Delta is good, negative Delta is bad. No, it's the, uh, Galio it's, it's two. the opposite Galio of that. Two. Yeah, Galio 2 is really big. Happy's 1. Yeah, we did 100 one 100 streaks, such a good spot for Happy's. Hey, the, the one thing that can compete with Porcelain is, uh, is Shen. He does 2 damage versus the damage reduction. Agreed. All right, rod, 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 rod. We want a rod. <clears throat> we need a rod, baby. Three rods. Three <laughs> rods. That's one, one of them. That's two, two of them. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's insane. All right, one Shen. Just bless him. One or two Shen. Shen. He's skipping past Behemoth. Oh, yeah. Skipping okay. Okay. Behemoth. Now, now he's buying it, but he was skipping Behemoth. Oh. Oh, Shen, 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 Shen. Okay, hopefully you're not gonna... Yeah, yeah, just Nico. Nice. Double Rage Blade. I am down. Toxic. Nice, nice. Why not? Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, he's, oh, he's right in front of the Yone. Right? Watch this, watch this. Oh, he doesn't have Behemoth, and that's true. He can't get the uh, Raid Boss. Oh, uh, no, no, you can roll, you can roll, you can roll. You can put it into your, your board okay. and roll. Oh, he, he does have multiple rolls, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, you're right, like, you're right. He doesn't have... What is gold gold? Gold gold is 50 50, I think. It's oh, it's 88%. 88. Percent. Yeah. I don't know if oh, Happy's knows about those. augment manipulation, or rather, I don't know if he does. Rain DC? Wait. Prismatic. Pris oh, Prismatic. <gasps> Radiant Rage Blade! <laughs> Radiant Rage Blade! <laughs> Three Rage Blades! <laughs> oh, man. And maybe Gunblade? Oh, GS? Yeah. Hodge? GS or Hodge? I like GS. Or you could just probably... You don't really... Yeah. You, you don't really need healing, right? It's a, it's a trace of behemoth in the, in the back. Line. Yeah, I, I like GS more. Yeah. I like GS as well. I'm surprised he took the belt, but yeah. We'll Anti see. heal? He just talks him though, I don't know. Yeah, but he's probably not playing in Shadow for long. True. Anti heal later. Yeah. That's a king too. Hardbreaker. Hardbreaker. Oh, interesting. Look at this. He's Damn, that <laughs> man. He's just freaking. Yeah. The cane is of the sham. Oh man, nah. so wow. sick. <laughs> like this is just two behemoth shen. Imagine if we were able to get the six as soon as possible. Like this Malphite yeah, in the yeah, shop. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah, we probably should hold like the behemoths. Yeah. He's I guess in his mind he's probably not gonna play more than four behemoth. Okay, level for oh no we're yeah. I, I mean on nine you probably should play just only honey four, right? Did Wajin suddenly cash out? I mean, yeah, we, we don't have his POV, so we didn't actually see. Oh, <laughs> Rain yeah, is just see. looking at it. Uh. <laughs> and it's also like so good at killing the volleyballs and all the titans here, though. 
of the totems. Okay, this surely should be a way to kill Volibear, right? He doesn't have those resistances to... Yeah, yeah, it should work off the Volibear. Or like, even second cast probably. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Man, that's too hype. Let's go, Shen. Let's go, Shen. <laughs> Shen is so yeah! cool. <laughs> oh, that's sick. And that's only two behemoths. Like, imagine, like, four Yeah, six. yeah. Because he scales off of having more resistances, aka just add more behemoths in the game. Okay, do you know what the actual tech is, though? The, the actual tech is to go for a Titan, man. <laughs> we, if you go for Titans... I mean, it'd be actually be good with double with the Radiant Rage Blade. Yeah, that's, yeah. What I, that's what I'm saying. If you're able to get Titans, you scale the damage and the resistances. It's actually sick. Yeah. The AP is an AD. Is, is he going to make BT? BT Shen? And it's fine. You could probably do that, you know. Not as good. Yeah. Like, I just don't see a case when you need healing on this one. Yeah. Thing. You can keep Ghostly in? Yeah, I, get, I mean, you could. That's one thing you can do. You can keep Ghostly in. Also, that Umbral is not relevant either. But uh, I like the third item for uh, Alawi. Set. <laughs> Thinking hard. <laughs> what if you play four Dragon Lord Shem? Oh man. Oh man. And now the Shen, the Shen just like blew up the front line. Yeah. Yeah. The faded counter as well. Damn, that's right. Yeah, no cool. resistances. Also, look at oh, that, Shen like, nice flag of damage. Red, blue, green, uh, blood, blue, red, blue, white, just, like, all evenly distributed. <laughs> Amazing. Can we check on rain? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Wajin, by the way, is about to go away. This is HP. That's so scary. Wajin is going... And if Wajin goes A, I don't think he can... I don't think he has it. This is a really strong guy, though. Double IE little buddies harm assist. Yeah. I had a spot oh, yeah, today yeah. where I could have gone double IE Kaisa and I wasn't sure if it was good. I ended up greeting off of it. But really it good. sounded it sounded like it could be really good. Yeah. Look at this dummy. <laughs> wow, like, we, no, dummy. <laughs> we missed, but we got the we got the shen, I guess. <laughs> Never can't miss. That is one nice thing about the item. This Kaisa is so strong. Oh god. Yeah, but we're taking a little. We're, we're taking a Actually, long time. Actually, I'm not doing through. as much damage as I expected. Uh, this faded. It's yeah. seven faded. Like. Seven faded. Yeah. Oh yes, god, that Kaisa. Really strong. Region one. Happy's about to miss the one hundred again. <laughs> Rain really unhappy about her uh, target dummy, I guess. I just want to see what Appy's makes, items wise. Another golden orb. Anvils. Another one. Another golden orb. What? <clears throat> Gunplay. Oh my God! They so got double anvil drop. Wow. <laughs> And blade resistances Shojin. Interesting. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> How many item anvils was that? Three? That was five. <laughs> what the heck? He got d two double anvil drops and then the, the normal one. <laughs> okay, let's see if he wins versus this. This is interesting. Okay, or an item. Look at BT. Yeah, BT is a Udyr. little bit weird. I don't know if he meant to do that. It's for Udyr, I guess. I suppose. Oh, I see, I see. Wait, is he winning this fight? There's no, no way, right? No, 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 there's no way he wins this fight. He, he, need, he needs the behemoth now. Yeah. He needs a behemoth for sure. 
waiting for Weijin. Weijin's dead. Weijin, Weijin is very dead. Wow. Oh, Saj. Eight year olds. Ten. Game on nine. Ten gold. Oh my god. That's what he would. Okay, the thing is, is, he needs actually an altruist, though. Otherwise, he's not going to get the results. This is annoying about these encounters when you have these free rolls is you have to keep track of how many you use if you're trying to yeah. save your, your actual rolls. Oh, right, right. <laughs> I mean, you can. You can also just kind of like... I mean, at a certain track. point, it doesn't matter, but like yeah. if, if you want to save his other rolls for oh. like Ghost later. Oh, he's really committed to the ghostly variant. Interesting. I think the, the behemoth is like much better. Yeah, like he could even even just playing Soraka, I think was really good. It makes his front line stronger and it gives more damage to Shen. The, the th yeah, the thing is like without the behemoth, the Shen doesn't do yeah. that Yeah. Uh oh. Okay, well it's only two fights. We'll see. Last time we doubted Appy's, he won the game. So. Stats say yeah. Six behemoths. I mean six six behemoth. It sounds the best because okay, like, we're dropping. Yeah. We're dropping. But we're not playing Behemoths. Yeah. Yeah. Like at okay. least four. Like how about four? At least four. Yeah, but we we've also like passed a lot of Behemoth. Oh, Malphite, Malphite. Malphite again. Oh. Yeah, he's probably looking for the Udir. Yeah. Looks like he'll, he's gonna plan on playing four. Yeah. Mm. Why would Ghostly not do anything for Shen? It definitely does something for Shen, right? Yeah, he, he oh, it definitely does something for Shen. It heals him, he at the very uh, least. I mean, it did and, more, and he, more damage. Yeah, he's fun to back, so he does more damage, yeah. Dude, we are getting Edo'd. This is not even close. Rain is destroying us. Yeah, I mean, Red Bull is so strong. Yeah, and the, and the problem is that we're playing, like... We're playing like a well, like a well-rounded team of traits, but our units, a lot of our units don't do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the unit quality is really bad. Yeah. Well, a lot of units actually just like Vakan 2 is nice, I guess, but we don't even have Altruist activated and we skipped like the Soraka Malphite. So it's like awkward. Yeah. The trick shot, the uh, Last Whisper is interesting because the, um, the Last Whisper bounces are making Shen do less damage. Oh, interesting. So, Sandra. Okay, uh, I mean now like, he's just playing legendary Random board. two stars with no items. Yeah. yeah. Well, Orin can give him items, I guess. That'd be nice. Uh, okay, move adaptive. Oh. Wait. Behemoth. Okay. Just drop away. That helps. That helps. I feel like Appy's just loves Alawi. I think he just plays Alawi yeah, every yeah, single yeah. game he possibly can. I have never seen him have a board without Alawi, I think. <laughs> also, like, I feel like this Arkan is, is kind of wasted. Uh, I don't really like sucking Arkan. I think Rakan's good. Okay. Yeah, I think then, you need uh, to activate yeah. at least something like Dragon Lord or Altruist. Are both like, good. Is it damage carrying on? Like, like a stacking him? I mean, I think um, it's fine. Yeah, I, I think it's quite I mean, good. Yeah. This board looks a lot better now. <laughs> yeah. Actually does damage. Oh, three rolls? Three rerolls. Uh, Wait, would you just go 10 by me? I think I would take an XV. Uh-huh. Interesting chat he has. Oh, what's going I don't on think these chat? like rolls are very high value. Oh wow, he's gonna replace it for Con too. Oh wow, he's gonna oh he's gonna put it all on uh, Lissandra. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Who dear? Okay. Who dear? Keep up the good work. Dash. Okay. Boom. Walter, thank you, buddy. I'll keep it up for three months. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
I guess the rolls help a little bit because he's like has too much candy was getting gonna get expensive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So True. he wanted to be able to roll more. He's rolling for his he year up. three, man. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can't kill the volleyball, right? We don't, we don't, uh... This is as long as his front line can hold, this is theoretically a matchup he should be able to win a lot. Oh, our front line did not hold. He doesn't have uh anti heal, right? Yeah. He dropped the uh, in shadow. Oh right, right, the toxin. Edge of Night on Udyr Troll. I've seen people play it a good amount of times. I don't think it's that bad. And all to improve this, this world a lot. Yeah, yeah. So from here, I, I like we're, just, we're I think the big problem is that we're at a major item deficit. Like if we could get three items on Azir and Hui Man, and more Udyr and everything like that, like it's good. But yeah. like we're just in a weird spot where it's kind of eh. maybe a zero yeah. three though. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Real. Oh. Very two, real. Two, two more Azirs and two more turns. Two more Azirs and two more turns. Horn. Oh. Horn two would be good. Okay, that's okay. good. That's good. Udyr pair. Udyr print if we have to. Yeah. Uh, Three cost rolls now. Hodge. Rage blade. Oh, yeah, rage blade. Rage blade is really good for Udyr for sure. He wants. Oh, he's putting on his ear. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I. I do not believe in this Azir unit. Oh, I don't believe in his damage, but I believe yeah. in him as a spawn soldiers and stealth yeah. for the Shen. I, I don't even really believe that, but <laughs> <laughs> I think a, I think a, a tankier and stronger Udyr does way more than Azir, but oh, it doesn't like, look uh, like it would matter. He's just getting complete run over either way. Yeah. Huh? Hold on. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> he's trying. He's trying. He did his best. <laughs> Rain loss. I love the, the, the hero augments, like the Yorick one as well. Like, it's so good mid game, but then it's like full blow. Okay, okay. Two stars. Yeah. Also, like a yeah, like small small thing, but I think I would prefer him if he sold his Azir 2 on the board so we can put uh, items onto DR2. Yeah, he also should um, put his Orn near Udyr. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, or, yes, or yes. 100%. Yeah. Switch Udyr and, and Alawi. Trying to dodge Zephyr. Yeah. He's gonna do it. Nice. Yeah, Orn got Zephyr. Nice. Doesn't no reposition shroud. all game and then repositions for the one fight. <laughs> <clears throat> and this is a hard matchup. This guy is strong. And the Shen is like constantly sundered from the Aureli and the trick shot. Oh man. We are getting wiped. Looks like it's gonna it's be a third, I guess. Ah, uh, we have fallen off. We have very much yeah. fallen off. That too. Like this is uh, this is the case when playing vertical is like maybe better than playing all the good units. Yeah, I mean the theory is like we'll just play five cost two stars. Yeah. But um, you really need to like make this Shen really good because he he's an entire augment that's very selfish. Like he doesn't benefit anybody else. And like, if you really think about it, we dedicated all three of our augments to one unit. Yeah. And so yeah. like, you're putting all your hopes onto one unit and then you're saying he's not that important where like distribute the power and it ends up not being that good. Mm -hmm. He also repositioned his Orn away from his Udyr again. Udyr didn't cast. What, what, what happened to Udyr? He, he, it's just like a timing oh, thing. He went to Spirit Walker yeah. before he could get his cast off. Oh, it's, it's Edge Knight, actually. Never mind. That's, that's Edge Knight Grief. I forgot he had it on him. Wait, is it not, uh, another time when he didn't cast. Oh. And you can't kill the Tom Kench. Yeah. Unless. Wait. <laughs> Unless. Oh! Oh! Oh, I saw MT. the vision. I had the vision. Plus. I think, is anyone, uh, do you think Giant Slayer would have been better long term than Gunblade? I feel like Gunblade. Yeah, I, I don't think healing yeah. on Shen is important at all. I think you, you just yeah. need more damage. Yeah. And there's a Behemoth spot on the carousel. Yeah. Behemoth spot. <laughs> Rain's about to go 1 1 1 1. Okay. Okay. Rain with the 1 1 1 1. 
And oh wait, the lab, lab? The, lobby. the lab won the lobby, yeah. the prediction. Yep. Yeah. He missed Galio. It's a cool board. Not, not. Mostly, it's mostly standard, but like the Umbral and the uh, the Aurelia. Do you go for Tom Kench with this effort? Do you try to like nail down the the Bard? I what don't is... think Kench matters because you're, you're ricocheting. Uh, you, okay. you, like solving the getting the Bard is the most important thing. But having the dummy in the front is also pretty good. So like if you, if you want to try to go for the right, right. Even even the Nautilus isn't bad because Nautilus is gonna hit everything. Right. That's true. Where's Nautilus? I don't think you care that much about the the TK. Oh God. Oh wait, that time he actually went up okay because yeah, Kaisa yeah. was mid cast. Yeah. So Kaisa Kaisa's like finishing your animation, so like you didn't have any loss of time. Oh, Kaisa's dead. Oh, the bard is just killing everything. Is bard broken? Is this? <laughs> is this a? Is this exalted board? How is it? How is it so strong? It's crazy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like pure positioning depth though. She was clumped in the back, so she got Nautilus and Hoid. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Dude, we really are unlucky. Instead of going one 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 one, she went one 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 two, and that's like that's what happened to JD. <laughs> I don't get it, man. We watch we watch all these number one players, and then they just they just go second. <laughs> so rain scores are one 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 two. Oh yeah, it, oh, it was ten mythic. Okay, I missed it. Ten mythic. Oh. Was, was 10 it actually ten? Someone said he oh, had he two uh, mythic spats. No seven. Oh seven. <laughs> I mean, it's still a lot though. Seven mythic is still a lot. Yeah, and I went first again. This game actually cursed. All right, all right. Now uh, <laughs> a new a new for game number five. I am willing to sell my observer ship for the highest bidder. Okay, who wants it? Rain versus uh, JD. JD, you want me to go watch Rain or Rain? Do you want me to go watch JD? You guys tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll right, we'll do a score update real quick. <clears throat> 50 bucks to spectate rain. <laughs> 50 bucks and what? Like rupees? <laughs> and Mexican pesos? <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, it looks like everyone's out of games. So let's go ahead and refresh, see if we got the scores input. Not yet. We are going to cut more players again. So we cut the bottom 64. We're going to cut 48 to 33, and that's. That's tough. It looks like the average cutoff is going to be somewhere around like 15. 16. 15 bucks in Little Legend eggs. <laughs> in Little Legend eggs. Oh, yeah. By the way, um, I am going to be giving out the boot camp rewards next week. Uh, I have like. I have a ton of Little Legend eggs codes to give away. I got some Little Legend skins to give away. I got some more TFT merch to give away. Some fun stuff. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you guys know. I'll, that'll be probably happening midweek. Okay, let's take a little bit of ad break while we're getting these scores in real quick. This is only for the boot camp. If you guys signed up under Team Frodium for the boot camp, fifteen bucks in Colombian pesos. I don't even know the conversion rate of a lot of those currencies, unfortunately. All right, uh, cool game by by Appies for sure. Ethereal Blade Shen. Where do we have it? Experimental. So this is the variation that we had on our website, which is to play around six behemoth and then just go like, like anything else. Like in this case, we have sages. So you have like ghostly plus uh sage, but you could play a bunch of other stuff. He tied in with heavenly. I, I I was very surprised that he wanted to go for five costs, but I saw what he wanted to do. It just didn't feel like it was good enough. I don't mind a, a zero a nine though with like Orn after you like tie everything else. I think I could, I could work. I like that idea. Should have called him a bronze shitter and pinged when you killed. Chill play. Cheers, Chungus. Huh? I'm just reading JD's chat. Roxy TFT. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So after four rounds, JD, 34 points. Almost max placements again. Looks like he is very, very much on track to end top four and win the tournament. Rainplosion also in a good spot. Aaron Kuma with the first. Wong with a second place. And now these are our, our clear top four. 
going to be going to Tactician's Cup. And we have Kangeru, Boss of Skills, Turtle Duckling, and Pocky Gom. I don't know who Turtle Duckling is. Anybody know? Minhee, 9th. Philip in 10th. And I think that 8th from Weijin put him in a really difficult spot. He, his scores so far are 1-8, one, 1-8. Eight, one, eight. Yowza. You don't want to... <laughs> Oh, you got Total Duckling in chat. Yeah. Why is that guy so consistent? Which one? JD? I think he just has a good meta read over everybody else right now. 48. 44. Has he bought, has he bought forward? Has he bought forward? No. 3, 2, 3, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1. 1, 1, 1. 3, 3, 2. 1, 1, 2, 1. Nope. Pretty sure he hasn't. I don't even think he's gone fourth. I think his lowest placement has been third. Also day one, yeah. Day one, day two, he kind of got lucky lobbies. Like I said, man, JD viewers, so mean to him. Hockey, how you doing, man? Three. Uh, four, three, oh no, three, two, six, two. That's pretty good. Top eight. Okay, uh, I think we have the lobbies out for round number five. So round number five coming up. Downpour, JD, Zelensky, <laughs> Stacy Girls, Kane, Drew, Neonify, Stellar, Minhee, Cambuli, and Pun. Uh, Rain, every, every time you watch someone, they go second. Yeah, Rain, apparently every time we've watched JD, he's never won. So, uh, do you, do you realize? Look, look at these scores. This is the game we watched JD, he didn't win. These are the games we watched JD, he didn't win. So, uh, and then we watched you, and you didn't win. And you didn't win. <laughs> so, yeah. He just got caught. <clears throat> I'm willing to sell my services to the highest bidder. Rain, Basso Skills, Philip. Oh, this is a good lobby. We should spectate. Rain, Basso Skills, Philip, and Senbon. Yeah, I'm done. Pizza, Aaron Kuma, Empire, Lima, Turtle, Duckling, Riveting, Rioni, Yogurt, and Connor. And then Ramkev, Wong, Kurt Angle, Pocky, Appies. Oh, this is a pretty good Watch lobby, my too. Next 10 games, so yeah. I don't go. LPXDDDD. AJ or oh, or Clark, thank you so much, man. AJ, wow, I'm dyslexia. Thank you so much for the eight months, man. Chill, Pocky Gum. I don't think Pocky's streaming. We can watch Ramkev, Appies, and Pocky Gum in the lobby if you guys want to watch that. Any preferences in the in the call? One, two, three, or four? Uh, I don't mind. I think two is good. Two is good. Okay, we're gonna watch Rain Plosion, you guys. We're doing it. Sorry, Rain. Sorry, Rain Plosion. You're not winning the next game. <laughs> oh, seven. <laughs> All right. I'm high rolling too hard. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. I mean, that's okay. If there's a time Aww, that you should. Star. If there's a time where you should be happy about high rolling, it is definitely during tournament. Does it? Thank you for the eight months. This is a sacrifice Florian is willing to make. That is true. That is true. I will say that I think Rain does play some pretty cool lines. Remember, she was the one who also played the Yorick Hero Augment? Yeah. Oh, she inspired me. I then played another game right, right after the stream, and I got this one that I just took it and carried Jana with it. Literally, yeah. Literally. Yeah, exactly. Is there anyone else from Lobby 2 streaming? Basso skills. You said Senbon was streaming, right? Yeah. Senbon. TFT. I think it's just Senbon. Oh, it's just Senbon. Yeah, we can do Rain Wins Gamba. Rain Wins Gamba. Okay. Rain 
Reigns, my favorite TFT player. No TFT accent, chill gameplay, and informative. Does Rain not have the TFT accent? Rain definitely has some uh, TFT isms, I suppose. But who doesn't? I, I think we we all do. You know what's one thing that's kind of weird? Listening to other games adopt part of the TFT accent. Apparently, a bunch of fighting game players wa love watching Setsuko. And so a lot of people are starting <laughs> to adopt Setsukoisms in the FGC, where they like get bodied one round, they get hard red, and then they go like, is it even my fault? And they just like say stuff like that. And the, and the Hearthstone Battlegrounds community, they don't even say I went eighth. They said I went top eight, which sounds so much better than going saying I went eighth. So like, I don't know. It's just it's just it's just interesting to see how like TFT language is starting to permeate to other other communities. I find myself sometimes slipping while streaming Magic: The Gathering. Oh, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> Dude, loses in Tekken. I got more dogged. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says that in every game that isn't TFT. We're playing Monopoly Go, okay? Which is I don't know if you guys know what Monopoly Go is. It's like a it's like a it's like a slot machine featuring Monopoly. You basically just keep rolling the die and you just run around the board and you collect money and that's that's the game. <laughs> um and then something unlucky happens. She's like, "Oh, I got more dogged." So she we, we but but if she's playing TFT, she refuses to say she got more dogged than TFT. The Brazil TFT community also says top eight instead of eighth. It just sounds, it sounds, top eight usually sounds like a good thing. It sounds good. Yeah. It sounds it's good. Like top good. eight. Yeah. I've never heard anyone saying that. I, I heard that from Sajam. Sajam is telling me that. So I, and I, and I trust him. If, if Sajam is telling me that it's starting to happen in the FGC, I don't know. Yeah, what does Sajam know about FGC? <laughs> Fodan is very good at finishing top eight. Yeah. Hey, that is true. That is true. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty good at finishing top eight. All right, here we go. Game number five. We're on lobby two. This is Rain and Senbon. Philip. Basso skills are in the same practice group alongside Weijin and Malala. They're in the team. Showtime sucks. <laughs> Dude, you know we bullied Showtime off his name. He doesn't even have the username Showtime anymore. His username is VX520 or something like that. Mm. He's rebranded. He's rebranded. <clears throat> I just hope one day that like the team gets recognized and then at LAN like wh wherever the TFT Vegas Open goes next so like you know may maybe it's like somewhere around other part of the world there's just a group of people who love like Malala and his practice group and then every time the, p the team is popping off they just cheer Showtime sucks that'd be great <laughs> rebranded Re still sucks uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Everyone left still gets a chat. Yeah, I, I believe top we're in top 32. So we are officially in prize money territory. I believe that is true. Thank you for uh for clarifying. Yeah. <laughs> I want I want I want the 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 cheerfuls, you know what I'm talking about? Like when people like draw in big fat marker and they have they hold up signs to cheer for people. You just have like a giant sign that just says Showtime sucks. <laughs> Great. Looks like a Kogma open now. Let's need that too. Kogma. We have Co <laughs> we have uh I feel like Kogma decides it more than like Cho'Gath and other than like Malphite. Yeah. Oh, I can see Pandora's Magic. items though, if you want. But yeah. you know what the real badass move is? The real badass move is to do Dragonlord Crown and then hit enter the dragon. 
and then your dragon lord <laughs> emblem unit just does 20 percent bonus true damage just for no oh, reason you lost dragon lord kaisa yeah <laughs> well what's the portal uh portal was prismatic party okay oh three prismatics oh how good is Duelist Yone? Very good. It's actually, I believe, one of the like the best holders of Duelist Emblem. Oh, Duelist Crown. Versus pumping up three. Wow, good options. You you also like New Recruit or was it the options one of the I mean, I think New Recruit is take all, obviously not over these two, but I'm a little surprised by Duelist with these items. Yeah, also like a triple prismatic. Duelist don't really want prismatic augments. I think I would have taken Pumping Up. Yeah. That's a good point. There's not many good Prismatic Augments for Duelists outside of yeah. the Duelist Emblem itself. You have Tiny But Deadly. Uh, which is not even that good. Which is not even that good because you don't care that much about combat stats. Maybe if uh, if you get like... I can see like Trash to Treasure potentially being good. Yeah, yeah. I, think that, I think that one's good. So like what? Uh, but the, 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 I'm running out already, right? Like, Harmist. Maybe Duelist. Yeah, Harmist. Yeah. Duelist three, something like that. Yeah. But when you when you when you start thinking about like there's like forty of them, you're like, oh, I I, I want like three. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> and like uh, the entire lobby is gonna be like capping uh, higher, so yeah. like the list falls off even harder. <laughs> I wonder if you can like mix it a little bit. Like maybe you go duelist with heavenly crown. Play like heavenly duelist Yone. Interesting. I I don't know. Like there's probably something that there that that isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. Sunban does appear to be playing Cog. Coggers. Gunblade. They made Gunblade yeah. first though. Yeah, Gunblade first is very interesting. Usually you try to prioritize either like Spark or Blue Buff. I got Duelist Yone any guide. Just play Duelists and just play Duelist Emblem on Yone. Oh, Locket? Oh, Locket that, is it. good. That's it. Oh. Randoms is uh, not bad. Randoms, Randoms is, bad. is acceptable. Yeah, we love all of them. <laughs> he is. I mean, Randoms is actually not the worst, though, because, like, Tristana repositions and, like, yeah, it's yeah. all right. Feels like, I mean, it's not like you always hit it, but you can't hit Keepers this game. Okay, what about, what, what about Cleaver? It's okay. Uh, it gives you the yeah, shred it's... and then uh you oh nice Yone. It gives you the shred and you get a little bit of ADAP, which is not bad for the duelist. Yeah. I'm gonna read this for you a little bit better. Random ones duelist Yone. I like it. <laughs> So the, the thing is, like, you just re-roll Yone in this part. Like, you just uh, re-roll Yone with the duelists. Well, you, so you have two options. Like, one, you can just roll for Yone 3 in the duelist. You can also have Yone hold it. Philip is playing Yone for time. sure. Yeah, and then eventually yeah. just push levels. Because uh, then you just put it on, like, another, like, like set or something like that, or whoever, like, makes it, like, Rakan, Diana. Makes sense. I think he's just usually something you buy. Like mid game and then you sell, you don't go for three star. Because it's like impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's almost always gonna be a Yone player. Yes. Yeah. Bo volley. Oh. Yeah, Bo Bear. Gone. Fuck it, back Yone Heavenly. <laughs> <laughs> PT. Oh, uh, yeah. I can see it. Nah, it was <laughs> Umbral Emblem, man. Four, six Umbral, nine Umbral. Philip typed Yone. He has two Yones and a BT. Yeah, two Yones, BT, and uh, Aegis as well. Duelist Yone doesn't go Titan's BT. You do. You want Titan's BT Duelist, but it looks like she's gonna gonna play it uh, transitionally instead of like play for Yone because Yone is contested. Yone two for Philip. Oh God. Can you quickly explain the path to the tournaments. Okay, so right now what you're watching is the open. It's going to lead into the trial. The trial leads qual uh, goes into the cup. The cup goes into the the regional the, uh, finals. The regional finals goes into Gunplay. the world finals. Yeah, Gunplay is like based on Tristana, right? It's like it is, yeah. 
It's like, I mean, I mean people like really... say it's BIS, but the data does not support that from any angle you slice it. People say that it is, and I, I've heard that multiple times. But like, whenever I look at them, it, it looks like it's just an average. Item. It's just like one of three or one of like six good items that you can put on uh, Trista, Tristana. Yeah, it's never a priority. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that she signed Gunblade in this spot. Yeah, like out of the thought, items that are remaining, I can totally see it because you still want to keep the other things. I mean, the, it's like to get rid of the rod. The rod's only other, otherwise, like Merlo and um, Crown Guard. Right, yeah. right. right. Blessing. What, which one's the best to take in Duelist? Is it AD? Oh, he's oh. AD. I can see it. Palace with Random is pretty good. Yeah, like yeah. HP with Ambulances. I mean, AD is generally good. You're not dealing much AP damage at all. Even Volibear yeah. does it scales off AP, but he's he's like sixty percent physical damage when you when you look at it. And if you have Morello, we do have Morello in this before you have. Oh, uh, I usually just put on Soraka. On Soraka, okay, makes sense. Okay, we want to lose this fight. Check in on Senban. You can also put it on Darius if he's your earliest slot. Mm. We settled on they Radiant have, uh, Mogs. Robux. Really. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like I feel like this is not a Pandora's setup at all. We have Gunblade and Radiant Mogs. Yeah, which but are um, tier two items. Tier two and items. We also took. We also took Spot, so we might not have any Cog items for a while. Yeah, I mean it's pretty healthy though. I mean, yeah, yeah, that is really interesting. Like what? Okay, so Radiant War Mogs gives you regen. Yeah. But that's it. It gives you just it gives you like twice as much <laughs> HP and regen. Yeah. Oh. And I feel like so so many other tank items so with them. And like you can get the Kogma item. Oh, we have a Gnar. Wait. Double Titans Banshee Dried Spot. That is crazy. Oh. Yeah. There's also there's yeah there's a there's a wandering trainer as well that both of us triad. Yeah, I think somebody else had Nar too. Wow. And there was a trash to play trash to treasure player as well. I almost said that this is the worst raiding item in the game. Is that is that true? I will look. I mean it's definitely not the best. No, yeah, I would I, be surprised if it's either. even anywhere near the, the midfield, but oh smashers. The worst right now is, in fact, Warmogs. Oh, God. <laughs> 4. 4.78 general placement. Oh, no. That is not good. That is not good. Oh, seven. Okay. Oh, wait. He's hitting Cogmos. He's still rolling? What the? Oh, he rolled 10 more gold and oh. hit Cogma three? And we have a Mythic Sky and Nasher, so... What the? Oh, my what? God. That is crazy. I mean, the, the, the thing is now you push, right? Because you reach Mythic Spot. Yeah. I don't know what data chat is looking at, but it, it's literally the worst in every tier for me. <laughs> Diamond, Diamond Plus, Master Plus, GM Plus, it's the worst. Yeah, for me as well. GM Plus, it's 5.16. <laughs> high ELO, though. High ELO. Uh, what, what is high ELO? Is that, is that Challenger? I don't think I can turn to Challenger. Know. High ELO right now is GM plus or Masters plus. Sorry. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I am not looking at TFT stats. Oh, I mean, they're both fine. To, like, look yeah, at. they are. It's just like I, I've never used them before, so I, I don't even know what it looks like. Yeah. This is range yeah, POV. This, this, this is so bad. Like, I, don't, I don't know if there's a specific rate item that makes Duelist exceptionally good. This is so bad, like in my opinion, like. Triple Vosmatic and Duelists. Are we checking stats? You could probably convince me that like Radiant Titans is really good on, on Volibear because it's like getting two Titans on him. But I think I would rather take Radiant Relics and Radiant Refractor. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. No, treasure, treasure. no, no, no. Uh, I, there was I mean, both are good. That. Both are good, but. Yeah, yeah. They're good. They're both good. Trash Treasure is more fun. <laughs> And Accomplice can get weird with Tradnoids as well. Oh, you know what's awkward about Trash Treasure is that he, she had to sell your name. Because you don't want to reforge the, du the duel emblem. Oh. True. 
missed the support. Uh oh. El spot seems very bad to me. Support? No, I'm saying the health spot is, looks very oh, bad. Oh, her spot, me. her spot, yeah. Her health and board, like, just overall, not very good. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, duelist commit the, did not look very good. But this is not going to be a win out, no matter what. This is the Frodan curse, what, once again. It's, it's the Frodan curse. <laughs> the Frodan curse is a lot Maybe if we look away, she'll, like, turn around. Okay, we have to stop looking, we have to stop looking. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> oh, wow. He got, wow, that's so good. Oh, you got impenetrable bulwark. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> Suddenly, this warmog is okay. I, the, the thing is, like, you're not you're not gonna have a taste of forge line also. So, like, what are those items going on? And not buffing the Cho. No, he's gonna hit Cho. He's <laughs> hit Cho. Yep. Oh, Zeke's locket. Okay, those are good. You gotta roll that like every single turn or double lock it or double Aegis. We're not killing this show. Lon, we don't have to kill Cho, we can kill everything else. You don't have to kill oh, Cho, Cog's we can kill missing. everything Cog's else. Missing. And. Okay, Cog. Yone. Okay, hold on. And Yone. Yone again. And. Oh go, my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh man, Rain is so screwed. Adds a component to each carousel, okay. There's a full blue buff for the combo. Ain't no way. <laughs> and getting it here in general is probably enough here. Yeah. He's gonna get oh, blue buff. Good. He's getting a blue buff. <laughs> oh, almost. I would take the Yone here. Makes a Yone too. <laughs> oh, he's just, oh, just gonna oh, play Yone too. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, he's griefing Yone. Oh god. Oh, I got a spark. Oh wow, yeah, oh, that's right. I mean, I'm keeping. And you can reforge the radiant warm <laughs> 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 uh. You probably make it, no? Looks like he wants to roll for Blue at first. I think I would just make Spark. Yeah. Oh God. Everyone looks so much stronger there. Not, 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 uh, the Komod, but to, to Rain. Yeah. Okay. Mulch plus one. Banshees plus Gnar. Double Titans. Freaky Friday. Mulch. No BT. What is the, the Titans going on, Kibbutz? I guess so. No BT Gnar is so squishy. Yeah. This Chogat is insane. Okay, you're you're talking about tickle. What is this kindred even doing? It's healing the the, the Chogat. <laughs> Can <they're> trying? <laughs> it's just trying. It's, it's actually legitimately just healing the team. Oh god, it's like a Sona beam, the Sona heal. <laughs> Are we keeping that? Oh my god. Oh, oh we're keeping the Yone. Wow. I don't He's just griefing Yone, and he also just like rolled the spark. Man. <laughs> Wait, we're holding on to the tier? We're going for Shiv. Oh, shit, Shiv, Shiv, yeah. Shiv. I can see, I can see. <laughs> Yone is one of the worst cog mashups. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. When you hit your cog this hard, you probably can afford to. Just hold you on in the entire game. Right. Yeah. Like this Walmart is doing so bad in the start, but like it's looking pretty good. It's doing oh, yeah, all right here, now. man. It's doing all right here. It's good with the yeah. resistances now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's, if anything, it's an, a thing to know that like, yes, the item is doing bad in the stats, but situationally, it, it, you know, 40, whatever, 48% isn't zero. 8% yeah. isn't zero. These are the top four win rates. So the Yone. <clears throat> he's rolling again. No, oh, he's actually going for Chogat. 
Yeah, he's Nautilus. playing for Joe Nautilus. Nautilus, if you want. Interesting. Inherited the VN tech. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is Wage and Eliminate? I think he has to like win out, basically. None of these Ch items. Chogat is probably the, the best uh, frontliner you can get, like a Chogat tree. He's, he's probably better than a Nautilus too. Wage is tied for the cutoff right now, going into this game. He's rolling deep. Flowey. Deep. I don't know if we need to go this deep. This is very, very deep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, skills hit Shen 3. Oh, ghostly Shen? Or, uh, Nar? Nar? Wait, it's actually not contesting Nar. Yeah, <laughs> and he, it, look at his wandering trainer. N uh, Dryad Ink Shadow Sage. Interesting. Kind of weird. He went Warden Crest oh, to go for five. Warden Shen 3. This guy's oh, cooking. Wei Zhen is already out. Okay, I didn't realize this was this is game five. He got he was he was the first person out. Oh, uh, okay, okay. He okay. lost tiebreaker. Unfortunately. Touch. So that eighth ended up causing him. Yeah. This is top <clears> 32 right now. Mythic crown or accomplice. <laughs> Lucky gloves, and you can go for more gloves. Pretty hype. Oh. Yeah, the, uh, oh. it makes sense to me. Still, he's gonna roll for three star everything. Yeah. Wow. Even after losing. That's crazy. That is aggressive. Yeah. Like I'm not even like if we're one off Joe, I can see it, but we're still two off Joe. <laughs> yeah. You you care? Oh, you have the one fate one. And now he just has to push to ten and get ten mythic. Yeah, he's level five. All right, so we're halfway there. <laughs> Good luck with that. We're halfway there. Okay. R3 for Basso. Double locket called the chaos. Wow. Trash to trash. Dude, this. <laughs> yeah. He has so many randomly generated things. Trash to treasure, accomplice, and call the chaos. Just said more dog take the wheel. <clears throat> okay, um, let's check it on rain. Checking on uh Miss Closion. That's a Yone. Oh, that's no, she's watching another fight. Will break her Yone. Oops. Okay. Polly's. That's Polly oh. too. We're still on the Yone. Oh, she wants to put the items onto the Volibear Bear and then. Do oh, are we, go, are we gonna carry Kiana three? <laughs> oh, that that is. Uh, I don't gosh. <laughs> I I I think I've seen Kiana three carry, but you kind of need to like natural her like on curve. And then you give her items, and then like. Pretty soon. Oh. Basically, she carries all the way to like the oh. end of stage four, and then you need her to do. I, I I just realized she she's dead to my now. She took catch one, and this is her spot. Oh no. She she's very dead. Yeah yeah she she's eight oh. eight. Oh. She's eight eight. Three three turns three volleys. Hold on, hold on. We beat the level five. Nice. Promising. Oh. Promising. We're back. I have faith in the top eight. I think she can get seventh. I even think she can get like a sixth. I Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Titans. Double Titans Volibear. He was hoping for I really off carousel. Yeah. 
Okay, I, I, I think she can outplace that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. All right, I'm it's down to send it. Okay, I'm doing a prediction. I'm doing a prediction. Oh, wait. Well, Rain win her lobby. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to do a new prediction. Does Rain plays Rain Plosion go eighth place? Yes or no? <laughs> okay. we'll but uh, but but people already put points on the line. The Frodo curse is real. Yeah, or maybe it's maybe it's not me. Maybe it's one of you. <laughs> it's probably Raptor. <laughs> Saj. Raptor cursed Appy's all of yesterday. <clears throat> that is true, man. This Raptor guy was just yapping in, in Nappy's chat, distracting him the whole time. Caught. I think we win this fight as well. Are you guys sure that this fight is like terrible? She's going eighth. I mean, I, I can't tell. Basically, like these, these boards are not real. This person has a loon and Triss carry with one item. And Darius, and this is we're losing. Oh no! <laughs> we're losing. Oh so. god! Our Tristan is touched. That's not good. That's not good. I, I mean, I think she can outplace the the. the wait, I mean, these people are pretty low HP. She can, she can definitely outplace the other. Sixthable for sure. That person's going fast nine. Gotta preemptively pay out the data. But but the problem is her win chance is above zero percent. <laughs> it's lower than one, but it's above zero. <laughs> and so like you <laughs> you can't just do that. In case she has like the uh, un most unbelievable outcome ever of like five yeah. Ola Bears yeah. into five Tristano shops. I mean, they could be three early in the next shop. Yes, yeah, yeah. there technically could be, so you just have to like you just have to grit it out. If, the, if there's three radios in this next day, yeah, look at that. Not even that bad. There's five. She just be another person that's high HP. Okay, Rain. Now's the time to prove everyone the curse isn't real. I like that she. <laughs> I like that she greeted though. Like she kind of has to. She can greet hedge as much as possible, then roll it all down now. Yeah. 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 Okay. The problem is that she is contested duelist. I mean, there's like a bunch of random duelists floating around. Yeah. And we're lagging. I like boss of skills as a boy. That looks cool. Warden Shen, Nar carry. Yeah, there's a lot of them, yeah. He is cooking. Still no Still Cho'Gath no 3. Cho 3. Yeah, I don't know if Senba's staying at 5 for Cho'Gath was... Smart. Yeah, because especially since it got a mythic emblem, doesn't that mean you just want to push levels as soon as you can? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? 110 gold. Hey, Kiana 3. We take those. Keeping tabs. Random Yone 3. Lee Sin's nice. How about I really on 7? Okay, we stop here. What are we pinging? Nobody's spamming. Uh, I don't know. I think you can win this fight. This person doesn't look that strong either. Yeah. Like, we're not gonna lose by much. Oh, somebody's close to Kaisa 3, I guess. Oh. Wait, do we lose this fight? Well, yeah, Zonios. Yeah, he's on yours. Yeah. Nine HP. Life. Hey, it's not, not an eighth. eighth. Oh, we'll take, we'll eighth, take it. We'll take it. We <laughs> take those. <clears throat> and encounter. Duplicators. Little item. Oh, the component's kind of good, but yeah, can she, she afford it? 12. She kind of needs the component, I think. Okay. Volibear. Volibear. Okay. Tristana. Tristana. Okay. Tristana. Eight, Tristana. Seven, eight, eight, eight. One oh. of the other. One of the other. Just one more. Please. No. 
please, please. One of the two, please. No. Please. Probably Volibear three. It's probably Volibear three. Yeah. Any oh. tips for getting out of silver? Oh, we saw an anvil. Okay. TFTacademy.com. I know we saw an anvil. Never mind. Oh, Bossel got a BT now. Still two item Shen 3. Itemizing a lead 1 over Kiana 3. That is true. But I do think that Kiana's window has fallen off. Kiana does well up until around this point. I said that she gets you through stage 4 and then oh. you need a secondary carry. <clears throat> and Tron of 3. Tron of 3. Tron of 3. Mm. Okay. Cool. Someone hit Kaisa 3. Ooh, that is not good. That is scary. The fact hey, also movie. is because we need one extra life for that, and we're just going to die the next time we ro rotate into that. Oh, we sold our Yone. Mm -hmm. Duelist, Nico. <laughs> and she want to stuck the Kiana, I guess? Okay, never mind. She's the beast. I mean, I, I, she should have played two Triss and stacked the second Triss. Yeah, yeah, probably. Oh, the volleyball? I just murdered the way for fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's back. He's back. He's back. Dude, this Kiana? Ooh. Okay, so it looks like Sandman leveled, but sold the extra Cho's and is now printing Cho again for Hoi 3. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, okay. Wait a second. <laughs> Top fiveable, top fiveable. Okay, yeah, is this Kiana Aurelia does or stuff. Drist? Just on a three or Irelia. Oh. Neither. Can get Umbral back. GG. GG is nice as well. No, oh, she's lagging. Most money, reforge it, fuck it. Yeah. Oh, she plays the Rakan over the Nico. Oh, Dragon Lord, sure, yeah. We, yeah, have, yeah, I mean, we, we, have, yeah, yeah. Two, we have two slots. Duelist Rakan, yeah. I can see that. Duelist Rakan. Get the Diana in. <clears throat> I mean, we just drop uh, Darius for now. Yeah. And Tristana yeah. 3. Diana. We have Duelist spot. We will end roll. I think she's waiting to see if, if if he sells, and he's not gonna sell. He's just gonna play Sniper's Focus Tris too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh no! Oh no! All right, we're Please. gonna go send Bond's POV. Genius sold. <clears throat> All right, I feel like this is the part where I tell you that I have a folder on my friends list on League that uh i labeled lp terrorist and for a couple of months i'm a genius was in that folder <laughs> <laughs> i think this game just shows you exactly why this I, I will never forget certain people who are just legit lp terrorists he's one of them <laughs> uh, oh god rain died oh no oh, seven oh, he sad. hung in there Kaisa 3. Oh, she probably got Kaisa 3. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we're almost a 10 mythic. <laughs> we're, 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 we're almost there. Just a few off. Just a few off. Leave or, uh, <laughs> Aegis thing, nothing. No Aegis value. No Aegis Dodge. value. Missed. Dodge the Stroud. Uh, can we live and get Cho 3? Kendrick what is, is this Kindred <laughs> this Kindred going, man? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Kindred kind of did a lot of damage. Uh, this might be an ages difference. Oh, as long as forked? Oh, oh, no. Are we dead? I think we might be... One. We're dead. No, well, exact. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. It, it, that's exactly so. Oh um, man. Ah. Uh... Hey, Boston Skills got top four though. I like his board a lot. His board is cool. 
Yeah, this, this like, is sick. Warden, Warden Nar. Kaisa, Warden Nar with Shen, and then um, Yone. That's the, that's the cop comps. We don't have any more POVs here. Rain left. Let's check in on Mr. Shalinsky. Oh, another fail. Oh, we're about to watch him go second. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. He's top two right now. We'll see. Dude, the Kindred kind of smurfed that fight. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that ended up like pathing out in that specific way, but yeah, that Aegis, that lack of Aegis made that cocky cog so much more fun. I or two off Aurelia three. <clears throat> Selling the Sandra. Second Azalea, I guess. Shit. Wow. AP Irelia. <laughs> Cam oh, that is, so yeah, Cam's playing uh, Kaisa. This is the Fallen, Crash Test Dummies. Aegis. Oh, Cam had amazing tempo. Aegis plus Zeke or Zizarod. Yeah. Radiant Morello. Oh my god. My god. Oh, Where did the Dear back go? Lord. Wow. <laughs> Close. Yeah. Okay. We might we might see it's because we didn't start watching it. I really have three. <laughs> it's a birthday present, by the way. Hold on a second. What do we roll? We just rolled two snipers focus on uh on Udir. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Look at oh, this Udir. Holy yeah, this is a game changer. It's a game changer. <laughs> Dude, JD keeps making it to these level 9, level 10 boards so consistently. Every single game. Oh, yeah, 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 Double snipers. Oh. oh, hey, JD won a game. Not bad. First place again. <laughs> I should hide my cam. Okay, can you guys look at this cam? Uh, this this the score line on ladder. This guy just goes like five two two six six five and then one 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 two one one. <laughs> As an animal. <clears throat> pretty good. Pretty good. Ram calves offline. I think we cut some players. The spicy Appies. Appies got third. Hockey Gums in first. Hockey Gums playing oh, Kindred. I'm not sure if that's enough for, enough for Appies. It'll be close. Two healthy Baboom Kindred. Yeah. That's cool. JG Kindred. My favorite. <laughs> it's two healthy, right? It's two healthy Baboom. Too yeah. healthy, but boom. Oh, with Marty. Oh, with Marty. Oh, that song. Yeah. All right. I think those are all the lobbies. Oh, we got Star Rail gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll let you co stream that. Rain with that seventh hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. Yeah. But actually, the people that were with her also uh, did poorly. Apparently. Aaron Kuma went seventh. Wong went eighth. Kendra went sixth. Pakigam. Pakigam won, right? Dude, JD basically just has to avoid going eight eight, and he wins the tournament. Yeah. Boss of skills with a good top four. He's in. <clears throat> yeah, Waging got eliminated, so we're here at the top thirty two. Top three of eight are lab members. That is true, actually. That is true. Yep. Also, uh, Connor coming on strong towards the second half. We put it on good points. Also, I think we're losing uh, streams. Yogurt, yogurt is doing so well. What's up? Yogurt is doing so well. 
Yogurt? Yeah. I mean, Yogurt hit rank one back in set eight and then took set it's nine and set ten off. Yeah. He wanted to yeah. actually go pro in fighting games and then came back because of the, the LAN. Lab new dream team. Lab the new Golden State Warriors, Steph Curry, aka Kane Drew. <laughs> because he had three duplicators, like Steph Curry and his threes. Because <laughs> he doesn't miss plus three. What up, Covenel? All right. Uh, so now we go from top 32 to top 16. So basically, the cutoff should be right around here 26. 26, 27. What did Philip get? Boss skills should be through as well. Oh man, I think some of these players are gonna narrowly miss out. I think some of these players are gonna narrowly miss out. I think for people who are 19, it's like too late for them. Ramcap also already logged off because I think yeah, he went six. He can't get there. Yeah. Riveting should be out. All these people should be out. So I think Basel skills should be through. Nice. Who is the Draymond Green of TFT? Someone who like... Pretty good. Very loud. Kind of very aggressive. Beefs with players all the time. Kind of get carried. I don't know. People don't really get carried in TFT. Setsuko? Oh, I mean, Setsuko is, puts up a lot of good results, though. Setsuko isn't really... He, he's not... He's not... He, he has a lot of good results. He's like, he's like too good to be called Dreamlong. Hmm. <clears throat> Hits guys in the nuts. <laughs> yeah. Dirty player. Dirty player. Okay. Scores are in. Scores are in. So we say goodbye to 17 to 32. People made top 32. That is really good. They made $20. Congratulations, Downpour. $20 richer. By the way, Downpour, I think he got his first tournament TFT. Or first TFT tournament last set. This is probably like a second or a third. 20 bucks? That's not bad. I mean, it took like like 12 hours of competing, but that's like, or actually more than that, probably like 18 hours of competing. That's like a little bit over a dollar an hour. Orem, uh, Stacy Girls, Ramkev, Genius, Riveting, Yoni, Pizza Sponsi, Sirnix, Diana Fight, Imanukan Father, Empire Lima, Senbon. Oh, Senbon missing out by one point. Spicy Appy's missing it. Wait, not by one point. Never mind. There's a, there's a huge point gap. Oh, wait. This is not or, Rio. Wait, what is this? Is that... Are the other scores aren't in, are they? Okay, okay. It's, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. I think I think when they do that, they're running Sims. They're running Sims. One point off for Appy's. Kurt Engel, Senban, Lima, Monokan Father, Niana Fime. But hey, 17 is pretty good. Damn. Minhi, Turtle Duckling, Cambuli... Pun, Shoma, Red Bubbles, Connor is me, and Yogurt. All right on the outside. One point is what separates them. I'd rather have 18 hours back. Nah, some people, the thing is, they're not competing for money. They're trying to, they're trying to play for fun and to improve themselves. Oops, sorry, that's not my client. Um... Let me see the streams. Who do we have for the lobbies? So we only have two lobbies left. JD, Cam. And then we have Rain. And that's it. I think those are the only streams that we have. We lost all our streamers. We lost all our streamers. No one else is streaming. <clears throat> I'm down to watch JD. JD and Cam Bully. I'm pretty sure JD already won. I mean, he's very, 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 very likely to win. I think if he goes 1-1, one, one, or sorry, 8-8, eight, eight, he has 44 points. And if Rain goes 1-1, one, one, she takes, she overtakes him. Yeah, there's still two games. Okay. 
Can you do launch? Yeah, I, I can't do launch test like right now just because I, I wouldn't be able to do a good job of it because the game might start. I mean, I could do it right now. Maybe maybe I could do it like right now if you, if you give me like a couple minutes. I refunded them, but you can do it. Oh, uh, then we'll do it next time. We'll do it next time. No worries. Yeah. All right. He's going to choke it. GG's. Wow, you guys are rude. I've, I'm starting to think this Joe Bookmark guy is actually the biggest hater on the server. He acts all nice and polite. And then, like, uh, he's, he's just like an actual hater. He's not a very nice guy. Ask him where he was on January 6th. Uh oh. I'm scared to ask. Who's that streamer that's playing Crypt of the Necro Dancer right Man, now? Man, I'm getting more dogs than Jack. Rain. Yeah, yeah I believe it's rain. rain. Let me think for the eight months. Okay, so for uh, in terms of what's at stake here, you might guys be thinking like, okay, so J JD1, should we keep watching? Yes, because spots two, three, and four are really important. Because for the official competitive circuit, you saw the difference between TT and TC, right? TT stands for Tactician's Trials. It's the pivotal gateway to securing entry to the Tactician's Cups. What is a Tactician Cup? It is the pivotal gateway to securing a spot in the America's Golden Spatula. Now you're wondering, what is the Golden Spatula? It is the pivotal gateway to securing entry to the Tactician's Crown. So you just need to, you just need to, you, so they're playing for a spot that qualifies them through all those different hoops. And what is the tactician's crown? That, that's the world championship. It is the pivotal gateway that it is. It is the pivotal gateway to securing entry to a content creator career. That's what you really need. Because if you win worlds, you know what you do? You you stop competing seriously and you start trying to stream. <clears throat> so there's no point in Soju. Actually, though, Soju doesn't have to do anything else for his career in terms of winning or being competitive at all, and he would still have a lucrative career. That is why Soju's a content creator, yes. He won the world championship. He actually won the world championship for the hardest thing in TFT, which is to be the number one streamer. You guys are joking, but like he actually won like if you actually think about it, compete like streaming and, and doing content or whatever is competitive, even though people aren't trying to be competitive about it. And he is number one. So like I don't know, trying to be the number one streamer is a lot harder than even winning worlds in, in, in a lot of ways. <clears throat> So it's an RCQ. Yeah, basically. Can you unban me in Soju's chat? I thought Hydras were okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? What do you mean you think Hydras are okay? I'm pretty sure at this point, like sending a Hydra is because you just don't want to chat anymore. You're just like, okay, I'm bored. I don't want to even be part of this community anymore. I'm just going to send a Hydra. Like, it's like it's like it's like it's like be going on a plane and yelling bomb for fun just as a prank you're like oh oh guess what guys it'd be really I funny okay. if i like had a bomb on this plane like what, what, what do you expect is gonna happen anyways stay banned you know what should i just preemptively time you out so you don't send a hydra in my chat yeah there you go get tsa'd buddy That's future proofing crime. That's minority <laughs> porn. That's psychopath. Oh, seven. Oh, seven. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> what is the average rank of these players? Is RJ Blarmo still in? Because that'd probably be like Platt if, if we take the average. <laughs> uh, the average, the average rank of these players. Let's see. They're they're true elo. Probably around like. 1100 LP total 
if you just like factor in all their uh their their actual ranks when they're like at wait form. 11 hundred is, is kind of high philip cam jd pocky connor okay i don't know about shoma Oh, this lobby? Oh, this lobby, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Turtle Duckling, I don't know. He could be a Masters player. And then Wong is like GM, right? So it's like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like... Okay, maybe 1100 is too high. Maybe like 800, 800 or 900 Delphi. Yeah, it's, it's only 800 or 900. But a lot of these guys are like 13 to 1500. Yeah. Okay, you're getting the game. I even apologized in my unbanned request. <laughs> Why you banned him? What the heck? He said everything style. <laughs> oh no. He didn't actually do anything though. Okay, we can have a bond here. <laughs> We're waiting for the main broadcast, by the way. Alright, so this is game six of seven. And we have Cambu Lee and JDZ JDZ. This Demacian guy. Right. Oh, you also have Shoma if you want. Oh, we have Shoma? He's what's his what's the stream? Yeah, Shoma TFT. Shoma. TFT. Okay. Great. We also can watch Rain's game for like a minute or so while we wait for the next game. Mm -hmm. More dog banned me just after I told them to fix bug. Is that really all you said? Are you sure? Most people who say that, like, oh, I was just saying this, are usually not being completely honest about it. And also, that's not more dog's job either. His job is to be the lead designer and community manager of TFT, according to ChatGPT. <laughs> Someone logged this guy in Morch chat. I'm not a mod. I'm not a mod. Sadly. <clears throat> oh, we're still in here. Okay. I guess we'll. I guess we'll just watch. Just so one person keep an eye out for if the other lobby starts. Oh, a Nar game. Two Rex eyes and a Nar. Rex eye two. Mulched. Ink Shadow Crown. I'm down for that. Oh, you get an even shroud. Interesting. <clears throat> here's another way to think about it. Here's another, here's another way to think about it. Banning as a streamer, sometimes banning people is therapeutic. You just feel better after banning somebody. Not because of like it's personal, like the person you're banning, like you, you're trying to do something to them specifically, but just banning somebody sometimes makes you feel better. You know how when you guys complain in TFT, you just feel better for complaining and just having someone to vent to? That's kind of what it's like. And so if you're like, hey, I want this bug to be fixed by getting banned, you improve more dog's mood. And uh, maybe that helps accelerate the process for, for the bug to get fixed. So you're, you're kind of contributing towards that. So, good job. <clears throat> Painting seems to be therapeutic for dish soap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't that, know. That's, that's so. Oh, God, these autos. I mean, he's not very bad anymore. Like, he, he bans so much less than he used to. Yeah, he's worked on his mental a lot. <laughs> they still specifically said that, like, he's been trying to just read less stuff. Be more zen mm -hmm. about it. 
grow up a little bit, improve his mental. And look, he won regionals. Yeah, and soon to win worlds as well. Soon to win worlds. Yeah. And then soon to win the ultimate prize. Number one TFT website. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah. we're pretty far out. We don't we don't have SEO. The website's doing pretty well, but we don't have like, we don't have like the true casuals. When you search TFT tier list, we don't come up. Wait, actually, I've been using this site so much. Like even like I, I don't use stats mid game, but I've, I've been pulling the site mid game like to like look at comps and stuff. It's it's it's, it's, it's like very good. It's. I, I, yeah, it's 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 good for now, and there's a lot of things we want to improve on it too. Mm -hmm. Um, it's just the beginning. You're like, well, it's just a tier list site. It's no different than Robin's and Solaga songs. Like, yeah, right now you're you're not wrong. It's not functionally that much different from what Robin and other people are doing right now. You just wait. No, but even like uh, other tier lists, like they don't update as often, right? Like, yeah, yeah we update like, it multiple times a day, and visually it's like yeah. easy to parse. You need SEO. That is exactly it. That is the next part of it. We need SEO and uh, optimization of the site. That's like another step. <clears throat> okay, we started the other game yet or no? Guys, we started the other game. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right. All right. What's the what's the portal? I can ask. I'll ask. What is SEO? Uh, basically, like optimizing for Google and stuff like that. Search engine optimization. It's know your opponent. Oh, oh so future good. site. <laughs> Sleight of hand. Okay, this is Cambu Lee starting off slaying the hand. Let's look at JD. Uh, wait, what? Sleight of hand? Okay. Wait, are we going to see JD Leon? Uh, reroll a comp. What would he reroll with sleight of hand? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna reroll Kogmo. Uh, oh, TG on Kindred, interesting. On fire or stone plate? Stone fire, interesting. Ghostly Sage. So a ghostly recomp for. Legitimately, at this point, he just needs to play for not eighth, so. Anything that saves HP is probably correct. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, fair enough. Stone plate is arguably very effective at doing that too, but uh, it I, is, I but he has a damage problem for now. Yeah, that makes sense. Some fire helps with damage. Somebody has fortune. Fortune with the uh, ash feature side is really good. Yeah, yeah. No, you know so how much good. you need to sack. But like, it's also good for the other guys. It, it, if they're in a position to grief you, yeah. Yeah, they just sell that ball that you can do it. So like, if you survive stage two, then like you're in a good spot. Because then people aren't going to do it on stage three. Yep. Somebody has every, everything must go first dogma. Uh oh. Oh. Hockey. Hockey gum. Oh, hockey. Oh, oh, one KW. But you can. Can you reroll one cost for this argument? It sounds not as good. With everything must go? I mean, probably not. Or rather, can you reroll for it? Yes. I don't think it's very good because you need a yeah. huge economy start in order to really justify spending that much gold. Yeah. Makes sense. Bali. Is it hard cut off at seven? What do you mean? Like the tournament's ending at seven game. There's no checkmate. Yeah. Mm. Just top 16, by the way. Let me fix that. <clears throat> So let's say Jada wins this game, he probably wins the tournament for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. Even if I think if he goes like fifth, he wins the tournament for sure. Rain, most points Rain can get us forty nine, and J JD's at forty two already. 
my god. Yeah, so if he gets a fifth, he gets five points, four points. 46. Yeah. Oh no, so if he gets a third, if he gets a third, guaranteed. And that requires Rain to be perfect, right? She needs to go 1 1. Yeah, Rain is. I mean, just, the next person is Pocky is 32, so Pocky could also be in contention. Okay. So he has an open cloak. Think about like stone plate here. E claw. E claw is a lot weaker now that AP is so much less common. Mm. Maybe just stone plate. Slam good items. Yep. Level. <clears throat> I feel like Allowy Lux. I think that's like a really decent package to play around, like with Ghostly, if you can find a way to squeeze it in. Mm -hmm. mm. He's gonna play around this instead. Just drop to Behemoth. Can't drop Ghostly. This looks like so much forge line with the stone plate as well. This angle sucks for Kiana. Yeah. <laughs> and if she's going to gun break her value, you just. Okay, he's steamrolling, nice. though. Another uh, stage two win streak potentially put on here by JD. <clears throat> Just needs to hit. Any other two starts to really secure it does not. Oh, a Janna. Well, he knows who he's fighting at least. Yeah. Right, he's fighting Connor. Cam's also potentially streaking. Let's look at Cam's spots. Hmm. Oh, the that was streaking. I'm not, not looking at that side. Pretty, pretty weak lobby. Yeah. Both oh, oh, the, uh, oh, 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 no. oh, God. Yeah, hey. Oh, that is a joke. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's so terrible. No. What are you doing? Oh, God. I think that, man. It's okay. I feel that. I feel that. I did that at least once a stream. He might have lost it anyway. This guy's really strong. Okay. But yeah, that's true. Team 2, Silver 2, but like, yeah. Uh, five streak for JD. Five streak for JD. Yep. Pretty fortunate in matchmaking. But at the same time, it doesn't look like this lobby is strong. A lot of people are trying to lose streak. Mm. <clears throat> Go to Sage. That's what they would. How much econ pocket you have? 20 fortune crest scoreboard scrapper. Oh, the 30. Oh, <clears throat> Make 40. Nice. Pretty good. Lux pair is like really good to hold, but it just is too expensive. Okay, anyway, you can see here he's fighting, see if he needs to level. Oh, that is oh, really yeah. true. That One thing that's nice about this, you get to see who your next opponent is, so you can see if you want to actually level. And he's Wong is not leveling, so he doesn't need to level, I think. If you were level, you'd just be for a behemoth, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hold do you want to hold Kabuko as well for the potential of fortune? He's easy. Yeah, he's, he's, I, you, you want know, you want to be open to fortune here for sure. Um, JG Slam, do it. JG Slam. JG Malfight. JG Malfight. He's gonna get real hard. The thing is, Malphite scales off of armor, so JG is so terrible on him. He can crit, okay? It's it's good. <laughs> that is true. The cone can crit. Kabuko, no. I guess he doesn't need to take any risks in this spot, right? So yeah, that is true. 
Oh, oh Fine Vintage is very what risky. Is Band of Thieves same. with another yeah. Thieves Gloves? Wow. Yep. And I reforge Rod into a glove. Yeah, and then Lucky Gloves on photo. Amazing. Oh, good idea. Oh, wait. What the oh heck? My no! God. What? No! no all right, all right, all right. Get this guy off my screen. Get this guy off my screen, man. Get this guy off my screen. <laughs> okay. Uh, sorry, sorry for spoiling. Wonder if you want to take Tiny Titans in this spot because you're playing Clear Mind. Yeah, Clear Mind gives you the ability to stack a lot more. Okay, I like it. Did not get the pairs on the board. So if he's going to clear mine, he has to sell these again anyways. This is interesting. Stacking the Senna. I've done this a couple times where I give Senna like all the items like Morello. I, yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, so we're going to stack one turn of clear mine to all these. <clears throat> oh, are we? I thought we we're selling. I mean, I, I would. But yeah, it looks like he doesn't, he doesn't look like he's going to. Got it. Yeah. Oh, rewarded. Genius mode. <laughs> okay. Looking good. And then, uh, uh Cambu Lee. It's like two tiny titans. Yeah. A lot of HP. Like I was looking at the lobby and all of a sudden a lot of people have HP, so multiple tiny titans. Arm assist. If you slam Quicksilver, is it like a hundred percent Yone commit? I mean you definitely don't, there aren't any things that want it, but like you could just sack it later if you get to fast nine. Yeah. Put it on a random frontliner like Wukong or something. Okay. It's, it's pretty good on set, I guess. It's a good QSS user. Make mm. sure you cast. You guys feel like Quicksilver should like move to a different item tier, like, and then they make a different item instead other than Quicksilver. I, maybe. I mean, it, the item just usually depends on the set more than anything. And the sets we've had recently have not had that much CC. Yeah, that's true. I just feel like I feel like Quicksilver is like so situational that you could justify just making a new item and then moving it to like an Orn item or something like that. Or I don't know. Is Orn items are so common these days? Connor is looking like he won the game. He just got an Annie off carousel. He has five fortune with tiny oh, titans. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty big because so. Connor was on the bottom, I think, of the cutoff. So should be huge for him. JD yeah. goes to seven. He hit Kiana too. <laughs> Four duelists, three heavenly. <clears throat> How is JD always first? You can watch his vods. Isn't he? Doesn't hide his vods. You can you can just go back and watch it. It cheats. <laughs> He reforged uh, a rod into I mean, uh, a TG. It does look like he's kind of cheating sometimes. <laughs> but uh, you can't be... If you, if you just keep averaging a one, you can't be cheating. Like, is it the, yeah. yeah. Okay, maybe he's cheating only some of the time then. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's, it's a combination of both then. Yeah. You know, because the, like cheaters will always like make it look like not so obvious. But, like, he, he's toggling. Yeah. <laughs> Did Connor not place that 10? Uh, Connor, he took a little bit of a break, but he was oh. not, he was not taking 10 that 10. Roll seriously. for gloves. TG, TG, TG. Yeah, yeah, roll, roll. <laughs> roll. Oh, pretty, oh, I thought that one was pretty good. Roll. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's TG. not these gloves, it's not these gloves. Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay, this is actually takeable. I like, like this one too. This, this is pretty good, this is pretty good. I mean, all, all, all the row is AD. Yeah. Okay. So he didn't cheat this one, at least. <clears throat> There's still time. <laughs> time for the photo lucky gloves. 
how do you cheat in tft i don't know you gotta ask riot that they're the ones who installed vanguard on my pc for tft <laughs> wait we got the same exact tg rules on uh tristana and volibear mm -hmm. jg runons that's pretty good that is very good Like, I don't know, like, this board doesn't, like, is, is this board really a, a 10-stick board? It doesn't look, okay, well, that looks better <laughs> for stage 3 I mean, this, this board is, I wouldn't expect 10-streak, but, like, maybe lose one fight. This is a this is a pretty good board even before the volley. I mean, he has so much value on his board with the uh, items. Yeah, he yeah, has the, 8 the items gloves. on average. And he might have, with the upside of high rolling a little bit more if, if it's a completed item on some of the TGs. Really Kiana strong. Two. Kiana 2, 4 duelists, 3 heavenly. Lots of stats on the board. Yeah. Ooh, sword, sword, double gauge. Belt, belt. <laughs> Poppy items. Yeah, the double gauge <laughs> e melee carry. The, 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 what is the Skipeus tech? Oh, right. Skipeus <laughs> tech from Worlds. Double gauge on Zed, was it? Or. Uh, you double gauge everybody. <laughs> Umbral. Heavenly. Free free. Okay. What do you guys think are the odds that he gets lucky gloves? Where are the okay? We have GS 10% percent prismatic at a zero. 10%. <laughs> what happens? It's probably gold. It's probably gold. It's probably gold. <clears throat> oh, this malphite. Oh, dude, oh, this map is going crazy. What the heck? 1900 damage. <laughs> Can we get a bet going? Oh, prediction, we don't have it in time. Ah, uh, gold. Uh, Little buddies. Epitaph. Epitaph's pretty good. Just generic combat here. Now he's oh. level. He's going for fast nine. Yeah, this is a JD classic. Orn 2 here. This spot looks pretty good. Orn 2, yeah. one Kaisa. Clear bench. Low Low buddies. Low buddies really good for the bruiser variant of Kaisa. Choosing to roll. Oh, it must be. For me, like. No shot. No way, no way, uh, no way, no way. Whoa, that's wrong. No, 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 that's no, no, wrong. No, 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 no. There's no way. There's, a, there's an Orn 2. No, no. See, he wants six, he wants six ghostly. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. I refuse. I refuse. Playing a Kate and a cane. <laughs> oh man. Nah. That is disgusting. Okay, he's gonna. He, he wins this fight, but like, it, I mean, he's strong. He's very strong either way. At but least he's not telling it. At least he's not. Are we holding the orange? <laughs> well, we're going to hold the Kayla and the cane, so. I guess so. Yeah. Oh. Point streak or lost streak or three gold. This is basically the Teemo Nad win, but like more drawn out. Three gold, oh, I, I, Badge. Yeah, yeah. I, I often take the gold as well. Mm, badge. You gotta take. You gotta. You gotta play with confidence. Set your streak to <laughs> six on win, or lose. Oh, I think Connor cashed out. He just got some two star four costs. He just made two ash twos. Wait. Wait, that's three. Is that three? <laughs> what? Everything must go fortune cash out. Oh god. <laughs> oh. He, oh man, that is not good. That is disgusting. Dude, he's, he's for everything. <laughs> it must have been one of those things where like he got like five four costs and there was like ash two and then just rolls and just keeps finding all the ashes. Yes, ash three on four three. This is completely unreasonable. <laughs> this is completely unreasonable. oh my god oh my god it's like it, like what can you actually do what can you do you can't do anything there's no counter he got a, a rage blade udir 
There's no counterplay to that. <laughs> Should have held all, all the ashes. Should have known. <laughs> Recombob. You can, can actually, happen. I don't even think it's going to work because you, it, you have to have a five cost that has zero copies out. Actually, right now it would, but like by stage five. Yeah. Okay, now imagine he loses anyways and goes. Okay, eight. I mean, Ash 3 is not very good, but I think he's gonna okay, get three stars. She's not so <laughs> bad that you go <laughs> eight with her. No. I'm fucked all. Surely not. There's no way, man. That's, that's, that's a legendary fumble. That's a legendary fumble. I mean, like, he's gonna hit the other three stars unless people yeah, actually yeah. grief him. <laughs> gonna hit any three pretty soon. As long as he gets a frontliner, he should be Sean. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Here we go. Ash three. Nick, yeah, what, thank you, buddy. No, he's not. no, five. Yeah. Yes, four Lilias. Ash three sucks, right? Wait, Wait a Ash second. Is so bad. It's so bad. He has no Wait traits. a second. He has no traits in. <laughs> okay, that was closer than I thought it was gonna be. That was. <laughs> How so many centers do we have? Five centers. Five senders, four Lilias. I mean, he also has no augments. Okay, <laughs> mm. so now we're just rolling to see if we can uh, stabilize our board. It's not looking too hot. Check in on Shoma. The Orn is still on the bench. Like, nah. nah, he was holding Orn on the bench to grief the everything must go players. Oh. That's why, that's why. That's how that's how he's gonna outplay them? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> okay. then they lose their win con. Like, I'm not crazy, right? Like, like Orn, Orn should be on the board, right? I'm pretty sure Orn 2 is very good in these kinds of spots. Takes Ghostly is also like it has a window where it can do well like this too, but I think Orn 2 is very, very good. He won four out of five, so like in the end, I guess it's like Yeah, I'm surprised he won all right. Five. I'm pretty sure with Orn, maybe there's a pretty good chance he would have won two or all those, but maybe he ran into Connor, so it's possible. Wait, Connor lost? We also didn't get clear. Yeah, he did lose. Wait a second. Well, that's just so bad. Who did synergies. he lose to? Look at his synergies. Who did he lose to? Wait a second. Wait, he has 50 gold. Okay, he's not probably the other, probably the other Kaisa too. I think. I would guess. Uh... <clears throat> hey, you want you guys want to know something crazy? Ash three got buffed this patch. They gave her like uh, like a thousand HP. Six hey. fannies. I'm just watching the the two stars yeah, on is, the right. Is anyone scouting it? <laughs> No, everyone's just rolling. And you, you can't really stop it. You, you go for everything. Looking at JD's level 9. Lilia. I think all the Kaisas are out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has two Kaisas. No. Oh, Last Whisper. Interesting. Probably, that means that uh, Rayleigh is only temporary. So he finds Zaya. Okay, good win. That's just Yone too. Yeah. Honor stabilized. Another Orn two. <laughs> Bring five duelists, Kaiser carry. Pretty good. Yeah, it's actually that's actually a good point. Like he's actually playing just like a solid core around the duelists, and then he's using it to get nine. Yeah, any three. Yeah. Uh oh, that's not good. Okay, probably now he can close right. Yeah, surely, <laughs> surely any three and Ash three close it out. <laughs> Everyone has Kaisa one. 
There's one Kaiser 2 and everyone else is Kaiser 1. <laughs> this is what the game revolves to when, when Kaiser 2 is better than Irelia 2. Okay, uh, you, you really think Kaiser 2 is better than Irelia 2? Yeah. Oh, and, man. And In the meta, yes, actually. Okay. <laughs> because they, 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 Kaiser can kill Volley and uh, Neone. Neone. I, I, I also don't think it's, it's like very close. Oh, Irelia is good, just like not as your, you yeah, know, not, not as main main carry, like. Right, it just contributes damage. Yeah. And and like the armor shot is nice. Right. Yeah. Well, she's really good. Yeah. She's, she can't be your only damage source because you're never gonna kill the, the super tanks. Pagigam, if he goes, if Pagigam dies here, then I think, uh, like, that just means Ray Implosion is the only person that can stop JD from winning. Pagigam is really far away from any three stars, it looks like. Five canes. Oh, wins though. Joma's about to die. Probably with Runons. Six ghostly still. Oh, is that Kaisa too? Oh, it's Kaisa too. It, so that might be the last Kaisa. That might be the last Kaisa. The Kornos should probably hold Kaisa's for sure. Yeah, if I was uh, if I was Connor, I would hold Kaisa's. He can hold anything he wants, man. That's, that's the beauty yeah. of that argument. <laughs> like, you can just grief the entire Oh, it's not even Kaisa 2. I think oh, I, wait, I, I think that's the last one. That's Kaisa pair. <laughs> and then I think there now are no Kaisas left. Oh, this is crazy. God. Oh, Connor hit Team 02. Look out. Is there two for JD? Oh, he hit not three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nautilus 3, any 3, Ash 3. <clears throat> and the worst thing is it's the know your matchup. So everyone is know knowing when they uh, fight him. <laughs> you just know your day has come. I'm pretty sure if someone just like rolled 80, like 90 gold, they might just hit like Silas 3 out of nowhere. There's just so yeah, many four across out of the pool. All, they're almost all gone. They're almost all <laughs> gone. Oh, God. Uh, Pagigam's living. Yone 3 for Cambu Lee. It's one off Lilia. That's Lilia so 3. <laughs> <laughs> that is so gross. He's just yeah, hitting every four good. cost three star. <laughs> this good it's just it's game. just it's so healthy. broken, man. It's just so broken. <laughs> it's a Draven patch in an augment. Yeah. I mean I did <laughs> I, I made a YouTube video on it last night, and I called it the most OP augment they have ever made. And I don't I don't I I kinda of felt bad saying <laughs> I'm like, am I YouTube clickbaiting? I am not, man. I am not. The video comes out no, tomorrow, no. but like, I am not clickbaiting. This might be like the most augment, OP augment they've ever made. It is just so filthy. It's certainly up there with like silver binary airdrop and like, I don't know. I don't know if anything yeah. else kind of rivals it. I mean, the thing is, players are not even playing it. Like you can grief the entire lobby. The only thing limiting you is the bed space. You, you you can send half the lobby bots far if you choose. You literally get to pick and choose. So yeah, good. exactly, yeah. exactly. It's all it's also the ultimate griefing augment. <laughs> yes. uh, you, you get to you get to pick who to fall. There's to no up. yeah. There's no drawback really to holding just other people's units, assuming you're not rolling for it. <laughs> Which augment are we talking about? I just got here. Harms this one. Yeah, Harvest's one is insanely broken. It's so good. <laughs> 12 Omnivamp. It's uh, Honestly, it's everything must go. Everything yeah. must go. All the four costs are gone. <laughs> we get gain. <laughs> gain two? I mean, at this point, you're just like praying for placements and praying for good matchmaking. And you all... Here's the here's the, the most messed up part. You know who your next opponent is. And so yeah, like yeah. A, everyone just knows like they're screwed. Like, oh God, it's I'm up against Connor next. <laughs> It's a grim reaper. <laughs> Can you guys post a guide to TNT Academy for Harmless One? Oh, that's our that's our sub goal. 
<laughs> Think we just give that shit out for free? Whoa! Oh, that's bad. That's bad. All right, so it's the fourth then. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're dead. <laughs> <Come on now. laughs> we are dead next turn, and JD is top three, which I believe uh, secures him to win the tournament because yep. he cannot get overtaken uh, at all. <laughs> yep. Uh, Cam just waiting. I, I just <laughs> yeah. want to see the destruction. I just want to see the destruction at this point. <laughs> I'm down to watch this fight and then see what rain if rain's still alive. Yep, yep, yep. Ash three, <laughs> Lilia three, Nautilus three, Annie three. Yep. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, I still killed a couple of units. It's not bad. Any with damage. All right. Rain plosion went eighth. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that was very much the tournament end. These are some really big. Th these, this is very big, very much rain plosion scoreline. One, 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 two, seven, eight. <laughs> and she's going to end on a one. Me and Hayes just winning. Oh, well, I guess we can go back to JD then and see him get farmed by Connor. <laughs> yeah. yeah wait it's the curse jd doesn't win another game we watch another jd lobby and he just doesn't win oh god i don't even know how that happens maybe he even goes tell you zaya primary by the way just because he couldn't hit oh, Kaisa. No, yeah and uh, boom Annie 3 is really hard to deal with just by herself. Like, I think if it was just Annie 3 anyways, probably just... Yeah, with any, any supporting damage. Yeah. Annie's so cool. She's very, very good. Okay, any chance for him to sell and 3 star or 5 cost out of nowhere? Even then, would I mean, it win? Probably, I mean, you probably need to do it, right? Like, you... No, no, not every 5... I don't, I don't think every 3 star or 5 cost would win either. Mm. He's too poor. Or he's way too yeah, I mean, poor. they cast. They usually do. It's just whether they cast or not. Yeah. Yeah. Although someone said that, like, there's one three star five cost. This said that's like kind of bad. I forgot which one, who said, which one it is. I, I know Udir it wasn't very good. I don't know if they ended up buffing yeah, well, him. Was it Udir? I thought it was like. Sire. Udir is really or slow. Or I know Seth doesn't necessarily kill the whole board. He benches the whole board, but he he still has his normal ult size. And he, he really Seth is the best one. The whole board. Yeah, he, 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 he picks up everybody on the board and lifts them. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I need to see that. I need to see that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Udi got reworked? Okay. Yeah, he was really bad before. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Well, sorry, we cursed JD again. I guess he's going to have to settle for 1 1 1 2 1 1 2. <laughs> I think Aurelia is the most broken, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. yeah she stuns Insane. the whole board and then just, yeah. AoE stun in general is really OP. Just, there's just no counterplay to that. <laughs> Unless you have um, anti CC. Yeah. All right. Congratulations, JD. Third place, 48 points. And Rain just went eighth. Pocky just went bot four. So no chance. He blew everyone out of the water today. He blew everyone else this weekend, like one yep. one one three three two, and then day one he went two three one one two one. Is JD a the TFT god this patch? I sent you a video for him. What? Of the set thirty. <laughs> oh, you oh, sent me yeah, a video. Yeah. Okay. Is it Mordok set three? Okay, set three. Sells the board. <laughs> and what does he do? He benches the whole board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. 
Oh wait, what? See, he still doesn't hit the entire board. It's like uh, he's actually not back right. Wait, he actually almost lost. <laughs> he almost lost. Yeah, no, <laughs> no healing, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <clears throat> All right, we're down to the final lobby. Final lobby. Oh, wow. Okay, so these are the players that make it. JD, Aaron Kuma, Connor is me, Philip. Top four. These are the people who would be going on to the Tacticians Cup. Assuming that's where we end, but we're not. We're going to play one more game. Minhi, Pakigam, Pun, and Rain. I don't know much about Pun TFT. I'm going to go ahead and look at their profile. Pun TFT. Grandmasters, 200 LP. Playing, let's see. Porcelain, Lux, Kaisa, Duelist, Faded. Just playing, yeah. Playing a lot of like, uh, oh, Arcanist. I want to try an Arcanist game. A lot yeah. of Faded gameplay. A lot of uh, Lux reroll as well. It's probably pretty good. Accomplice. Jojen Nashers. <clears throat> okay. That's cool. So the people that drop off here, Red Bubbles, Basso Skills, Wong, Cambuli, Kane Drew, Yogurt, Shoma, and Turtle Duckling, they get money, but they're going to narrowly miss out on a Tactician's Trial Qualification. And then we have seven players playing for three spots. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So Cam's out. So Cam stops here. And then in terms of the top eight, we have JD uh Rain Plosion. I think that's that's it. I think Shoma's out as well. So I, I guess we watch Rain. Cause, I mean it's only three points behind even second, like two points behind the cut. Yeah. Like, this is really close. Yeah, 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 exactly. <clears throat> This feels like Rain's been pretty unlucky on tournaments lately. Seven and eight. I, I don't I don't know. I, I think I think Rain's playstyle actually uh kind of lends itself to a lot of volatility. Because she's she when she catches on to like a comp that she wants to play, she kinda like tunnels and hard forces a comp. And so that kind of lends itself to like, well, yeah, you can it, it, it's it's not like necessarily um, a bad place. I was just that like sometimes you just really miss, and if you like dedicate yourself to a real comp, you just die. Especially in this set, if you just miss, and, you um, might just die. Her, uh, out of four hundred uh, players, the top eight are um, almost everyone are not like players we know, right? Pun is the only one that's not really like super recognizable. Like I've seen the name, I just don't know anything about them. Right, yeah. Right now, right now they're like grandmasters, so pretty, it's pretty high up there on the ladder. Okay, let me calculate JD's placements. Two plus three plus one plus one plus two plus one. And then plus one plus one plus one plus three plus three plus two. That's day two. Plus one plus one plus two plus one plus one plus two. 29 divided by 18. He legitimately averaged a 1.6 in the tournament. <laughs> That's crazy. I uh, that that is insane dominance. That is insane dominance. And, and you can't just say that he's just high rolling because it's 18 games. I mean, okay, he is he is high rolling. Both both are true. He's but uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> JD abusing Kaisa against plat players. I mean, yeah, that's like someone who's real jealous lobby. would say. That is true. Why don't you do it then, huh? Why don't you abuse Kaisa against plat players? Bronze players are shape Larmo. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Also, uh, it, it's not easy, man. Some people try to do that and it's not working out. He's just built different. He's just built different. 
I will say that I won I one time I was the first person ever to draft JD for a don't talk if you don't know fancy draft and he went dead last in the tournament I think he went second to last he scored like 10 points on the weekend or something like that and so after that I was like mm, I don't know if I'll draft this JD guy for a while I I'll, I'll put him on cooldown <clears throat> but now he'll be my secret card for the season for the first cup Bryce is not going to be he, Bryce not going to know actually Bryce might know but the other players that we invite on the podcast they're not going to know I'll like I'll get JD for like two bucks yes man you cursed me I can't wait well, that's true we watched we watched the previous <laughs> game you lost you got second that game too <laughs> interesting interesting <laughs> that is true top eight is stacked yeah I'll, i think there's one underdog and, or, or two uh, maybe if you want uh Fo Gap is swimming as well his stuff is swimming now okay awesome i think i think there's only there's only like one and a half underdogs yeah aaron aaron kuma and pun are probably the underdogs everyone else has been a player who's been competing for a long time uh or they're 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 gods like jd Zelinsky 222 is there one more yeah there's one more game coming up it's the final game of the tournament it's already won but we're watching for who can play for a spot in uh tc1 rain and pun need to have the hot best placements aaron kuma and connor and philip are the ones ahead right now <clears throat> two for one is also pretty damn broken they nerfed it already though they nerfed it here's a funny thing you can't nerf everything must go in the same way you nerf uh two for one if you if you only make everything must go like a three two augur or something like that that's that's not a bad thing pretty sick point distribution everyone but JD is in it you know what you should do you should build in a tournament mechanic where JD's allowed to trade his points for prize money like are there any of these people willing to give up like like a hundred bucks for like two points and then JD can just like donate some and it's actually really on point because TFT is a game about of diplomacy and griefing as well So like it actually it's actually just very much on brand. <clears throat> My name is JD Zelensky 222. I say cheers and PMD strong and go eighth in tournaments, but not this one Sag. What does PMD strong mean? What does PMD strong mean? positive mental difference positivity makes a difference penis mode oh oh interesting you have interesting food for thought <clears throat> It is interesting how how fascinated the TFT community is about penises. I wonder if I wonder if they're just being very openly honest and hiding in plain sight. It is interesting. Okay, what are we what are we waiting for? The main broadcast? I guess so. Hmm. Okay, for people who don't know what J, uh, JD is abusing, it's this comp. It's, it's variations of this comp. Zaya and Kaisa is very strong. If you guys don't know uh, about it a little bit more, like, or you want to see a little bit more about it, Dishop tweeted about it earlier today. Taking credit for this one before before it becomes a secret tech from another region. Best fast nine board for Dragon Lord Zaya Kaisa. With new patch buffs, Kaisa is always strong. We just need to figure out how to cap her board. This is a ghostly and bruiser variations run so many low cost units. 
Zayat and the Ink Shadow items also got buffed that we make full use of them. Why for D Lord? In this meta burst, in this meta burst is everything, and sometimes Kaisa isn't even enough for three star Volibear and Yone. The stun and damage from the trait gives you a burst window so they can't heal back up. It also lines up with the unit cast. Tank items on Orn, 80 on Kaisa, Last Whisper is close to mandatory, AP on Azir, secondary carry items on Zayam, secondary tank on Udir, tattoo toxin and protection makes this comp very OP. Wait, what? End stream. So these are some scores that he played. 1-2-1. One, one. Frodan. Wow, this is amazing dish soap. Is there a place where I can find a succinct yet stylish summary of this teamfight tactics composition while I play? <laughs> Oh. JD Zlinski 222 thanks to TS Academy won this tournament. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, it'd be cool eventually if the website grows big enough where we can sponsor players. Do you know that that's literally how uh how some League of Legends pro team started as like a, a website and then they eventually became a pro team and they eventually became uh one of the biggest orgs in North American League of Legends esports. <clears throat> wait a second he actually said that i'm gonna go ahead and screenshot this thanks to tft i, I screenshot it <laughs> all right here we go enough stalling i heard jd is making his own new site what of penises do you get ad revenue there's if you don't see ads there's no ad revenue so you can't we're, we're not playing ads not yet maybe eventually all right here we go jd versus the world whose pov do we have jd zelinski we can go ahead and watch rain and pocky gum right because it was the pov that matter yeah <clears throat> yep no stakes for jd other than his top three streak. Go for 19 top threes. That'd be impressive. All tournament long playing. Just one comp. What is JD on? Oh, he's uh he's a he's a fast nine god. He's a fast nine god. This patch, he's Basically, fast nining every single game. Can we get a Gamba? Okay. Sure. How about, does JD top three this game? All right, here we go. So rain on uh, on Bard early game support Anvil. This is. This is the portal. Let me fix it real quick. The so top eight. Rain. JD. Hockey. We have Port Anvil. <clears throat> Guarantee. Are you ever popping your support Anvil before the augment? Mm, not really. Probably not. Most of the time, no. I mean, I think most of the other anvils you would pop before, like uh, or an item. Yeah. But not so much support item. Because they're like they're they're like flexible enough that you can generally just wait and see. Yeah. Reaper, Reaper. press keeper. Reaper know your enemy. Press. Gets a scout to see if uh, Yone is potentially open or re I mean, you could play just for Reapers, but. Oh, Keepers is good for Duelists as well. Hmm. You appear to be phoning a friend. 
Aaron Kuma it's called Bard. Lucky Ricochet. Lucky Paws. Oh, Lucky Paws. Lucky oh. Paws. Is that JD? Is that JD? Yeah. Did JD take Lucky yeah, Paws? Yes. I think he found a win with Lucky Paws. He took Lucky Paws. <laughs> he saw the prediction. Does JD top three? Oh, God. Oh, Rain thinking about not taking like Aegis here. Yeah. Is uh, Lucky Ricochet still bugged on Teemo? I mean, I think it's bugged in general on... on I mean, I didn't even know it was bugged on Teemo, so I guess so. I knew it was bugged on Bard. Wait, what, oh. <laughs> how's it bugged on Teemo? Does it do so this campaign I, on uh, Teemo? I heard it's like uh, the third uh, mushroom. Like, he does the animation, but he doesn't do damage. It oh, doesn't so do it, damage uh, for Teemo's so animation. So a negative net bug for Teemo. Oh. The, the, the bug for Bard is when Bard dies, the ricochet one shots, whatever it's, it's hitting. <laughs> like, oh. literally, literally like 20,000 damage. One shot. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Okay, let's watch some Lucky Paws action. Randuins. That's pretty good for bruises, right? Wait, is this the Bard encounter? The bard encounter? It levels you to, to three immediately? No, no, no so they all start with a support item. Support, support ammo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And if you, uh, if you start off with bard, then you get, uh, you, you're, you're level four by two, one, I think, no matter what. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> what up, Vic? Server. Okay, so with Lucky Paws, you're often trying to just go for like eight bruisers. Yeah, as many bruisers as you can, and then just yeah. some kind of backline carry. Some kind of backline. Usually, trick shot. Usually, trick shot uh, is like pretty common because you can play Sivir with the bruisers, get three Story Weaver, and then Kaisa. But you also can just play like, like apparently in the data stage does pretty well as, as, as also, which is really interesting. Like Zyra. You play Zyra for the Story Weaver, and you play Morgana. Interesting. It does like noticeably better than data. I'm not entirely sure why. I didn't. I didn't bother like investigating too deep. It could be like situationally, like maybe, maybe because Kais is so contested, you just can't hit it or something. But I don't know. Yeah, it makes sense. <clears throat> when the healing sounds good on Kabuko, he does a lot of damage. He's just slow. Like a sage healing. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's check in on Pakigam again. I mean, he's the player that's playing for actual stakes. I just want to see a little bit of uh, Lucky Paw action. I can come back to it. <laughs> Paki with the lose, win, lose. Yone. There's a cloak, Kabuko. Oh, God. JD's going straight for the Kabuko with cloak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is a victory lap. Oh, wait. Someone started with a bruiser plus one. They're contesting the lucky paws. Bruiser plus one. Interesting. That is really interesting. I've never, I don't think I've seen that. Bruiser plus one into Kaisa, probably. Hey, Bruiser Silas is, is real, is what I'll say. <laughs> hey, Bruiser <laughs> Silas is real. Yeah. And you, you put Bruiser on Annie. Okay. And then, what's your Umbral activator? Oh, you don't care about Umbral. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Oh, you don't care about Umbral no. and Silas? Interesting. No. No. The shield is fake, and the execute is nice, but it's not worth it. Oh, yeah, fight. I figured the execute makes his damage much more scary, I guess. But... I mean, it would be cool to play a Bruiser set that lifts the eight Bruiser, <laughs> like, high HP targets. Yeah, that's true. Bruiser, like, set will lift all these bruises and get a bunch of yeah, HP. Yeah, it's just a set as the cap. I would agree like him early. Yeah. If you're playing Bruiser on Annie, then that would probably mean like it's a loon for the invoker then. 
But, uh, yeah, I can see that not being super important. I, you know, uh, Loon Shreds for Silence. Maybe if the Loon is a little bit better, it, it, it ends up being good. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, the Uni is just so bad. JD1. Ooh. That's okay. Plus one goal for the interest. Oh, this is the <laughs> Radiant oh, item. Ra Radiant. Radiant. Oh, okay. It's a Yone in the shop. Titans. Oh my Double titans. god! Double titans. What? Oh my god. No! <laughs> what? No, it's just shot. Radiant Titans and other Titans, and it's just yeah, a BT ready to go. Crazy. What the? There's no way. <laughs> oh my god! Get this guy off my screen. There's no way. Man. Oh, Radiant Stone Plate. That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. That's you, pretty good. The two swords are pretty bad. The two swords are pretty yeah, bad. Yeah, it's your back line. Yeah, that's cool. That's played. It's fine. Radiant's last whisper. Oh. 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 <laughs> Is it, all, all roads lead to Kaisa, I suppose. I mean, it's just a Kaisa game, It's man. just another Kaisa game <laughs> featuring Lucky Pot. And he's probably celebrating his win already. This is a fun game for him. What did you say is lucky, uh, uh, the lucky ricochet bug? Oh, apparently when Bard dies, he one shots a unit. The Meep one shots a unit. Wow, I printed a gold. Nice. Only had three Kabukos though. I mean, it's a tempo Kabuko. Oh, for four, yeah, the other one on that. Yeah, <laughs> like actually, it probably doesn't roll. Rain pusher luck, five. Uh, five is pretty good. Five is very good, actually. Yeah, you want it to time. Good. It times really nicely with the end of the round, and then you go into PVE round, so you have time to transition. Yep. Puntook radiant crown card. We, you, the thing is, you don't see the context of it. It could be like eight, un, nine unpickable ones, and then you just were forced to take the last one. And the other items were good, maybe. It, it also could be like a timeout. Like you thought so long, and he like rolled, and he didn't want that. So, something that sometimes that happens. Glove, glove, glove and money. Oh, pretty good. Wow, that is this a lot is, of items. So this one is so good. <laughs> I so. Yeah, these so Kaisa good. cash outs. Cause she, oh, she also could play into duelists with these items. No, but she's okay. lucky like your What's that? She's lucky like your Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay, so it has to be Kaisa. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Oh, that was Biscog. <laughs> G-S-I-E-L-W. <laughs> Very That's carefully doubting what she can get away with. Itemization-wise. Uh, DB, Let's Whisper, uh, Adaptive, and go for a... Uh... So also make sure you just send Overslam. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's Fortune. I mean, that's like the skill of these kinds of comps, right? Like figuring out exactly how much you can get away with slamming. She probably could have yeah. slammed a little bit more and killed maybe one more unit. But then she's also incurring risk for each fight afterwards. Oh, oh the remover. golden remover. Golden remover is amazing. You can, you can just manage your items. Yeah, exactly. You can just like cheese at every single fight for four fights. Unified yeah. resistance is really good too. Oh. You have the store ready on stone plate. Yeah. Horn. Horn. Pretty good. Oh. Selling units. Crap. Uh, looking at Pokigam. He has Yone too. He has Yone too. Oh my yeah. god, with this setup. Disgusting. JD. Oh, he did roll. He did roll. He has six Kabukos. <laughs> He's trying not to roll too much gold because it, it cuts into the Kabuko economy. <clears throat> oh, he has Pandora, so he's rolling for Warmonks. He needs two belts and a tier. I, I think I, Redemption Bramble is best in the stats. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. It's, I thought it was Redemption Warmogs. Oh, Bramble's actually good. probably better this patch. Yeah, this patch Bramble for sure. So it's probably Bramble's at a D-Claw. I think, I think you just go all three. I mean, there's Warmogs if you want to, but... Oh, 
back up. Just checking how Rain manages this. This fortune spot. Rain, we're watching a lot of Rain because she needs to make up the most points to get to top four so that she can get a spot for Tactician's Crown. The spot is very good. Yep. No. Other than black. <laughs> Rain plosion internet. Oh, we're going to get the Kaisa. All right, well, we're, we're going to watch a different stream in the meantime. Well, we're back up to 50. But only six Kabukos. Bruiser into Bard. Radiant Rageblade Bard, by the way. Watch. Taking Redemption. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like Redemption a lot as well. Where is Box Box? Probably in Los Angeles. Usually. Usually. Probably at home. <clears throat> All right, 56 HP. One more Kabuko. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Driven two. Oh, he's rolling deep. Kabuko, please. He's rolling deep. Uh oh. Come home. Uh oh. This is not looking good. This is looking like me re re rolling out here. I oh, you get, you're getting guess for it. The tilt rolls. Oh god. <laughs> it's looking so bad. This guy has an hood here. He's Sorry, going eighth. Hey, yeah, he doesn't hood here on seven. That's looking good. Volley <clears throat> two, Senna two, hood Wait, wait, also a way with a duplicator. What he, he could print the he could print the uh, Udyr too. Yeah. Oh my god, that's disgusting. All right, Rain. Last loss 38 HP. She's done a good job preserving HP. Oh, we hit. Oh, we'll wait, wait. We three. just have to look away. That's what it is. We just have to look oh, away. <laughs> wait a second. It, it all made sense. We were watching him roll. But when we pivot away, he immediately hit. <laughs> ah, the level seven transition of the board. That it's is so fine. Good. Did you get this one? Did I get this one? Oh, I, I, I swiped a few times for it. I haven't uh, finished swiping for it. Hmm. It's so good. It's actually so good. Man, I'm getting more dog So the rain cashing out this turn, right? Yeah. Yep, she catches out. Kabuko's just too strong. <laughs> Man, Kabuko is so OP. That robot, thank you. <laughs> Look at him dance. I mean, he was OP before the B patch. Okay, cash out. Oh, don't press the wrong one. 56. Four cost, four cost and fawn. Oh, uh, focus. Yeah, focus on the fawn. Galio. Galio 2. Galio 2. Huh? That's what he would. That's wow, with that's radiant stone plates in a vow. To take the Galios away from everybody else. <laughs> the guy, the Galio is not going to die. Oh, wow. Wow. This guy ain't dying. <laughs> and then we just go four bruisers. Kaisa, four bruisers, four trick shot. Yeah. One Kaisa. <laughs> I think, I think, no, I think you're here. now, yeah. yeah. You gotta get ahead of everybody else. Emo 2. Annie. French 2. Probably not Annie, actually. It's literally just one Kaisa. Yep. Yep. Trust 2 for now. Fuck it, 5 fortune. Yeah, you're really fun, man. KO positioning. Irelia. Irelia is good enough for now, yeah. Oh. Oh. Missed golden remover opportunity, I guess. Not really. 
<clears throat> she should be really strong though. This is, this is more than enough to carry. Absolutely, yeah. You, she, yeah, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's less about needing to be certain strong as much as like you might not find a Kaisa if you right, wait right, too right, long. Right. Yeah. But uh, I like what JD did in the previous game. He basically played Kaisa 1 and then eventually transitioned yeah. over to Zaya 2. So she should... Oh, uh, these are whatever. Oh, Keepers is pretty good. I mean, it's like for cap, unified. And Unified is so bad. I, I, I guess Keepers is good because she's ages, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I thought Keepers was actually quite pickable in this spot. Yeah. Pretty fast reroll on it. We locked for Silas. Oh, I, I, don't, I definitely don't like donkeying. Yeah, for sure. Now I was down to play six bruiser earlier. Pretty surely the Sandra is better than uh, Silas. She is playing fortune technique. Oh no, she was. Never mind. Not anymore. Interesting. Okay, I mean, regardless, I still, I still think this is good enough for her to stabilize. I mean, nobody, yeah. nobody's killing this Galio. Yeah. Yeah, no one is killing Galio. <laughs> so goddamn tanky, he's unreal. He's tickling him. Okay, took JD took a critical hit. JD Zelensky with his first Ba 4 incoming. This guy's so washed. You'll well find fed. a way to blame me somehow. <laughs> it's, it's my fault, right? Because I'm watching him. Oh, he picked well fed. <laughs> this augment's kind of whatever. Yeah, it's checking on Pokigam. 85 HP. Son of three. Son of three. Jack's three. For pun. Best friends, best friends. Haunted house. Pretty good. This front line is a little weak. This is protection. Reaper set. <clears throat> oh, we are, we are not even close to you, Anna. Yeah, hey, we're just pushing levels. Yeah, yeah. Reaper set. Yeah. JD Zelensky, <laughs> critical <laughs> life. The Kabuko counter. <laughs> Yone 2, the Kabuko counter. Yeah, Paki's uh, in a really good spot. Really, really good spot. Rain's in a good spot as well. I think those are the two people that are likely to win based off of what we've seen. Yeah, th I mean, these Yone items are just like straight. Like, this encounter was just straight up game winning for, uh, <laughs> for Paki. It's unreal. Yeah. Red buff. Hmm. Are people holding Kabuko? I mean, no, not really. Sometimes fortune. I mean, nobody gets, there's nothing to gain from griefing JD, so you just kind of ignore him. <laughs> Other than I guess you can outplace him. <laughs> right, right. But he's going eighth. He is going eighth. Wait, wait, did Rain lose? I think I, Rain lost. Yeah. Oh, we got a Kaisa now. I'm kind of more thinking about it, more like the Keeper's pick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it helps a lot on the Kaisa one. Like, assuming you can hit one copy or even the Aurelio one. Like, you're so squishy. Yeah. After watching the way Appy's board, which I didn't think looked that good, and just saw how Keeper, what Keepers did for that comp, I'm like, okay, it has to be, man. Oh, Kibbles might be more effective HP with double stone plate on this Galio. Yeah, exactly. JD went eighth. This guy sucks. Oh, he just wanted the the perfect fifty. <laughs> oh, he ended up he ended up with fifty points. Yeah. I think he just said he wanted to uh, fulfill the copy pasta. How like he just goes eighth in tournaments. He needs to get one eighth in, so that way he feels like he's himself. <laughs> I 
All right, man, if Rain's out, uh, loses hair, she is cooked. She is done. JD, I don't like you, but good job on the tournament. <laughs> okay. Wow. That's a, yeah, <laughs> Aurelia too. Yeah. Hey, Dulles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he, he oh, printed the, the Aurelia and duplicated. Yeah. Oh, God, our our backline's dead. Oh, we are. Such, they, oh, wait, are we dead? dead? We're dead. Yeah. We dead. This is a seventh. Oh, no. Rain went one, 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 two, seven, eight, seven. Oh, rain plosion is offline. Sad. JD is offline. JD, thank you <laughs> for the right. raid, buddy. Hockey, it's up to you. <laughs> hey, JD, would you like to do an interview after this tournament? Actually, oh, you might, you're going to go on the main broadcast, aren't you? Oh. Guys, be nice. JD, I don't like you, but good job. Wait, actually, no, you guys are all JD viewers. Never mind. That makes sense. Good try, JD. Yeah. Good try, man. Good, good try. Good effort. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. Saint, try to tell me I really red buff Morello isn't good. Literally best item on her. Who is ambitious? Uh, I mean, if red buff and, and Morello are very, very, very good on her. She she converts the attack speed and her anti heal applying to everybody is like, I mean, it's, it's exactly what you want. When you have an anti heal, mm -hmm. you want the more units you can hit, the better. I was forced to take it. I see. It's really unfortunate how like chat somehow teleported to your bedroom and took control of your mouse and made you left click on it. That is yeah. The chat, the chat play the first eighteen that, games as well. That, that is pretty unfortunate. <laughs> Riot should really fix that bug. Okay, we we're playing six ghostly. That sucks so much rain. Yeah, I know it, it felt like that was like a really winnable game and not every fortune game is like as a first place, but like that, that game looked like it was, I thought she was going to be a good candidate to get top two at the minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it doesn't even look like Kaisa's really contested. The only person that was like mainly contesting went eighth because he was playing lucky. Ball. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We have Yone, we have Bard. Duelists. Duelists, right? Like, it wasn't even like it was super contested. It was just, it was just unfortunate. IEBT Reaper set. My God. This set is so, so How big funny. are these guys' quads? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I want him to get one more slam in. Damn, that was so unsatisfying. Wukong. Wukong. Wukong pear. I'm too chicken to fortune three. What? Your username is Father Swole. <laughs> <laughs> you should be you should be unafraid, man. What's the point of working out if, uh, if you're just going to live in fear? <clears throat> the Kaisa. Our Zephyr on the Kindred. Hey, okay, Yone. Yone 2 still doing Yone things. One more cast, one more cast. Oh, that's a pre nerf. Yeah, uh, that, that, that nerf is this is exactly the moments you see that nerf coming into play. Yeah. Connor going six. Whoa, geez. Oh, artifact. Eternal winters are so impactful at this stage of the game. Like, people who are playing Bard, for example, are like, oh my god, Eternal Winter. Shaking. It is so miserable going up against it. Sniper's focus. Anybody who wants it. Hulwaker, i.e. Wokong. That's what he got. 
Oh, yeah, you're right. You can actually put both those items onto Wukong. Yeah, yeah. And he has the heart already. Man, this Wukong is crazy strong. Sells the set. What a transition. Oh, wow. Reaper Wukong? Damn. I kind of want to see the, the Reaper set go all the oh, way. That set was really stacked. That was really cool. Yeah, that was, uh, that was stacked. Ultimate Luba. Utility Morgana. Reaper Morg, I guess. Oh, Reaper Wukong. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. My God. Wait, this Wukong? <laughs> yeah, like, Yone's not even really the carry anymore. Okay, so, so is Blue Buff better than uh, Lake Holka show now? The, uh, like, on Wukong? Or like... Yeah, on Wukong. Uh, who did he give Holka show to? Nico. Mm -hmm. But he could, he could have blue buffed Morgana. That sounds better. Yeah. Blue buff more gold crusher Wukong. Hmm. I can see that. I mean, blue, blue buff is really good on Wukong. It's just like a getting the item to Morg sounds yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you guys think about like Hull Crusher on like Kane? And well, then. It's not bad. I think it's pretty good on him as well. Kind of makes him a little bit harder to take down and the attack speed converts off of really well. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, Blue Buff Wukong is super good. Super good. So I, I'm okay with that. I'm just trying to think about like how else we could repurpose our items. I mean, it's what allows you to beat some of these like volleys and stuff is the, the stun scaling. Yep, exactly. Unless he's spending the entire <sighs> fight walking around, then, then, then maybe not. Yone. <laughs> It's a duelist Hui too. These boards are insanely capped. It's crazy. Yeah, it's eight duelists, right? Eight duelists for it, Yeah, and the thing is, we don't have Vion A3, so like, this might be a bot four. This is ridiculous. Yeah. And those bots are, are crazy. Okay, Yone. Needs to get the Yone three, and then I guess like level. For Soraka, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Kabuko clears this lobby. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll never know. It's too bad. It's because I was watching. Father <laughs> <laughs> is the biggest hate watcher. Rage lane. Just tank at him. Uh, I'm okay with tank item. Yone 3. Wukong 3. Wukong 3, yeah. Those are good. What? Wukong 3. Hold on, Wukong oh. 3? <laughs> oh god, how is that so hard? He just rolled like 60 gold, that's crazy. Yeah. Too poor, too poor. Just want to reposition. Okay, didn't get Zephyr. Yep. Didn't reposition and didn't get Zephyr. He knew. Look at the Kaisa items. Wait, the Kaisa is dead. Morgana. Yeah, the, the Morgana plus four Reaper. Damn. <laughs> My God. I'm betting Yone 3 and he still loses next round. Never mind. I should have mm -hmm. said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he just said nothing. Ugh. <laughs> uh. You might be the first and only person that makes that bet. <laughs> <laughs> you may have Yone 3 mixed up with Ash 3. Yeah. Oh, Philip bought 4. Okay, this is really Phillip interesting and, for Philip and Connor. Yeah. I think Aaron, Aaron, so Aaron Kuma, I think, is top 2 again. So, or rather, what's Aaron second in points? JD. So Aaron Likely should seller. be through. Pun is trying to make up a lot of placements, so it kind of depends. If Pun, Pun gets fourth here, that might be just barely in or out. That's yeah, between Stellar, oh, wow. and oh, Pun. <laughs> oh god, our, our Yone's dead. We just yeah. we positioned right in front of the, the Senna. Oof, the Wukong got one-tapped. Oh, we're living. Aaron Kuma is... Stellar appears to be winning. Dead. Living. Living.
Okay, we're fighting duelists again. Taking out the... Taking out the Kiana because we want to use the Mana Reeve. Oh, it's a Exalted as well. Eight, Eight duelists, duelists, three, three Exalted. Jeez. Oh, is... It's Hoy... <laughs> so is it Hoy Aurelia? It might be Hoy Aurelia, Soraka. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's what is nothing. Like, oh, he has, a he has a Morgana's board, so that's yeah, probably the third Morgana, one. Yeah, so it's gotta be it. Also, the Morgs in the corner, which might bait the Yone here. The Yone? The Yone oh doing? my <laughs> god, that Mana Reeve. This, <laughs> is, Yone is, this is a fourth that is unreal. <laughs> This is, might be the stupidest Yone I've ever seen. <laughs> Dude, this is a four. That's crazy. Such. Oh, that is unreal. Oh, Pun and Pocky are going to be tied. Uh, okay. So we'll go to, we'll go to tiebreakers. And then Aaron Kuma should get second spot in Tactic Distance Crown. And then Minhi, what, how did how how far does Minhi yeah. go up? Seller is at, th at thirty five, so Seller would be third. Okay, we are done watching the tournament, I guess. Okay, I, I guess we're done. <laughs> I guess we're done. <laughs> mainstream is the mainstream watching something? Oh yeah, we can watch mainstream. Uh, Aegis Esports, GG. Got it. Are they watching streams? Like how how do they they have POV? Oh, they're oh. offline. Okay. <laughs> oh no, that's League of Legends. Uh, Aegis oh. Esports TFT. There it is. Yeah. All right, they have, we have no POV. They, they have no POVs either. <laughs> they just ended the shit. <laughs> All right. We'll okay. Uh, so for people who don't who who are saying like, why is it like this? Is because spectator mode is down for this patch for some reason. It's just not working. Like you can't. It's just grayed out. So yeah, we're uh, SOL out of that one. I guess we wait. <laughs> I guess we wait and now twiddle our thumbs. Uh, Aaron with a second. Connor and Philip. Uh oh, yeah. It actually m might be the difference. No, actually, I think I think the top four will be JD, Aaron Kuma, Stellar, Minhi, and one of Pocky or Pun. Rob, yeah, Pocky yeah. or Pun. I think. Actually, isn't or Pocky tied with Philip? Oh, are they all tied? They might all be tied. I think Pocky might or, be tied or, with Philip. Oh, just Philip. Philip. Philip is tied as well. That's insane. Three-way tie for last time. Man, I'm getting more dogged again. Smosh set is a myth. Connor, thank you for the 18 months, man. Connor, you came really close. It looks like just barely. I think I, I think you're probably just gonna miss the cutoff. I'm sorry, man. Hey, but you get to play in Tactician's Trials. No ladder. Ah, Tactician's Cup is what you want. I know. All good. 07, my friend. A valiant effort. A valiant effort indeed. All right, and I think uh, the game should be over. I think uh, in, in a little bit. All right, so uh, I guess we can just like recap the tournament a little bit. So day number one, we saw JD Zelensky crush it. And in the top finishers were also some pretty familiar faces. I think JD obviously stole the spotlight by like going first every single day. Aaron Kuma also had a really good day number one as well. So shout out to them. Day number two was JD show with other people like Basso Skills and Pun, who also had a good day too. Pakigam, who's just very consistent in these tournaments in general. And then day three was uh, about whether or not these people can make the final lobby run. Shout out to Rain for making it far, but also like she started off so hot. 1-1-1-2 one, 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 and then went 7-8-7. Seven, just kind of goes to show you in TFT you can't really let up just because you're one 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 two doesn't mean you're uh, guaranteed anything. Mm -hmm. JD is doing an interview. Oh, here we go. I feel like you had better choices than Lucky Paws. Uh, but but what was going through your head when you were like, I'm clicking it? Like, I mean, what was going through my head was like, I mean, I've never even played this argument once before ever. <laughs> I've never even played it. I had I had none of the none of the dudes. But like I was like maybe I'll just hire one and get like like eight like just hit him right away. Like obviously that didn't happen. Like I I mean I I, I had better options. Like I don't have better options. Sure. <laughs> I'll say it. But no uh, no that was his best I option. Know, I, just, I just want to play it. And then I, just, <laughs> I was like should I do it? And then I just I mean I looked at my Twitch chat and down for one of my friends. He goes 
take it, take it. You just you start spamming it. So I sort of had to. Like, there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's not like an augment that has like a 6.0 AVP or anything like that. It's a solid augment if you like if you. If, like figure out how yeah. to play it like mid game, right? Oh, well, like so, if I, I yeah. <laughs> if I yeah. took it before the B patch, like that might be a little suspicious. But it's it's actually pretty good. Like my hit, like it was actually like possible on the top four. Wait, so, wasn't yeah. it better before the B patch? Oh, he meant he meant the so patch before. Throughout that. this, you played twenty four games, and that last game was the first time you bought Ford. The first time you placed lower than third. Um, also yeah. confirm that you can peer pressure JD if you are in his chat during tournament. He will read your big messages mind and 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 if so did did that create like more pressure or were you just like loosey goosey having fun the whole time oh i mean i was kind of having fun like like i was i was just like listening to music just like sing along and like i i, I think like the more i like i was like singing i actually started high rolling more like like <laughs> like, like by the time like like game four and five today I was just like saying what I wanted to happen, and then it would like happen. Like game four, <laughs> on, on, on like three five, I was like, "Man, do you know what the best augment I would be on four two? What I got? I'd be like, I would love Ink Shadow Crest here, and then I got Ink Shadow Crest on four two. Then the next game, I I just took birthday present for fun. I like I like I just upgraded my full board for free, like like uh, and then and then I, I was in round before an encounter. I was like, you know, I want Kha'Zix to show up here. I want him to make me evolve. Oh and my god, that would happen. <laughs> like, That's amazing. Uh, yeah, it, was, it was so much fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah fun. so much fun, man. Yeah. So much fun. Uh, as a singer myself, uh, I'm going to start implementing this tech into my games. Uh, I usually, like, in between games, if I had, like, a really bad game, I'll, like like pull up my karaoke playlist and just like singing it like alice in chain song or something like that to reset my mental but it turns out enjoying yourself makes you better at the game than being angry at yourself so i'll just yeah. not jot that down my little note <laughs> look how happy he is man he's just smiling yeah, so he's I, just I have a banana question for him. you uh jd what happened to the bubblegum taco this, this, this dude is just giggling so much. he just he can't he can't stop smiling a couple of times you're still using bubblegum uh, now I, I, I just... <laughs> I got a crazy uh, okay so last last set like I, I was having a bad day in, in uh I, I don't remember a couple it was one of the cuffs like I, I I went like seven eight or something at the start of the day and I was like you know what? I'm just gonna try out craggle so I I, <laughs> I switched to craggle and, and then I just went like top two like four games in a row so I've just been playing craggle ever since and then so so it was actually like I was like deciding what what little legend like which craggle I should use for this tournament and so, so what I did is I went at my, I went to my, my lol chest like wrapped, and I saw which <laughs> Craggle was highest AVP last set, and it was the victorious one. And I, uh, I, so see. I, just, I, I was like, I'm gonna rock the victorious Craggle, and uh, and I guess it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna stick with that guy. Yeah, I mean, I, I, wow. He leaked it, the tag. It's because that's a a, a reward for hitting high elo <laughs> like so of course it's gonna <laughs> wait have, is it the victorious one is like a master's reward so surely the master's player have higher avp than non master do i have victorious i mean yeah i mean he's got victory in his, he's got victory in his name like uh, I mean, he's got oh win. i got it if, you, if he doesn't win like who's gonna win no one all right i'm gonna try <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna try it what's really cool is i think you're one of the few crackle players out there i think we see a lot of duck bills i think we see a lot of mold divers we see a lot of especially ginger snap dongos these days um but i think you're one of the only craggles and uh yeah you've you've done super well so yeah it's awesome yeah. seeing another little legend up at, up at the top I mean, Craggle's broken, man. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the I mean, new mold diver. Just, just um, look at this. <laughs> so you're, right you're first place in this tournament, and it's not even close. You went in the last <laughs> game already having won. Um, <laughs> guy you're just... going to take home $1,500, <laughs> and you guaranteed a slot in TC1, the first qualifier for the regional tournament. Uh, two questions. Too funny, One, man. You know, do you have something if you when you were coming in today, were you thinking about what you might use the prize money on? And two, how are you going to prepare for this tournament, knowing that you're already <laughs> qualified, you're already in? Uh, I don't know, like usually I don't prepare much. I sort of just <laughs> <laughs> I just like play, and then then like like I, like I prepare uh... a little bit. But yeah, I mean I don't really have anything I'm gonna use the money for. Like 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 maybe I'll go to McDonald's and like get a McChicken or something. But, uh, oh man, don't blame the whole uh, winnings. Like, what? All of them, though. I want like fifteen hundred dollars. Like that. Uh, I think you should leave sketch. I want fifty-five fries, fifty-five like, tater. Uh. Like a McChicken sounds pretty good. But uh, you know what? I yeah, might get some burger and fries. I'm happy. I, I, I wanted to. I want to say just shout out all my friends in in, in my Discord that, that yeah. like who I hang out with, with all the time. Like, there's too many of them, but I get to name them all. But but, but thank you guys. Like, he didn't name any of you and, guys. Uh, like like uh, 
Like, he said he had too me. many friends. I, I appreciate None of it. you guys were special. You had yeah, too we were many in friends. Camp Discord, like, <clears throat> we should all go over to JD Disc, like JD Court. <laughs> yeah, I like mm-hmm. I think they had your shirt looks oh great. yeah yeah i was my 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 next question or i guess really my final question uh eventually was going to be uh like we we love you but do you do you love us wait what he has an i love jd shirt yes. i love everyone in tft they're all great except for like maybe maybe uh maybe kurt angle wait <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> no i'm just kidding no. Kurt's, oh. Kurt's <laughs> yeah oh no. kurt uh, I, so oh, Kurt, what the happened? TFT. Everyone's great. Yay. Yay. This uh, win um, couldn't have happened right. to a nicer the, yeah, guy. The, the Lawrence is telling me in the in the, uh, <laughs> uh, the production channel that uh, Craggle has like a, almost a 25% win rate uh, in games. I mean, you know, how many? Uh, 12, 12 out of 47. <laughs> yeah, it, it's probably all you. Uh, I mean, yeah. half those games, I think. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah. Yeah, like uh, this is we we talk a lot about stats and how they can lie to you, right? Uh, it's it's not that Craggle is good; it's that the guy who ran Craggle and got like fifteen wins out of eight, eighteen, however many games, is good at the game and ran Craggle. So, yeah, I mean, Craggle's also I'll, good. Although it's 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 funny because if we if we take your stats out of the craggle stats then the win rate becomes like single digits <laughs> <laughs> yeah you accounted for 10 out of the 12 uh That's craggle fun. wins That's it fun. turns out I mean, the other craggle users they gotta step it up man they might they, could, they probably weren't using the victorious one they probably, 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 they probably don't have it like they're probably using like sandbringer or something that one's not that good yeah, he's good at talking. Well, he's um, good at chatting. JD, good at chatting. it's been. Uh, I've been watching this whole weekend. Uh, it's been. It's just been wild watching this completely dominant run uh, from you. Do you? You. You do have time if you want. You said there were too many people, but are there? Oh, one oh, shots oh! Here we go. Here we go. Specific people who have helped you or or been in, like really influential for you. And two, shout out yourself. Where can people find you? Uh, where can they get more information about you if they want to follow your Twitch or social media? Yeah, I mean, I stream on Twitch like once in a blue moon. You might catch me in, but you might you might catch me streaming. I I don't I don't really stream on weekends, weekdays because I'm too tired after work. But like, like uh, I stream on weekends sometimes. Not really. Like honestly, that's, that's kind of a lie. Yeah. But, like uh, here we go. Could, I mean, it's my my Twitch is just JD Zelensky two two two. There's three twos, uh, because uh the old JD Zelensky twenty two was like my old account, but I forgot my password. So like, what? Yeah, there's still three what, you can't re- re- but, uh, yeah, you I mean, can't find I mean, it. Just, I'd like just say thank you to all to all my friends who uh it may, they make it a lot easier to just like play TFT and because uh like you just you just play in like Discord call and 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 it's, it makes it a lot more fun. Like like I used to I used to sit there and just play TFT alone all day, and now I have friends to play TFT with, so it's a lot of fun. Boom. But yeah, that's Very it. Sweet. That's, that's <laughs> Boring, do you have any more questions for our champion? <laughs> no, I don't have any more questions. Just, you know, congratulations again oh, on that super man. dominant run. I like I, it. That's it. Yeah, we, we like, <laughs> several sets ago, I think it might have been, like, set six or set five <laughs> or something, Robin had that, like, 1-1-1 one, one, one lag of one thing. Yeah. Um, and then, like, last set, Malala obviously, like, won a bunch of tournaments. But I think overall, like, this particular performance over the last three days is... You know, setting aside the drop, the one drop of the eighth bet. You guys are having a full on podcast. It's probably the most dominant performance that I've personally oh. ever seen, like anyone have in any tournament. Yeah, thank you, yeah. thank you for the congratulations. Yeah, and thank you so much for uh, spending time with us, and good luck in TC one. And I hope you, I hope you get your McDonald's because it does sound really good right now. Yeah, I mean, it does sound pretty good. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe an Oreo McFlurry. <laughs> oh, they 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 uh, they literally shut the up, Oreo shut his cam off if he wants it. Uh, <laughs> splurge on on the. the big All right, congratulations <clears throat> to JD. Congratulations, man. Well done, well played. Let's do a round of applause for JD Zelensky. Two, two, two. Wait, where's my sound? There it is. <laughs> All right, that mess up this. That's messed up that they call it TC1. That's right. That's right. Riot retconning yet again. All right. Uh, are you guys still here? Raptor and... Raptor? I'm okay. still here. All right. We're still here. 
that's it for uh for today any final words you'd like to say about either the tournament or anything else uh before we wrap it up here boys uh, I think, I mean, just I think the, the game's really fun to watch, even just outside of JD dominating. I think the meta was, you know, not super diverse in terms of forecast, but there's enough comps flying around. And I think uh, encounters add a little bit of spice to it that makes it interesting to watch. So I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I enjoyed uh, watching like good TFT. I like all of the top eight, like top top players that play today are, are very good players and respect them well. And yeah, respect to everyone who played and the admin who managed the tournament. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, thank you guys for uh, hanging out. And uh, hopefully I, I'll see you guys. Oh, are you competing in Tactician's Trials, Raven? Uh, Maybe. I haven't fully decided. Okay. Okay. Well, if you do, good luck, man. And if not, you're you're welcome back anytime. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Yeah, have a night, guys. Good night, guys. Peace. Bye. All right. Well, that brings us to the end of this tournament. This was really fun uh if you guys wondering like what is this whole thing even for it's because there is a entire esports rehaul for north american tft this is the roadmap that we're looking at right now let me go ahead and pull it up but uh this is sub regional event number one this is the first of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 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 Today is April 8th, right? Or April 7th. Like, the sub-regional events are finishing up in America. Tomorrow is finishing up, like, Latin and Brazil and stuff like that. Uh, and then we also have snapshots in the following weeks. We have a uh, cup snapshot next week. Basically, a week from today, we're going to see who qualifies for the ladder snapshot of what we see. Tactician's Trials is no longer, like, the first weekend of a tournament, like KDA Cup Day 1, Hearthsteel Cup Day 1. Jade Cup, you know, Defender Cup, so on and so forth. It's now called Titus's Trials. And if you make it to the second weekend, it's no longer called Day 3. It's called Titus's Cup. And so we're going to have three cups throughout the entire week. Or se season, rather. We're going to have Titus's Trials. Following week is Titus's Cup. The week after that is a sub-regional event. It's an open qualifier. If you want to play in these tournaments, you too can also play. The week after that, Titus's Trial again. The week after that... Tactician's Cup number two. The week after that, a sub-regional event. The week after that, Tactician's Trial, Tactician's Cup, Regionals. The week after that, Worlds. So basically, week to week to week to week to week from the rest of the season, we got stuff to do. We got a lot of cups to cover and a lot of action. I don't. My baby is expected. Uh, I do actually have some news. Our baby is expecting in early May. Uh, it, it got it got moved. Um, so what might end up happening, the timing of it actually might be quite interesting because I think the baby might arrive literally right after Tactician's Cup 1, and I might go on break until Tactician's Trials. So that two to three week break window might be exactly when, uh, I'll be away, which actually ends up being kind of nice for the timing of it. So that way I won't miss anything. Uh, it wasn't intentional. The doctors, we talked about it, with, about how we met with the doctors, but that actually might end up being uh, the timing window, which would almost be, almost be perfect. But you know, it's never always perfect. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then we're gonna, we're gonna be moving on all the way until Worlds. This is Tactician's Crown, this is the World Championship. And believe it or not, we said that how there's week to week to week to week to things. After the Tactician's Cup 3, the next week is Regionals, next week is Worlds. The week after that is set 12. That's right, Set 11 is over after that. Crazy. Are you considering letting your baby pick augments? I don't I have no clue what that means. But I'm going to give my baby as much uh autonomy as possible. <clears throat> if you are uh a person that just is here to like talk about TFT Academy and the meta, I I'm, I'm done for streaming for today. I'm going to spend some time with my with my family here. Um but I appreciate everyone who tuned in. Thank you for more talk for the raid. Check out our TFT Academy tier list. It's recently updated. We're going to try to continue to improve things. Some people said like, okay, I don't know what this is. This is fine vintage, right? There's like, it's kind of impossible to tell, but what we'll show you different ways for you guys to like play different things. Uh, there's a new tag system. There's a new comp. Check it out. Most importantly, JD Zelensky 222 said, thanks to TFT Academy. I won this tournament. Yay. I think we're going to add that to the website in testimonials. 
I just arrived. Sorry, Miguel. I am done for today. Also, later this week, later this week, we're going to do the box box boot camp giveaway. I said that I have prizes. I have many little legend eggs to give away. I have some other cool TFT prizes, some uh, little legend egg skins. Oh, wait, what's doing? So uh, I'm going to do the viewer giveaway, right? So David gets the prize guaranteed. Uh, the top three people who perform at Frodan get prizes guaranteed. And then I'll give, I'll do giveaways for anybody that's in this stream that signed up for Team Frodan. So if I, for example, did a random giveaway and it landed on inspires inspire i look up inspires if you were here hey sign up for team pro day congratulations inspires would have won prize that's how it's gonna work okay so that'll be happening later this week also the last but not least i am gonna do a fun stream uh agencies were thank you for the raid i have another fun stream planned this week called frodan's challenger survey i asked a hundred challenger players on how they hit challenger i asked 100 players how they hit challenger and i asked them surveys of like how many games do you play how many hours a week do you watch other people who's your most watched streamer uh do you consider yourself good at the game do you consider other challenger players good at the game things like that fun things i i got 126 responses and and, and also it wasn't it wasn't just random challenger players i have new challenger players former challenger players i have rioters i also have world champions multiple of them Riri with play responded wait um malala responded title from japan responded so we have everyone in between on the entire spectrum we have influencers we have creators we have longtime challengers it'll be fun i'll, I'll show you guys the results of that later this week it's gonna be a, a full-on video this poll was interesting yeah it'll, uh, 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 we'll show you the results later on and then i'll draw some conclusions how did you prove who they were i mean I sent it to them personally, and then they said done, filled out, and then their username showed up. <clears throat> you have time for a lol chest review right now. I guess I technically do. I can do one. You want to do a Bob kill? You can redeem it, and then I'm going to raise somebody to call it for today. And then I'll have it for the, for, for, I'll call it for today. Congratulations, JD. Good job, buddy. But uh, Bob, if you if you if you can't, we can just save it for next time because I'm, I'm honestly pretty tired. It won't let me redeem. All right, we'll just we'll just do it next time then. We will just do it next time. I am going to raid another TFT streamer. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's see who else is streaming TFT right now. Scara, maybe I'll hit up Scara. That'd be fun. JD has a 1.94. Yeah, he was he was a beast. Oh wait, JD wants to interview. Oh, I didn't realize. I thought I thought he he was. Uh... Wait, JD, do you actually want to interview or no? Or, or Curry, just setting him up. Nah, you guys are just signing him up, aren't you? He's not even here. I have to go eat dinner with my wife. I have to go eat dinner with my wife, which is why I like, I, I, okay, you guys are just trolling. You guys are just trolling. He's not even here. <laughs> you guys are just harassing him. <laughs> uh, okay, how about this? How about this? <clears throat> JD, if you if you advanced, if you advance to day three, or sorry, to, to Tactician's Cup, uh, I, I, I will try to convince Bryce to invite you on the podcast. How about that? We'll do you one better. You crush weekend one of of tactician's trials wait no you already qualified for tactician's cup oh wait I don't, that's not how it works at all all right well we'll figure it out we'll figure it out cheers buddy just get him on yeah we'll do that we'll do that we'll handle that uh 